Hey, today is a special episode in that we talk about Guild Wars 2 first. Uh, so if you want to skip to the off topic for whatever reason, it starts at one hour and six minutes in. Uh, aside from that, there's some weird clicking in the audio and I couldn't get rid of it. So sorry about that. Anyway, have fun. to episode 38 of the Lincoln Cast. My name is Thurbleton, and I'm joined by Shinboy. It's episode 38 already? Yeah, apparently, for the week of February 2nd, 2013. Well, you've you, you stayed for, Pacific. like, 10. It's like, oh, guys, That's I'm, true. I'm busy, I don't know. Fuck it, I couldn't be bothered, etc., etc. I couldn't be bothered. 10 episodes later, no shit, episode 38. important karaoke things to do. Yeah. Also, you can't be bothered, it's Riven. What's up, sir? Yo! And last but not least, Durin. Oh, I'm always bothered. What? <laughs> we we got five. Was that sexually? To Was that specifically cast. sexually? Oh, well, I mean, are you bothered will, or are you? I will, hot I'll bothered? leave that. I'll leave that to your imagination. <laughs> I wonder if there's anyone Just out there that picture. who finds Durin's voice as sexy as I do. <laughs> Say, Durin, can you paint me a word picture? <laughs> And making that quick turn away from that dark alley, we're just going to keep going. Uh, for this Lincoln cast, we are going to do what we've been playing at the tail end and start off with stuff about Guild Wars. Because. Because I have to leave. Well, yeah, temporarily leave. Yeah, we did, no, no real. Yeah, so basically what we're doing is, is like, we've, you know, we've done this Scotch cast thing a little bit. Um, but what we're going to do with this show is we're going to actually, it's going to be kind of two shows in one. Uh, don't worry, it's not going to be six hours. No. Um, but well, thank Christ. <laughs> we plan for it not to be six hours. No, yes. if it gets to six hours, I am out. No way. Well, that's fine. I will you, you can go wherever you want. I will not I be can... on for another ten episodes. It's only 10 a.m. here, so I'm good. <laughs> Anytime. If it gets to 10 uh, a.m. here and we are still recording, oh, God. Basically, we're, we're going to start with the first half being kind of more of a proper Lincoln cast, talking about actual Guild Wars 2 things, um, and then so from there we're going to transition into... Yeah, so <laughs> from there we're going to transition to uh, a Scotch cast where we will talk about more general gaming stuff like, you know, yeah, video games. games. Mainly because it's all Video fault. games. Anyway. Wait, why is it my fault? Well, you have to leave. And, that's, and it also provided a good breaking point. And you're the only one here. Yeah, so you're welcome. You and Revan are the only ones here who really know so, shit about dungeons. So. I, don't I don't know, know about Durant's you guys, playing. but there's this game come out. I don't Guild know Wars shit about 2. dungeons. I know shit about fractals. There you go. Ah, close enough. Well, I mean, like, there there was a fractal change, and uh, this is for the, the, the patch that came out at the tail end of January. Uh, Riven, are fractals that much different? Are they worth it, Shinboy? I still haven't done fractals. Should we jump straight into it? We're just like, going they straight made, into it. The they meat. made. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going into it. I'm hey, we have, we have limited for... time until I have to leave. Yeah. So. Okay. All right, fine. Go. Jeez. Talk about your. They made some fractals and, half, and man. fractals. <laughs> no, it, we're down. Look all that bullshitting we did before. We're down to like an hour. <laughs> Um, so, fractals some, fractals are, some fractals are nighttime. That's a thing, I guess. Oh, wow. What? what? Really? Well, yeah. So, I, I some of them are, are nighttime now. Yeah, like before all the fractals were on a day, a day cycle, but now some of them are still day and some of them are night depending on the fractal, which is actually kind of important seeing as some people build builds around those like bonus damage at night sigils. There's bonus damage at night I didn't know such things existed. That's cool. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah. Those came from uh, the Halloween events. Oh, okay. Right. No, that's all right. Yeah, they're not super useful in most situations. Yeah. Probably why you haven't heard of them. I just want to say, but, I don't want to cast dispersions or anything, but a couple of weeks ago, we talked to one Josh Foreman and said, hey, wouldn't it be awesome if there was more night in Guild Wars? Just saying. Just saying. Mm. And in, a conversation, in oh. that conversation, we were talking about fractals. Oh, speaking of that, this is actually relevant to, to – he was on the other day, right? And um, the lion statue was completely back. Oh, cool. For those of you who don't know. Right. And I messaged him, seeing that he was on, um, and I was like, the lion statue's back. Are you, you know, are you happy that it's back? And he goes, no, I'm actually pretty bummed. Apparently, there was a whole stretch where it was, instead of partially built, like, initially it was maybe like a quarter done, there was a whole section of it where it was like half done. Right. Where you just didn't see for right. some reason. Yeah. I, I, I suspect. So, so there was more stages you... in between. 
like busted to finish that we missed out on. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. he was pretty bummed about you that. You saw it if you were in a story mission, apparently. Like certain oh, stories. Cer- yeah, it was like certain story instances had the line progressed farther than it actually was. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I, I guess at least then some people saw it because that, that's really kind of a bummer for him. Like all that work. Because I mean, even if it's you know partially built, that's still a whole new model he's he's rendering there, or at least you know changes he's making to it to do that. Yeah. And for like no one to see that, that really sucks. As yeah, I mean, I would uh, assume you know, it is. Uh, he would at least have to start most of it from scratch because while we assume that the infrastructure and all of that is inside the lion and stuff, when we see it, that doesn't get rendered at all. Yeah, no, I don't yeah. yeah, but to be fair, I think I think his biggest challenge was making the thing animated, making the thing give the sound effects. Because right. as he said in the podcast earlier, it's like he had to find frame for frame when to make those sound cues, and right. it wasn't making sounds while uh, being rebuilt. But for anyone who's, who's track, confused, the sounds we're talking about are water splashes. Yeah, yes, like that's how intricate that thing is. Yeah, but either way, uh, but so uh, go, go back to fractals. Yeah, I guess. Shin Boy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, main, the, the main two changes with the fractal, as near as I could tell, was uh, people can get back into them after they've been disconnected. Has this been proven? Yes. yes. Yeah, I actually, and I think Revenue you too. We both <laughs> yeah, had instances where we DC'd or crashed or whatever, and ha- actually were able to get back in. That is Even the best. Like the, the head of the dungeon, that's a really good or... change. I would say yeah. probably the the biggest oh, change sweet. though really was um, the ability to go into fractals that are, were higher level than yourself. Yes. Yeah, yeah that, that's, I've been that's doing 20 thing, dailies they, lately yeah. as like a level 7. Baptized Shin Boy raising with agony the, real badly. <laughs> <laughs> they've, been like, uh, they've been lowering the, the level of entry so more people can get into them. And apparently people are getting the higher levels faster now or what what have you? Uh, yeah, because you don't need a level 7 group. Because like I was – I for a while was not doing fractals because I still think some of them are not that fun. Um, but – the way you know, I would shout need like a level six I, I group or a level seven group. So your boy, which which ones do you like? Which ones do you not like? I think Cliffside is a piece of garbage. Which one's that? That's the I, I will agree with giant that. one. That the, the one Colossus with one. the hammer and the Colossus. Yeah, that is. Uh, um, yeah, I that think one's, yeah. I think Ascalon pre Dolphy is really bad. I've never. I still haven't done that one. Sadly, um, underwater is okay, except the boss fight takes too long. Right. Yeah. Um, let's see what other ones. I need to Snowbind's remember all of them. Snowbind is pretty much still the best. Snowbind is still the best. Still um, awesome. That's good to hear. Uncategorized, the harpies the har- are really <laughs> annoying at the beginning. The second group uh, isn't so bad, but the ones at the beginning are really annoying. I didn't um, even know they They're fine those. until 10, and they, ha- and they get a ranged knockback, which is no longer fun. Yeah, that's... Yeah. What, do you think of, what do you think of the Jade Maw as a final? Um, I, I, think, I think it's... Boring. it's <sighs> it's it's fun. It's that interesting, except mom. for the way you get agony, as in you get agony just when you walk in the room. So there's literally nothing you can do about it. Right. That's about as artificial of a check as you can put in. Yeah. Yeah. That's like I mean, that's like the other bosses. Like there's only one or two bosses that even with no agony resist were really screwing me over because I could see what were the agony attacks. Or, yeah, like you know, good expect game myself play still get you somewhere. Expect myself to just be able to survive it or just, you know, dodge. But with the Jade Maw, I just – there was a part where there were four of us left because one person left, the pug that we were with left. And Grisarian and I didn't have any Agony Resist and Revan and Reos did. So we basically could not walk into the room and they had to two-man the Jade Maw. Uh, well, lucky so that Revan's was pretty a guardian. Dumb. That, yeah. that, I, I assume that worked out, right? <laughs> like he's still, you guys. No, it was just it. that he has all the agony. He had all. He has all the agony resist. That, that so. agony hits me, and I just laugh because my passive heals me through it. Nice. So, oh, so long as that's the one <laughs> so situation game has where there's a gear check, I think I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, I hate gear checks. Like, fractals are sort of based on. Well, yeah, I I agree with you. I prefer the skill checks, like in the uh, Ascalon boss. Well, like, I don't I don't mind well, the, the agony the problem, as a gear check if you can it. dodge. If you can dodge yeah, it. like the problem, the problem, like where it comes in is one of the other kind of features they added with this ability to go into higher fractals than what you are is once you have completed those fractals, let's say like Shin, he's level seven and he goes into a level 20. Once he's completed those fractals, he moves up to level eight, which is really fantastic. hard to move, up to move up to level eight and complete that fractal if you can't fucking walk in the room. Right. Yep. Yeah, but I think weird. it's great, though, that you actually can go up a level from doing yeah, like that's a great. level 20. Yeah. Yeah, that was really, really smart of them to to include that. That's I, yeah. so, have they how so now it's been out for a while. How easy is it to get um, agony resistance? Um, um I, from what I've experienced, at least in the few twenties that I've been, the drop rate is at least decent on the rings. Oh, cool. It, it's it, 
it looks decent, and then you'll see, you'll hear stories of people doing twenty ten and twenty twenty dailies and not getting a ring. And you'll hear stories of me who got a ring on my first ten, a ring on my first twenty, <laughs> and a skin on my first thirty. But my point is, I've done what three <laughs> twenty dailies with you guys, so not including me. There's only there's four people in the party. Then actually, one of them were there was three, but most of the time, four people in the party who have a shot at getting a ring. And in the three twenty dailies I've done, at least one person has gotten a ring all three times, and I think two out of the three, multiple people have gotten them. That's, that's not bad. Well, Rev- Revan, I think you've blown all your luck on that though, and that's why you still don't have your sword skin. God damn. Wait, I only, I only have 60 rings. How many rings <laughs> do you need to have decent? Like, what, what do you need to have Just one or two. So does, it, does having two rings essentially give you enough agony resistance to go... To, to, do, mo- to do most levels, yeah. Okay. Well, that's not too... I'd, I'd say that's not too bad. I still hate it. I hate gear requirements in games, but sure. Whatever. But, yeah. but at least it's a secondary thing. Like, they're clearly treating this as, like, there are dungeons and then there are fractals. Right. Like, as long as they keep that, that separation, I'm okay with this. And, and like I said, I had zero agony resistance, and there was only one or two situations where I was really screwed. Right. But um, and, how does the change to night affect the stuff? Like, do, do, do they look cool? Like, do, do you think that they've actually made them look more awesome? They actually didn't really ch- – I don't think they actually changed um, the look. I think they just sort of changed in the code whether this is a day or a night. So wait, hang on. Is, is Snowblind day or night? I would assume be, night. Yeah, it has night. to be night. Has to be. No, night. no, the easiest way to check is just grab an AC weapon and run in there. What do you mean? Because those change how they look. They change you how they look what? at night. Oh, okay. I was I was doing um, the Grawl fractal earlier, and it changed during that fractal because I saw oh, cool. a guy's short bow go from huh. or no long bow, but short that's bow, long weird bow, because go from the AC norm, like the AC wait, night time the crazy bubble doesn't that's weird because they, they specifically said the they specifically said there is not a day and night cycle in the fractals. I think, well, Riven, you have to realize that bow is bugged, the animation, so the bubbles only happen sometimes. Oh. The other times oh, okay. it might just be blue and you just might not notice. No, it, okay. it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't that, blue. That bow is it, bugged, it, it, is basically, yeah, it, as someone who has yeah. that bow, that bow is bugged. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, wait, who's got that background noise? Weird background, anyway. Um, so... They haven't actually changed the lighting at all. They've only just changed. The... Not that I've noticed. Oh, that's, bo- that's boring. That's boring. Whether it is what? <laughs> it's boring as fuck. But it, it would it would only affect like two fractals. Yeah, but I'd still like to see them looking. I, I want to see more. Oh, lighting like whether whether you go too. into like the Radisson one and it's all suddenly all dark instead of all bright. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? But then you would need different like versions of the skybox for everything oh, and all that. Well, that's what we're asking. It's for. extra work. That is what it's we, extra work. Literally, what we're that's asking not what we're for. asking for. It's what you're asking. Uh, yeah, for. it is what I'm asking. for. Anyway, so is that the all the two main changes for the fractals? For the fractals, yeah. And then the dungeons got a whole bunch of changes. But like, I'm pretty. Making bullshit fights less bullshit, as, as well as they're they're trying to get rid get away from the corpse run effect, which is basically like four people will die and the fifth person will just try to not die as he's evading, right? And then the rest of people will just respawn and try to run back. And so they're trying to see like, okay, are they doing this to sort of just cheese the boss? Uh, if so, is it just too hard? Is the fight too long? And while they haven't made any changes per se to the boss fights. Yeah, they uh, have. They, well, they've scaled it, but they haven't changed any like you know new mechanics. Except for some for, of them, they have. Yeah, oh, cool. we'll talk about Mag in a second. Um, but the like they're they're making it so you can't waypoint unless uh, everyone is out of combat or dead. So I oh, similar to how fractals work. That's another yeah. thing they added to fractals. You can uh, check. You can spawn respawn at the checkpoint without having everyone dying. Without having everyone yeah. dying. Yeah, because like yeah, so like if, if everyone, everyone's like, out of combat, gets out of combat in a fractal, like you can finally oh, that's respawn so good. yourself. That's so good. Yeah. Oh man. Yep. But like a good really, example really necessary is, change. is yeah, yeah. A, a good example of a dungeon change is in like Honor of the Waves. There's one boss. I forgot his name. Some weird Norn name. The boss who stands on the <laughs> stairs and was supposed to have a whole bunch of ads spawn. Oh yeah. Cynic, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, we. You know exactly. His ads what didn't about. spawn. His He's ads didn't spawn. Awesome laser. And then there was one patch recently that said removed a bug that caused the ads not to spawn. Mm-hmm. Um, but they were all veterans and they were hella tough. Well, so yeah. in this change, they made them regulars as opposed to veterans. Right. So that fight is not goddamn impossible yeah, anymore. Dude, me, me and Revan, I think it was me, Revan, and a couple of random. You went there, Shinboy. Uh, when we did we that fight for the first time. Oh my god. <laughs> that, was, that was crazy. The crazy thing, the worst thing was we beat that fight. 
And then we came out of that dungeon and we told you guys about it. And Shimbo was like, what are you talking about? There are no ads. What are you talking about? And then we <laughs> were like, what? What are you? Th- oh, my God. Um, yeah. So, so, yeah, there's ads, we, but we, now we, they're, they're easy. So we later realized the reason they spawned was because we let the guy finish talking. If, you ki- if you'd if you killed the ads before he started oh. talking, before he finished talking, they wouldn't have spawned. Yeah, there, were, there was something that was the bug. like okay. when the boss fight started because you ran into the room. Yeah. It- I must have noticed that there were ads already there when the fight started, right. so it didn't spawn anymore. Okay. Oh. So, now, so now now essentially it does it like how we did the fight where we continue to spawn yeah, Yes, ads, except, like except they're normal and not veterans and really tough. Yeah, that makes it way easier because <laughs> that time was so hard. I loved it though. That, that was actually one of my favorite boss fights we've done, even though we had to cheese it. Um, then you need to come to a raw with us because Lupicus with that way oh, is really Lupe's fun. Uncle Lupicus crazy. Uncle Lupicus oh. is a scary man. Oh, that is like, like I was saying before well, the recording. That that is the first uh, boss fight that I've done in Guild Wars Two that really feels like a a good challenging old school boss fight. I don't know. I think Subject Alpha is up there too in COE. I don't yeah, know that I've done that. Yeah. Those two. I it's, mean, have you have you done it without the waypoints though? Interesting. Because someone it's goes tough. down, he can kill people. He can kill people really quickly. How you does, get caught in that crystal. So it's you, bad times. How do you think that's? How, how is that working out? Like it just, did, you just said it's it's harder. Is it harder now that he that there's no waypoint there or? Um, um it's it's not it really, requires actual strategy now. Yeah, you need to be like, okay, this person's dead. You grab aggro the boss, pull him over here while I try and res, and it like, actually it's kind of is funny really interesting. Like, like you as a person who who really thrives on like. Like you really enjoy like figuring out fights for the first time, yeah. and like once people have it all figured out, like you're kind of like eh, about it. Yeah, I'm bored. Like of it. now is a really fucking good time to be coming back into the game, right? Because for the first time since launch, like na- now, like people are actually having to learn proper strategies for boss fights and the proper way to do them. Because if you, you, you like, okay, we'll go we'll go ahead and get into mag, but like the the mag boss fight before, like it was literally line up, take turns going in and dying. That was the strategy that was kind of accepted. And and right. now, like, that's not possible, so we have to come up with an actual strategy for the fight now. Yeah, but, like, say for when we did Loop, because was it last night that we did Ura? Yeah, last night. Um, he was, you know, a sliver of health left, and normally, like, then I died just because he was locked onto me. Um, normally, it would have been no big deal. I can just run back, and it'll all be good. But then, you know, one other person died. It was like, oh, shit, we only have three people left, and we actually need to think about this for a second. It pretty much makes the whole fight um, more engaging. Yeah, as opposed and, and to just being able to run back. More accountable for their actions now mm-hmm. than they were before. It's not just okay. I died. No big deal. I'll run back while you guys yeah. stay alive. It's like, you guys need to stop what you're doing and get me back up, or we might lose this. This also and this also forces people to bring their res skills because before it would just be the warriors got the banner. That's about the only res skill we're gonna bring. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right. Well, it's so yeah, I, my I, th- I think with this we can. I think we can move to the, the mag thing with this just okay. because it's really the best example with this. Um, I, I guess Duran can tell the story that w- we had with uh, me, Duran, and Shinboy. But Shinboy, pre-update, what was the mag fight like? What was like it was the idea? Much, the idea behind it – sorry to cut you off. But the idea behind it was that you pretty much held aggro of all the mobs so they didn't attack mag while he was prepping the door or whatever. Mag pretty much can't die well, during this why whole not thing. Just, why not just kill them? Because there's too many and they're all veterans and good luck. It was exactly. basically a kite fight. Yeah. yeah. Is what, what it was intended to be. Mm-hmm. So what you would do is you would have the first person, usually if there's a guardian in the group, it was them. Um, you know, talk to the NPC, start the event, and then go to the far side of the room from the NPC and from everyone else and just pretty much kite them until they died. And as soon as they went down, the next person would run in and grab aggro and pretty much repeat one person at a time until the thing finished. So it was pretty much uh, – Jake, as he likes to call it, the DMV room because just one person in a line one at a time. <laughs> um, nice. So yeah, that was pretty lame. Um, it was weird because I don't know how they thought that was a good idea pretty yeah, much because I- before it was a kite fight but it at least involved everyone and it was possible with everyone. If you tried to do that um, the way they had it you know, previous to this last patch with everyone in the room. Everyone would have died, and that would have been no bueno. Wait, yeah. so um, which dungeon is it again? Uh, COF, COF Path 2. Okay. Citadel of Flame. Right. Cool. Uh, so I, I guess we can move on to, like, Durin and Shinboy, what is the new fight like? And Durin, what what was the, the, the your first experience with the dungeon with you and me? 
and opposed. Well, like, with, like with the new fight? Yeah. Yeah, what, like, what's the, yeah, oh, what's the yeah. new fight like? Tell us okay, a story. So, so the new fight, the way, that, the way that they have changed that now is, uh, first off, nothing is veteran. Everything is normal enemies now. Um, well, and, how was the and fight before? What happens like, well, now, no, there's, there's, the there's one fight. veteran. Well, that's what Shin, Shin just described, is how the fight was before. No, it was just like, like... He had ads, or like what was the actual... Mechanic. It wasn't a boss fight. It was an event. It wasn't it a was, boss fight. It was. It was, it was a, a protection event. event. Oh god, yeah. I hate protection um, events. <laughs> and so, like masses of veterans would spawn, and you would have to just kite them or try to kite them around the room. And the accepted strategy was instead to do the, the DMV mode, where you just have one person run at a time and okay. run around until they died. Uh, the way they changed the fight now is um, all of those ads. Uh, the ads still spawn, but they are not veterans anymore. And what happens now, the actual mechanic for the encounter is that at three different locations around the room, um, some uh, assassins will spawn. And when the assassin spawns, they are immediately locked on mag, and they they can be slowed, they can be um, stopped, but they can't be knocked back. Um, and, and basically what they'll do is, you know, the way you can tell who they are aside from their name is they'll actually kind of, as they spawn in, they'll kind of go invisible and not, and then invisible and then not. So what you want to do basically is mark them so everyone can see them, and you want to DPS them down before they get to Mag because they're going when they get to Mag, like I said, they're they're completely trained on him, her, whatever it, um, huh. and we'll just start wailing on it, and and if Mag goes down, you got to restart the encounter again. Okay. Um, and so you basically have to kind of call those out while also the whole time you're dealing with these assassins that are spawning in kind of one at a time until the very last set, which is two at a time. Um, you're also kind of needing to manage that large group of enemies because if you, if you let too many of them um, spawn, you're going to get overrun. Everyone's going to die. So it's like a so, three-two split. You get two people doing ad duty and three guys taking down the assassins. Is that um, that's that's Not probably really. a, that's probably a strategy you could do. Honestly, it's 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 also totally doable. Just having everybody on ads and then right. everybody on right. the assassins. Um, as long as everyone's paying attention and someone calls out when the assassin comes up. Um. And marking is incredibly important. So our first encounter with this, with a pug, uh, it was actually, it was four of us from the guild, one pug. Um, and we were kind of just beginning to kind of get that strategy down and try to get everyone to understand, you know, to, to mark and to, um, to kill it when it needed to be killed. And, and it seemed like, like we were getting closer and closer, but we were failing it over and over and over again. Um, like closer and, and closer was like we went from fifty percent to seventy percent. Yeah, yeah. So not super close, but we were seeing progress. <sighs> um, but we were also noticing that our pug guardian was going down within seconds of the fight starting. Great. No, sir. He was a warrior. Oh, because okay. remember we That's had. Right. He was a warrior. That makes right. more right. sense. You were on your you were on your fresh Ellie. We had another one of the other bombers was another fresh uh, warrior, and then this guy who was a fresh warrior, like fresh yeah. meaning he just reached eighty. Um, and I was on my Mesmer, and I think we had an engineer as well. And it was just like, he refused we, like, we, to, we, yeah, he we refused to go longbow out. or just, it's, uh, we couldn't figure out why he was dying. Like we were trying multiple different strategies. I tried going staff didn't work cause I pulled too much aggro from the AOE group. Um, I just didn't have the survivability for it. And finally, after probably a good four or five attempts with him, um, we just fucking kicked his ass to the curb. Really? Um, yeah. like, and in our defense, we're like, okay, if we don't make it this run, we're all quitting. And like, yeah. And then I and so, got on Mumble. Instead of all quitting, we kicked him, pulled the Shinboy in, and went through it first time. I didn't want to go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but what happened was, I was like, nah, I'm good. Uh, you guys can, can continue with without me because you've been doing it this whole time without me. But then Third was like, if you leave, we'll be kicking a pug. And I was like, I'm logging into the game right now. Well, specifically, we'll be kicking a pug who really wants to be here and do this. Aww. <laughs> yep. But he you don't sucks. understand. Like, I absolutely love kicking pugs out of guild groups. Oh. <laughs> That's not nice. It, but like, and see, it wouldn't have been like, I feel like we gave the guy plenty of, of, Right, chances so, so my I mean, main we, thing like is, I said, we, we did this thing at least four or five times. Did like with he him, did he, he just, respond to your criticism? Like did he did, did he talk at all? Or is yeah, it uh, he was talking yeah. a decent bit. And yeah, he was talking, but he just wasn't acting. Okay, so he so when you said why aren't you going longbow or whatever, he just didn't do it. He didn't have one. He didn't have one. We sent one to him, and he still didn't use it properly, that or anything like that. Like uh, he, uh, clearly not because he died within seconds of starting the fight. Oh he, he used it, but not to the effect of which we intended. Where is he yeah. just like started auto attacking with it and then switched back to greatsword oh or something? God. No, he had 
He had mace and shield against an oh, AOE no. slash focus down people group. Oh no! The warrior yeah. inside me is crying. <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah. Okay, right. Anyway, once what, anyway. Shinboy joined, yeah, what we did it like yet? right away, and I was like, "Wow, that was pretty easy." <laughs> also, fiery greatsword turns out pretty good for that fight, dude. I love oh, yeah, fiery greatsword. So, so are embers. Uh, oh, so, uh, do you know the magic so that are embers? Uh, no. What's embers? You know, like the LE fire elemental summon. No, but go on. So you know, you I don't do. know the Ellie skill that you can summon the. Elementals? Oh right, just the normal elemental or the elite elemental. Yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't matter. Right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't um, matter. Um, there's, uh, I mean, we've been using them for a while, but you haven't been playing, so you don't know. Mm-hmm. There's um, a consumable that lets anyone summon one. Right. I did not know this at all. So there's you actually, can just I think summon them. One of the YouTube guys, I think it's Wooden Potatoes, does yeah, a uh, video. video that's just like all the different, all oh, the useful items, crazy things you can find in the world that are useful items, yeah. and we'll like we'll, we'll throw in the links. I think YouTube keeps um, recommending that to me. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> 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 so I think that's that's as of right now all the changes with the dungeons, right? Or is there anything no? There's saying? they made one boss in, in COE. Um, I don't know who's with me. Third, you with me on that fight. Remember the one where we had to do the cannons? I was and then, there. Revan, you were there. Ellie Mash was there, and then I was there, and whoever the hell our fifth was. Ellie you know Mash was always about? there. Um, the one where you had to have the three people on the lasers, and then Ellie Mash and I were on the bottom just standing there. Oh, yeah, yeah. the front door of the path that uh, yeah. I vowed never to do again. They changed that boss, apparently, so you have more time before the bubble comes back. You mean they give you more time than ju- they give you more time than just, okay, you're down there, oh, you gotta go back now. Yeah. You looked at him, that was... Oh, there's a chance. There's a chance to do damage. He threw one bleed on him. Congratulations. Is CM fixed? Uh, we don't we, know. We, we will never find out. Yeah, <laughs> he, he has a lame. God damn it. Everybody refuses to run CM. Uh, so. I, I'm so curious about CM because I like that armor. Anyway. Um, so yeah, the, the next next big change, I guess, with the uh, with the update was they added laurels and changed around how achievements work. And I'm still on the fence about achievements. I don't know. This this new system, I like them. So what's the difference? It, I think it'd have been okay had they retroactively like. They said they're gonna do it. Yeah, they said on it. So two years from now, it'll be <laughs> in. Yeah. Okay. So what we're talking about is they um, basically made it like they gave you a list of right now. There's like twenty some odd things you can do to get your uh, daily achievement done, and each day it spits out you have to do six of these twenty. I thought it was five. 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 Okay. Five of these twenty, and they every day they change. Whereas before, it used to be just the exact same five things: gather a little bit, do some events, and kill some people, and kill different types of people. Right. Uh, that sounds really weird. <laughs> anyway, uh, 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 uh. yep. Stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, with the new stuff, there's things Channeling like right uh, kill guys underwater, or revive people, or do some crafting, or, and, or kill five veterans. Yeah, or the broken five one. Ten oh, combo no. fields. Yeah, that one was. Wait, what was that one? The combo kills. <laughs> Ten combo finishers, oh. and it didn't it, yeah. work. It, it, yeah. It's not that it didn't work. It's that some most classes have a lot harder time to get a combo finisher just because they have things like bleeds happening as well. Right. Because if the bleed gets the kill and not the combo f- uh, finisher, what? Well, also, then it is it serious? They removed it because it didn't work. Yeah, it, it just wasn't working for everyone. Like guardians could do it real easily. I've seen warriors yeah. could do it pretty easy as well. Necro, yeah, no, with, was bow bleed. No, you could do it pretty easily with the bow, with the, bow. With the, oh, uh, the fire field. Yeah, but not with the rifle because it bleeds. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So it's, uh, <laughs> anyway, the other achievements, it's with these new achievements, the rewards uh, are now laurels instead of, like, do you, you still get the Jug of Karma? I actually haven't done one. Yeah, you do. You still do. get the Jug of Karma and the Mystic Coin and potentially the thing yeah. and the... The other thing. Yeah. The third magical item. Well, so you'll there, get a Jug of Karma a chance all the to time. Get... You get some kind of Karma. No, you always uh, yes. get a jug of karma. Is it a jug? I swear yeah. there was yes. one time I didn't get a jug. I got no, like a swig or something. You're but wrong. there's still a chance to get keys hmm. and salvage kits and whatnot? Yeah. Not sure I got about keys, but sure. I, I got a salvage kit the other day. Uh, and then we're not, like, have you guys finished the monthly yet to figure out what there's, if there's no. any stuff with that no. too? Or... I've heard. No, I know Doctor finished well, you it. Well, can't, you can't finish the Wait, monthly. Wait, Doctor finishes monthly? You can't finish the monthly did. because you have to do five dailies to finish the monthly. Oh, uh, okay. But I've heard Maybe it was just the salvage he did. Yeah, he did the salvage. I've heard some speculation that it's 10 laurels for the monthly. Yes, it is 10 laurels. I, I saw somebody oh, really? finish it. Oh, I was hoping it'd be 20. Same. And they've actually added, there's apparently a ton of stuff you can get with these laurels. I thought yes, it was just like there the basic. Is a yeah. metric shit ton of things you can get. Like six different tabs of things. Yeah. 
Like what kind of? All right, I'm wary. I'm wary to link this in Mumble, so I'm just gonna just go up the list. But they have, like there's. The, has anybody opened up any of the gear boxes yet? Like the no. warrior gear, no. and elementalist gear. Okay, uh, Cynic, I'll, I'll do no. a few of the. I'll touch a few of the highlights because I'm sure you have no idea. Yeah. There's like boxes of gear which contain level 78 to 80 rare or exotic gear for specific professions. You can get dyes. You can get uh, an everlasting cat potion. <laughs> um, cool. You can which, get which is like one of the most expensive things. The that's things awesome. that's the most expensive thing. Um, it's a hundred laurels. The thing that I'm curious about is there's starter kits for each crafting profession, but I don't know what's in them, and you can only buy them once per account. Weird. So I'm thinking it's something you get when you start a character. Hmm. Interesting. But the thing is, if that contains crafting materials and you get it every time you start a character, you could you know do that over and over and over and get infinite amounts of materials. Right. Yeah. But there's also uh, bags of each tier of mat. You can buy. You can get like um, unidentified dyes in packs of ten. Cool. You can Which get. Which is actually fairly cheap. Like that's you only can get, what five um, laurels I think. Yeah, Three you laurels? can get ascended rings and amulets. So wait, you get a laurel for each daily you do. Like it was, yes. Once you complete yes. a daily. Yes. So yep. yeah. five and days for oh, okay. Interesting. You can 30, 30 days gets you an ascended amulet. Thirty five gets you an ascended ring. Is this the first ascended amulet? Yes. Yes. That's um. There's new infusions like a twenty percent magic find infusion, which is Whoa. pretty nuts. Oh uh, wait, <laughs> just gonna put that in everything at the end and just see how much magic find I have when they add that to the stats. When they add that to the stats thing. Did- yeah, and to be just to be sure, like the, these ascended from the laurels don't naturally come with the uh stuff for fractals whatever the no the infusions right? oh. but you can just get an inf- you, you, can get, you can slot it yeah you can it comes with the slots but i mean the normal rings for like level 10 fractals don't drop with infusions anyway do they no that, they only start dropping pre-infused at 26 yeah so it's the same i mean an infusion a simple infusion oh, doesn't sorry. cost a lot start, of fractal tokens they start dropping at 20 pre-infused but you can there's still a chance you will get a non-infused ring they're guaranteed if a ring drops after 26 yeah, but I mean, like, it's not, it's a really small number of, of fractal tokens for an infusion anyway, if I remember correctly. How many dailies Something was it like again s- for the um, amulet? 30. 30. 30. If, you, if you were to do your monthly and assume you get 10 for the monthly, it'd be like 20 days plus the monthly for an ascended amulet. Interesting. How, hmm. Wait, how do you guys th- think about that economy? I think that sounds okay. Sounds like a lot of time to spend. It, it sounds points. like they're a bit too expensive. Maybe yeah. they bumped it down to twenty. That'd be fine. Yeah, twenty like seems more reasonable. But it's a guarantee. But you, have, can- you also have to think it's a guarantee, not a dice roll. Yeah. Especially yeah, that's considering true. if I'm not because I know there are people out there who don't like to run fractals. You run ten fractals at a, a, from ten up. You get your daily chest from the Jade Maw. You get the ring. Like you're guaranteed a ring because you get yeah. those pristine fractal tokens. Mm. Hmm. The other nice thing is, is, is we like Shin Boy sort of like glossed over it earlier, but unidentified dies, you get ten of them for five laurels. That's that will actually help out the economy with lowering that price. Down. Yeah, yeah, because dies right definitely. now are super expensive. Twenty yep. silver for one unidentified die. Uh, and then just something I, I'm pretty sure about this, but in the months to come, when they like they they want to get the initial um, system running, and then they're going to retroactively reward everyone for the fancy achievements they've done like jumping puzzles or whatnot right uh so but and maybe you get February, for those March, as well we'll get like a big influx of um uh, laurels and i think that was smart to do yeah not at mm-hmm. the beginning i wonder if i'll get one for dungeon master probably maybe you oh and better. Also, I imagine so. you better world versus world you get blueprints but you don't get uh, i'm surprised not to see uh badges of honor hmm. yeah yeah that would be nice Actually, yep. yeah. Help legendaries. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, because right now, pretty much the only thing holding me back from my Bifrost is the goddamn inf- artificially inflated <laughs> price of the legend. It's only 700 gold. Jesus. 700 the gold. Is, Cynic, price. The thing is, Cynic, that's not natural inflation. People have just been buying them and relisting them. That's, like the other day, there were two annoying. listed for like five sixty. Then they both were bought, and only one of them was relisted for seven hundred. That's hilarious. <laughs> if, Shin Boy, if it wasn't one of those other like the legendaries that got the new animation updates that were trip that tripled in price. Oh, but the thing is, yeah. it tripled. It tripled mo- oh, to three hundred. Not like. Oh, three hundred still less than but half imagine, of seven hundred. But imagine if you were working towards that, and you were just—I might, were at 40 I might gold. just get the spear because of sharks. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, the, uh, so one of the changes is their spear now has sharks everywhere. That's kind of cool. That's that's pretty cool. That's, that's, that is pretty. It great. looks that's really awesome. awesome. So does every does every water weapon have a legendary? Every weapon yes. has a legendary. Yeah, the, spe- the spear is the only one I've ever seen. Because it's awesome now. Cool one. Apparently. Okay. Is it the uh, short bow or the long bow that's got the like unicorns? Short bow. That's short a short, short bow. Awesome. Yeah, they changed uh, yeah, some of the effects great. of the legendaries. Like the moot is now awesome. It leaves like disco floor tiles whenever you walk. Yep. Um, <laughs> the dreamer as well changed, as when you swing. As well as when you swing, correct? Um, and when you like uh, like you know uh, unsheathe like, it. The death and the disco effects kind of around you um, are a lot more apparent now than they were before. Yeah, but like going back to the the dreamer, the short bow. Before the projectile that you shot was just like a unicorn head. Right. Now it is like a straight up like charging unicorn. Oh, that's cool. With an Anet logo yeah. on its ass. Let's not forget about that. Oh, what? I didn't know that. Oh, see, I haven't seen that. Oh, yeah, there's what? an Anet logo on it. It's like on left butt cheek. That's pretty like cool. Oh, man. I believe so. And actually, oh, when man. like you do a spread shot, it fires five uni- uh, unicorns Yeah, yeah five charging unicorns. So wait, this is that's changed with this patch? Yeah. Yes. yes. Cool. As well as the I legendary believe I have a spear, of that, which, uh, which changed. Legendary spear, like, for the warrior... The Warrior Five with spear, you sort of do that spin. Yeah. Whenever you do that spin, each like rotation of the spin, a giant shark just like jumps up. <laughs> That's cool. Like a giant ethereal shark, just like appear, like shark head appears. Making me love that skill even more because that skill is strong. That skill is quite. That strong. skill with quickness is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, so what else has changed? While I've been uh, gone. well. Uh, moving down the list is they now have guesting in the in the game, and I believe which it works fantastically. Which I am really yeah, legitimately you guys surprised at. Yeah, I, I was really expecting it to be broken immediately. That's so cool. I sort of was too. Like uh, Citadel of Flame was locked. I'm like, I know people on Maguma. Let me guest on Maguma. I went there. Dungeon was unlocked. I walked right in. It worked. That's that's pretty. Well, so how do how do you guess? What is the process? Okay, you go to your character clicks, so uh, character select screen. Sorry, and um, you hit world selection, mm-hmm. and there's just a list, and it shows which one is your home world, and it also shows which worlds you have friends on, which is kind of a nice that's, touch. That is that's awesome. cool. Oh wow, I haven't um, seen that. Yeah, um, I don't know if they have to be online at the time because mine were, so I haven't tried it when they weren't. Right. Um. So you know how the PvP browser works where, like, if there's friends on a server, it'll say that you have, like, friends on that PvP server? Yeah. It's the same thing. So okay. you just you pretty much just select a server and hit guest, and you just log in where you were on that character on that server. And then on your character select screen, on each character, it has the world listed. But say I, lo- I guessed it on Maguma on my warrior, and it said, you know, level 80 warrior, guild, Lincoln force, guesting on Maguma. Cool. And you're, it's there for 24 hours, and then after the 24 hours, it resets. You can do up to two at a time. Okay. So, yeah. All right, so it, it is limited. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I wish that you could, since you do have two slots, I wish you could select one to be a quote-unquote perma-guest. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I, I agree. And then have like, that second me, slot be 24 hours. Like, give you control over how long you're there. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, Maguma, since I know a bunch of people on that server, I would like to be able to guess there. You know, permanently, if I want to do stuff with them, instead of having to do it every time. Right. Which I mean, it's a it really quick. It takes like ten seconds, but still. Yeah. But, uh, but another thing to take note is, is what's really important. If, if you log out of like of the game and then log back in, you return to your home server, right? Um, like I don't know because after or... I logged out, the next time I didn't log in was like for a whole day, so it right. probably reset anyway. Oh, okay. Either way. It's smooth. It's silky smooth. That's yeah. what I really. Concerned. Yes. Um, yeah. Have it you guys, works flawlessly. Can you guess to the um, other region? Can we go to UK? No. It, no. It's, it's only locked. guess in your own region. Oh, that's that's what I'm really looking forward to. Because there's a couple of guys who used to be looking forward to on the UK now. Oh man. It sounds like that's not coming. Damn it. Well, yeah, that's, not coming anytime. I mean, because all the servers are like, probably like at transfer, shared data centers. Yeah, like you could transfer across region, but you can't guess cross region. Right. Oh, that's sad. And that's just that's just between the two data centers. They just can't do but it. But the thing is, dungeons work on separate servers, so you, I believe, you can dungeon across regions. Okay. I don't believe you can fractal across regions, or you couldn't previously. It no, might have changed. I know a few people in the UK. I'll figure this out. Yeah, because when <laughs> I've had issues where I was like uh, with Guild Wars looking for group, I we got four people in, and the fifth guy was like, "I can't get in." It's like, wait, what? 
Where, where do you live? Germany? Yeah, that's probably Aww. why. Oh, yeah, okay. that would happen from time to time. Um, but I guess, I guess going along the same lines as this, uh, with guest incomes, you have to pay to uh, change servers. And to anybody who doesn't know how this works is if, like, it's nearly like until three-tiered, where it costs more gems if you try to join a more populated server. How much gems are we talking about? Yeah. 1,800, was it? Uh, uh, I think 1,800 is the highest. I'm I'm looking to it, try and find it, I thought out, it was yeah. like 500 to 1,800. It's really, really widespread. Right. Yeah. It's yeah, that's what I thought. I think 1,800 yeah. is the highest. I know yeah. the low end is 500. But but see, the thing is, though, is that no one's ever going to pay the low end, at least not right now, because all servers are high. Interesting. Yep. Like, they're all high population. Really? So, okay. Yeah. Every server is either high or full. Wow. Wait, so across the entire fucking world? Well, at least across the our US? region, at least. That's crazy. Yeah. This game's popular, apparently. Yeah. yeah. Turns out this game is actually doing pretty well. <laughs> like three <laughs> oh, million people. Really or something. See they, you see, they posted um, concurrent players from their statistics have gone up for the past five weeks. That's cool. oh wow, no, I hadn't seen that. It hit a low point around the November event, and then it's been going up since. Cool. Well, yeah, because that's when the games were coming out, and now they're not coming out anymore. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what March is because one, that's when they plan to have like a lot of the bigger stuff out by then because right. they keep saying like this stuff's not coming till after March and this isn't coming out till March and stuff like that but also there's a lot of games coming out in March man that's true we're going to talk, are, we're talking about, we're like talking about that March, in a couple of minutes nothing. we will talk so... about that in a couple of I know I'm minutes. just saying it, it related to Guild Wars 2 in a way when it comes to yeah, population absolutely. numbers we'll most likely see like a March drop off but then it'll immediately pick up in April because fucking nothing well it's, it's fun to answer huh. the question of like we, we posed this question last year like will people come back after the huge holidays T- turns out they will which yeah. is which is good to see turns out, turns out they will in droves yeah <laughs> yeah I'm, i still get thrown into an la overflow every single time in the middle of the week in the middle of the day <laughs> i just started yeah i just started a uh um silvari yesterday and um like there there were people playing in the starter zone that's awesome there were, there were new characters being made even now like that's it's crazy because I, I like i think i said this before and this this continues to hold true like this is the first MMO that I've played this many months after launch that going and making a new character isn't a fucking wasteland. That That is totally cool. I, I think that's a side effect of the leveling system. Absolutely. Because, you know, if you know what you're doing, you can get that new character up to 80 within a couple of days without much effort. Mm-hmm. Or if you just want to craft Or Or go in and PvP days. right away and all of that. Oh, man. Wait, wait so... PvP. How, have they changed... Anything um, that you guys know of in terms, like, because there's two regions that are changing, in like soonish, right? Well, yeah, the, the two ra- the two uh, zones which I talked about last week are Diesa Plateau and Wayfarer Foothills, and uh, I will quickly get to those before I want to preface that they did also change ore when oh, we were talking about yeah. deserted oh, right, wastelands. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. forgot to talk about the jewel boxes. <laughs> The oh, the right. jewelry boxes. Oh, man. What jewelry boxes? Yeah, uh, it, uh, well, uh, along with the changes of, of loot, there's also, like, have you guys been... I was to... I went to Straits of Devastation, and it seemed a little less crowded. Like, it wasn't as it was, hazardous yeah, to run around. Yeah, they reduced the density of mobs uh, throughout war. And they actually made them a little bigger. Easier to... Made the mobs physically bigger. <laughs> they also changed that's awesome. a lot of the temple events. Hmm. And made the world uh, really they, bad. They, they added... evil now. Have, oh, that's not good. Had they removed <laughs> the um, Melandra effect from the entirety of Ore? Because that's pretty much all I nope. wanted. God nope. damn it. <laughs> well, like the haze? <laughs> no, the brambles that, that crimp, cripple oh. and bleed you. Oh, no. Oh, I, hate oh, water. I hate that. <laughs> Especially underwater. Hey, I want to go get that Ore Calcum there. Oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> so they have not removed those. That, that's one of the, that was one of my number one <laughs> but things cynic. I to change. Throwing back to what we were talking about uh, earlier, there are like communities that are trying to get everyone to populate to a single guest server to play. Like, if you want to go to Or, guest on this server, and we will have as many people in those zones as possible. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, Wait, so have oh, you guys like, noticed? Oh, say you want, say you want Balthazar to be up or whatever, go to this server yep. and all of that. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, awesome. There was there was some post on Reddit talking about that. I think I believe they decided Tarnished on Coast? yeah, Tarnish Coast. Is the, the role-playing uh, server? Yes, is the North American <laughs> or, ser- or server now. Oh, no. Yep. We get to deal with the role-players if we want to do I, more. That, that actually makes me want to go there all the more. <laughs> I want to see Just how that's like. 
Oh man, no, exactly. I totally want to see like, dude, guesting is the best. <laughs> guesting is awesome. I, now I get to see how they live in their little. <laughs> well, world. guessing is kind of great because it it lets you do what you want to do when you want to do it, rather than having to wait for like some events that you maybe don't care about, like like some dungeons that have been like uh, Shemway mentioned earlier, dungeons that are closed because the events are in the middle of happening. Like rather than having to like, oh, I guess we're gonna spend you know fifteen minutes doing this event so we can get the fucking door open. Right. Instead, you can just log out, go guess to another server. Only one person in the group has to do it. Um, guess to another server where it's open and just walk in. So, have you guys noticed the changes to Or? Or like, are they are they awesome? Is anyone they made it? the temples? Well, they made a lot of the the events. They changed the balance in them. Like Balthazar is a lot easier, and Grenth is a lot harder. Okay. But they changed the way they look. As in, like I just logged in before um, we started this, and my character was left at Balthazar, and we didn't own it, and it looked evil. That's cool. <laughs> That's as well, cool. some else also I think is cool is they add they added the uh, lesser temples around the map. You actually see on like the overlay of the map. Uh, yeah, like, like all, all the god statues are marked on the map. Oh, good. Yeah, that's useful. Yep. So I stay away from the Melandra ones. Got it. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I, I guess the the other big thing that happened with Ore was you can now loot certain like chests, jewel chest or whatever from the ancient uh, Orion jewelry boxes or whatever they're called. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can, and, you can and you purchase. Get, you them. get these from killing like the mate, like Grenth and Balthazar and whatnot, right? Right. Yeah, any any of the major – actually, any of the karma vendors in Ore have yeah. them. Even the ones at the rate like, – like, It's like 4,100 karma or something. It's 4,550. Uh, 45, yeah, 45, okay. 4,550. What do they give you? Um, they have they have a chance to give you some amount of karma back um, as well as there could like be great trash. Uh, but there could all – yeah, but there could also be – like I've gotten a couple of obsidian shards out of it. Oh, wow. Um, or um, – uh, you can get lodestones as well. I've gotten a yeah. couple of yeah, charged lodestones, lodestones, some crystal lodestones. You can also get a mini risen priest of Balthazar. I have <laughs> two. <laughs> That's cool. Wait, so I have one. Do you oh, guys you think this get, is um, um, to help people get legendaries? You also get, get um, elemental potions, I guess. Yes, and it's also something else to spend karma on if you don't want a legendary. Right. Yeah. Because you can get, like like Revan mentioned, you can get those mini pets, which is a cosmetic thing. Unfortunately, they're account bound because I was the first person I knew of to get one and I would have made a ton of money. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you can also get um, everlasting potions for each of the elemental types. You can, get a, you can get a charged potion, a warm potion, a cold potion, and my favorite, the hard potion. Well, what's the hard potion? <laughs> what was that the the elemental. elemental. Oh, okay. They all turn you into the the four types of elementals. Wait, so do you like it because of its name? Yes, yes. Okay. yes. Good to it's, know. It's implying that a liquid is hard. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Well, heavy water is. Anyway, um... so I guess I guess the one <laughs> thing out of all this is that I really wish there was something else you could use to make obsidian, sh- like use obsidian shards to make. Because yeah, I got my clovers and I have like thirty some odd shards, and I don't really want to do this to try and get lodestones. Because I'm just going to get 10 more shards out of, or, uh, out of this, too. But, and, so you can't sell them? Like, they are current, no. The actual... no, and they're only used for clovers and the gift of mastery. That's it. That's kind of, I, I'm kind of wondering why they, they made that decision. It would be, be interesting if they changed the economy that way by, by making it that much easier. I mean, you could do the clover recipe in the hopes of getting like tier 6 mats or lodestones or whatever, or echoes oh, okay. even. Right. But, I mean, if you get clovers and you don't need any more clovers, like, I don't need any more clovers... I'm just gonna have all these clovers sitting there, and if I don't feel like getting for going for the second legendary, there's really nothing I can do with them. Is there anything you, you can, can do with them? Yeah, yeah I, I know I can vendor them, but so can you do anything with shards? <laughs> the, can yeah. you vendor the shards? I think. Oh god! You can't vendor the shards. You can vendor the clovers, but that's not really cost effective. No, I wouldn't think so. Wait. No, not at all. So, well, I guess you know what? Most likely, these are a lot of these materials will likely be used in the um, legendary armor they plan to add later on. So, yeah, I I'm, guess I'm you hoping. could start stocking up for that. Man, legendary armor! I hope I hope legendary armor is an entirely we're, we're also, different method. Of we were also discussing it. this the other day, actually yesterday when we were doing fractals. Um, do you think, Cynic, in your opinion, if they were released legendary armor, should it be one piece or a set at a time? That's a very good question. I think it would be mm. awesome if it was a set. And it worked differently. I, I, um, the the way we way we thought it out is that each character, when you get world completion, gets two uh, gifts of exploration. Right. We said one for a weapon, one for an armor set. 
I I don't want it to work the same way. I I, I like. No, I'm just saying. Even if even if it, the process is completely different, as right. long as it involves that gift, it still works. And it should and you guys think it should be a set as well? Because I think it should be a set. I I I, I think it should be a set. Yeah, I think it should be a set. Yeah, I think so too. Like it's it, it it's ridiculous to try to expect somebody, especially like Unless the only they way they make it a lot easier. Get, the only way they yeah the only way they can expect you to get every single piece individually to have finally that set of legendary armor is to make every individual piece easier to get than a legendary weapon. Would or ever be. I think it'd be pretty cool if when you for example whatever method you get it you, you you sacrifice a baby at the temple of Balthazar at the mid at midnight on X day of a year that would be cool. Um, if you if you do Some that weird thing with setting the system clock yeah if if you, if you do <laughs> that um, it would be cool if it gave you six pieces. And not like a single, like it, and then you can just swap them. If you have multiple sets yeah. of legendaries, and you can swap the pieces. But when you do it the first yeah, time, you get all six pieces. Whether you do it um, armor type specific or profession specific, as in legendary warrior armor, it has or be, just it has to be one or two sets. So I have another question for you then regarding uh, legendary armor is, um, in terms of stats, do you think it should be given to you just, uh, like, do you think you should be able, to, be able to choose what stats you want, or should it be... Um, uh, Set. Um, oh, I'm forgetting the the word now. Transmute it. Predetermined. Transmute it. Thank you. Oh. Uh, should you be able to transmute it to get the stats that you want? I mean, you can transmute the legendary weapons. Can you? Oh, can you? Okay. Yeah. I thought they yeah. wow, because I didn't know they're it. glitched and they'll lose their legendary status. No, they fixed that in this patch. They did? I didn't see it in the notes. Wait, but it's okay. just it's just bugged in chat. That's it. But how do you, how does it work? Because <laughs> they're ascended, and you don't have any ascended. Stats no, there. no, 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 no. The stats are of of exotics. They're not better than exotic stat wise. They so they still haven't because they said they were going to. They haven't. They're going to bump. They're, they're only going to bump them up. No, only when the ascended weapons are out. Oh, okay. All right, that makes oh, sense. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. So if they were yeah. doing legendary armor, then you could just put exotic whatever exotic armor. Like I'm currently wearing a full exotic of the type I want, so I could just put that onto the um, armor. Which is pretty cool. Yeah, same. Yeah. Okay. That's 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 pretty useful. I I so what do you guys what how would you guys like to them to do it? Cuz I do you guys think they should do it the same way they do weapons? Cuz I don't want them to do it that way. Someone mentioned uh, eight professions, eight dungeons. I don't know how I feel about that. That was me. <laughs> Cuz if warrior gets stuck in CM, well, guess I'm not You're getting screwed. that set. <laughs> You're screwed. <laughs> Also, no, I think, think, I think one of the worst the... things to do is to require you to run a single type of dungeon over and over and over again to get the things that you need. Like that's already kind of, I think, a flaw with the dungeon system. Mm. Uh, I think, I think as it sits right now, every dungeon should not have its own currency. There should be just be a dungeon currency I disagree. that allows you to run whatever dungeons you want to get the gear that you want. I disagree I like the, completely. I like the idea of the dungeon. Ex- uh, sorry, the token exchange system. I like that idea because about because if you're that saying one, too, but that, that just you, seems like that's a, that's an extra step that are is you kind saying, of unnecessary. Are you saying that sixty um, AC tokens have the same value as sixty ARA tokens? Um, they should. That's what I'm saying. No, no way. I could. We can run AC. The reason they with don't is closed. because the reason they don't is because difficulty levels are not equal, and they should be. That's they never will the, be. The that's an impossible dream. No, no, it's not. How is that impossible? Are you saying you want them to have every single dungeon path in the game be of equal difficulty? In their own respective rights, yes. Other other games have done it. It's not an impossibility. Hmm. I, don't I, know. Think, it's, I think that's something we can discuss balance. when we get closer to like the dungeon change. With the like, hopefully, it's going to happen all at once, or at least when they get to another big step in that. Wait, um, so we, hold on, hold on. Do we know when they're going to be confusing? The I think you're confusing. I don't know. No, we're just spitballing. But Duran, I think you're confusing um, ArenaNet is bad at PvE balance with ArenaNet doesn't care about PvE balance. Then they're bad at PvE because PvE balance is incredibly important. No, not to them. <laughs> uh, yeah, ArenaNet's always been more of a PvP. Um, yep, always has been, always will be. Company, but if they want to be a big player in the in the MMO market, they need. But they to are a big player in the PvE MMO then. market already, and they're doing it just how they're doing it now. I, either way, I. I mean, I mean the long run. We're talking right. – I mean, the game's not even been out for a year. We're talking the short short run. Yeah, they're doing great right now. Yeah. But will that last you know, through the test of time? And, and the, the way to do that is to have a balanced game, as, as balanced as it can be in terms of like where they put their emphasis. The only time they really balance PvE in my experience is if it really breaks the economy. Mm. 
Well, they're doing it now. It hasn't yet. They just they they just yeah. did all these dungeon changes. Well, they're and... not they're not balancing things. They're fixing. Oh, things. they're fixing. Things. Well, yeah, they're fixing things right now. The the next phase is supposed to go into actual balancing of fights. Like they're actually yeah, gonna, like, they they plan they literally plan to go that. through every single encounter and and see where fixes can be made. I hope to that make happens before July. Better balance. Because I'll be busy in July. I, I'm wagering March. Maybe April, but I'm, I'm wagering March because February is supposed to be the Wub Wub update. Um, so I think March is going to be like they're going to finish off the uh, the new storyline or whatever it is, and then March and April they'll have hey do these dungeons. That's interesting. Yeah, I, yeah. So aside from that, what else has changed? So have those two areas changed? Like I asked before. Uh, uh, the, the the beginnings of it has started, like the the living story as they're calling it. Yeah, uh, we've seen the first couple of phases of that now, I believe. Is that like new quests? Yeah, um, so it's 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 really um if you they have a whole post on it on on the main site. Mm-hmm. They don't want it to be like a big event like the Karka event was in uh, the holidays and stuff. Um, these events are more subtle and they take place over longer stretches of time. So really, there's only one or two things that were changed, okay. and with like an extra event here and there. Yeah. Yeah, basically what it is right now is you are building signs with your greatsword. Um, oh, the magical hammer. Yeah, oh yeah, the magical no, hammer. That I've, seen, I've seen Ellie's use their staff to make those signs. <laughs> <laughs> and then you are, it's rather than help refugees, you're just looting their dead corpses. <laughs> so I haven't actually helped a refugee, it's weird. Okay, so that's, that's so it's the, the, they're starting real cold on that. Do we know what the progression is going to be like? Is it just going to be these two new events for ages and ages? Or? Yeah, it's 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 the story. I mean, I think they're supposed to be doing it a little bit at a time, mm-hmm. but they haven't put a timestamp on it. Right. But you know, eventually I would, I would the whole story probably like biweekly would be my guess. Yeah, something like that. Just little things here and there, because um, the whole story is like crazy steam is coming from the ground and wrecking people so that could yeah. go anywhere that could go any like number of ways <laughs> they're they're also they're pu- uh, pushing uh, people out of the north and stuff uh i'm suspecting what? dredge and it's gonna be lame no it's, i'm suspecting no. legion i'm suspecting well i've read on the forums that people are suspecting it's going to be a return of the great destroyer well he's dead it would either be primordius or the flame legion if i had to guess or the flame legion summoning primordius which could be interesting anyway i have to have I, I think they have for the power all we know for all we know this could actually i mean this could be a very long lead up to their eventual the announcement of an expansion this year of an expansion where primordius is coming and Wait, I have to go so, eat, so. Oh, okay yeah. thanks so, okay. boy and uh, well, so before we move on to off topic stuff do you guys think that um the next that like the thing we we worried about before the game came out with each expansion being one dragon. Do you think that's going to be a thing? Looking at how it's gone, I, so didn't worry I about think it's it. expected. I just kind of assumed you, that's the way it was going to go. Yeah, I think it's going to be one dragon. I don't think this is it though. Um, I mean, it could be Dredge. It could be like the Destroyers. It could be like what's what's that giant? Um, I, I remember like this old artwork that they said like, oh yeah, this is going to be in the game. It's this giant like creature that's just bursting out of what th- what we thought was sand but uh, i don't know and he's just like no idea what this artwork is i haven't seen it that's interesting but it's like a new thing here. like another new thing like the karka will i mean yeah it could just be this giant thing that they've awakened or something it also know. could just be those uh, something that summons those steam minotaurs that are in lonar's pass <laughs> it, it's subterranean <laughs> karka <laughs> So, oh god, <laughs> that's kind of, that's probably the worst thing you could have said. <laughs> oh man! But so, besides besides that, so we're looking at what we're six months out or so since the game came out. It looks like it's going to be one expansion per dragon because we only killed we only really killed one dragon in the original game, right? No, but like one. Well, you mean one one elder dragon? Ancient dragon? Yeah, one elder yeah. dragon. Yeah, what, what do you want to yeah. call them? So when, it, when did you kill an elder dragon? It was at the end of the game. We, uh, you know, with the cannons and the Zaitan a little night night. Yeah, Zaitan. Oh, you mean in Guild Wars two? I thought you were talking about Guild Wars. 1. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I thought you were talking about Guild Wars one. Oh, no, 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 okay. no. So in Guild Wars two, we are in the main story. We only killed one elder dragon, and so it would. It's probably likely that going forward, it's going to be one dragon per expansion, right? Uh, maybe. How many expansions were there for Guild Wars 1? Three? Three? Four? If you include... I don't know, no, maybe. I think three or four. Three or four. Whatever. I mean, it's, they so can take whatever maybe way they want. I mean, like, one it's, for the first one and then two for the last... For the next two if I'd they... I'd rather the other way around. Three. If it's two and then... They one. they got a couple of different cards Actually, to play. Yeah, I mean, like, they, they don't have to go the way of the dragons as much as... Like, it's... <laughs> it depends where they want to go. That was intended, right? <laughs> yeah, completely. <laughs> 
Um, um, but no, it's like it's. Do they want to visit Alona and Cantha first, or do they want to go to like the frozen nor- uh, north with the like fight? Uh, that could be a Cantha dragon, Jormag. And yeah, a, well, I mean, like the, the Alona dragon, dragon is. Or, or what the hell? Alone. They could go two directions at once. Why not? Because <laughs> yeah. if if WoW has taught me anything, it's that you don't make an entire expansion in a frozen north. And and I also do uh. like how they've um like ArenaNet has decided to make this go over two different zones and not one. Mm. Yeah, it, it'll help. Is there save a zone the in between the two of those zones? Because that's probably where it's going to end. No, it, they're right next to each other. And actually, yeah. I'm I'm kind of worried about the fate of the town that has Meat Toberfest. Aww. Because that's where a lot of the refugees are starting to, to leave so what from. If the, so what if this ends with a new dungeon in the on same dungeon both sides, just diff, uh, just different entrance. You come from the same, you come from different sides, and it ends in the exact same point. point. But it's uh, it starts in that mountain that they share, I guess. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be a new dungeon, only because the bulk of the the like. Any new dungeon levels, we'll probably see out of fractals, and any new, like, the the team that's working on dungeons is working on fixing the old ones. That's a good point. Mm, that's true. So, now, yeah, now's not a time to introduce a dungeon. Well, we have no, we don't know how, we don't know how long this is going to take, so. Mm, that's that, true. That is true. This, this could end, their, their dungeon could end phase in February, fixing or this could, could end in July. Oh, yeah, God. that's true. Anyway. I don't know. It all it all depends really on how how often these updates happen. I mean, if we're talking like if we if we actually do end up seeing something like biweekly updates and it goes until July, that's that's entire like you're going to lose interest really quickly. I think like two months max is about as long as you can. Well, this is only the run prelude, the story. by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, is there anything uh, else? Anything else you haven't touched on for the changes? Uh, yeah, I can go through a couple new things. Uh, with World versus World, this is like the the main thing. Their uh, first phase of getting rid of culling is making it so that, as we mentioned, um, instead of not loading a su- anybody, they'll load a very low polygon count right. of the person. So, have you seen that happen? So, yet? I have not. Uh, mainly just because we've been getting stomped past few weeks with <laughs> okay. uh, World versus World, and so it's. Not really mass crowds running through as much as just like, oh, there's 50 guys just standing outside our spawn. Yeah. We can all see them because they're not moving. Things stuff. are much better now. I, I've seen <laughs> yeah. it because when, when I was trying to do the previous monthly, it, like they they were loading in and it wasn't destroying my frame rate. Yeah. So as you're... Also, try, caning try and... fucking sucks. God yep. fucking damn it. Oh, I'll get to that later. Um, we don't have much yeah, time. It, with, so. with, with, yeah, I'll, I'll 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 go quick with these. Just burst fire. But uh, as you're getting run over by the crowd of fifty, try and tell us if you can see them and how what their polygon count is. Uh, <laughs> message us on Twitter or whatever or Facebook. I don't know. You're right. The other thing. No, not is Facebook. They, not Facebook. Never Facebook. They never Facebook. Make a post on Reddit. They reset the rankings of uh, World versus World now that everyone is more or less on a stable server. Right. Um, what this basically means is the next few weeks you'll see the uh, you're going to see like matched against people who. May not be the right opponent for you. Oh, Either because okay, your okay. team did really... Right, so yeah. they're yeah. switching everything up at the moment. That's why. Yeah, it, yeah. It's, we're, there's going to be jostling again to try and get everyone back in their new ranks, which I didn't think was needed, but they thought it was, so they did it. Um, that's that's the main world versus world changes. Wait, so the, have they... Because um, from my perspective, one week rounds has been the way to go like, i don't think that there's a reason for them to go to two week rounds have they said either way no they're not they're not going to two weeks they're, yeah. they're sticking with one week it's just uh the the glico system that they use to figure out the rank which invariably figures out who you're fighting against got reset which means everyone's value is that is yeah. back to zero but that aside so like this... do you, have they said anything about ever moving back to two weeks because i don't think they should not to my knowledge Good. i think it was mentioned in the post that said they're resetting the rankings Right. If I'm not, yeah, I, I think I that, that. I, my guess would be after this is all said and done, they might go ahead and experiment with two weeks and yeah, see maybe how that works. Update, they might do it, but I'm yeah. okay with one week. Okay. I mean, yeah, the thing is, 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 we spend three weeks fighting the same people before we change in ranking. I don't really want to make it six weeks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if they if they made it so that if you're fighting the same people, you change colors, I'd be okay with that. Because hmm. they... right now it gets really boring. <sighs> They need to make those colors rotate rather than just it being your position in that tier. Especially since you have to pay money to uh, get your world completion done now. Yep. What? Uh, but 
Well, it's it, it, for what you need the world completion for your legendary, and if you're getting rolled in love, love, you're not going to get the love, love completion which you need. Or it's not even if you're getting rolled, but if you're like if you're playing as the same color and you need to get like let's say you're playing as red and you need to get blues garrison in their borderlands, something that is extremely hard to do. Um, right. So you, you are to... like it. Holy yeah, shit. and if you're if you're, if we're in two week rotations, that's like instead of three weeks, that's six weeks where you have to wait just to get your war completion, just to explore something. And right. so a lot of the PvE community that are trying to get world like their war completion are complaining about this validly. Yeah, that's that's fair. Um, that's actually a, but, something yeah. I didn't think about. So now I'm just going to give this nice little helpful t- hint tip out there. If your server is rolling in the new rankings, like you're in your new matchup, you're destroying somebody. Take every character you have, get world completion in Love Love. Yep. <laughs> I have as much as you can. Three, I have world completion on three characters. Wow, okay. I have it on like more than that, but yeah. Cool. Uh, so those are the main Wobo changes. Uh, they sort of hinted that the next patch, uh, the February one, the, uh, is going to happen at the end of the month. Um, it's they, they talked about fixing some bug. It's like, oh well, that's not going to get uh, put in until the end of the uh, end of February with the next update. So we know it's not going to be the middle or the beginning. So just got to wait until the next patch then. Uh, or the last thing I guess is Quag and backpacks. Yeah, I yeah, Quag and backpacks. <laughs> is, that's so, yeah, they're, they're finally they finally after all this time are adding some new stuff to the uh, store? cosmetic store, and it's a quagon backpack. That's awesome. I like it. It's a creepy it quagon backpack. But that's it. It's a creepy quagon backpack. It's like How? six months it's... in, we've had a quagon backpack added. Wait, wait till March. No, I had some crazy number of sh- shit. I yeah, hope. you're hoping. <laughs> uh, but yeah. basically, it's it's like a. Uh, stuffed. It's like a Yoda backpack or something in real life, but it's a quagon. It's a stuffed animal. He's got one eye it barely like hanging on as a button. You bounce. Oh, god damn it! Yeah, it's this weird ragdoll physics. I don't know. Damn it! Oh well. But that's that's all I got. I mean, Riven, Durin, uh, Cynic. You guys got anything for things that are happening in Guild Wars Two? <laughs> you asked me. <laughs> I think we, I think we pretty much exhaustively covered it. Cool. At this point. So we can move on then to the yeah, the meat it. of the show. What we're really here for. Yeah. <laughs> what have you guys been playing, starting with Riven? Uh, I was playing. I've played a little bit of a uh, DMC Devil May Cry. Yeah, Don't you have that game yet? Damn Still straight you have. Oh my god, that game's so good. Right, so who else has played? I played. I finished it. I've played the first uh, two levels of it so far. I have not played any of it, nor plan on getting it, just because I've wasted. I've used up my, my allotted, budgeted like video game stuff oh, on yeah. other games. That's fair. So I will leave you guys to talk about it while I change laundry. Um, All right. So I Great. I picked that game up and like on a whim, and I was like, okay, I I want I want I want to play this. I, want, I just I just need to see what this is about. And so I, so real quickly, were you were you a Devil May Cry fan prior? I played DMC one, like like everyone else. I, I played feel like, DMC I feel one like with this game, I feel like with this game, before we give our opinions on it, we kind of need to weigh in, clarify where we stand on the, the the franchise as a whole. So for me, I really liked Devil May Cry one. I, I didn't play two and three, not because I wasn't interested in them, but because I never got around to them. Um, so mm. I, I, I consider myself a tentative fan, but not nowhere near what one would call a super fan or, or someone who like really loved the series or got outraged because Dante had black hair. Um, you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for me, I I liked what the series was, but I was always terrible at them. So I I never played any of. Them. I remember I played like I played one level of one of them. I don't remember which one. God I want to say it, it might have been three. <laughs> all right. Um, and well, was, all right. I just I just remember like sh- was Dante wearing a shirt? I I don't remember. That's a good question. Maybe. Okay. maybe. Mm. I, I don't. I don't, I don't, shirt, I don't think he one. was. If he's not, it's three. It definitely was not one, so it had to have been three because I don't think it was four either. Um, <laughs> and I just remember spending like forever in a room trying to kill this like flying worm, and it was not fun. I and I never touched another, another Devil May Cry, nor did I want to after that. Right. Um, I didn't even play Bayonetta because I just I, I've never been good at character action games. Twitch like Twitch action games like this. Yeah, yeah. This is this is definitely a Twitch character action game. Revan, are you? Yeah. Uh, I beat, uh, finished three, beat it on, 
I got up to the like Dante Must Die difficulties, the ones where Jesus. like you die in one hit. Yeah, what are you doing? Jeez. <laughs> uh, also, you need to remember, I, and I did that before they fixed those difficulties. So I was doing this on – I started on hard, in, which was uh, – so I started on normal in America, which was hard for the Japanese players. Right. That's so. Whoa. This is, whoa! I fucking had to do some crazy shit. Wait, so that was three. So did you play? So you are a fan. You played one and two, I assume. Yeah. And... No, I, I never played one. Never played two. Oh, okay, so you only played three. Uh, you know, no, someone's played... a fan when they skipped two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I played three, and then I was think I was actually thinking about going back to two, and then I just heard nothing but bad things. Yeah, but one I didn't was feel really like looking good. up one. I played four, and I I liked four. Okay. Four, uh, four was fun. So, so you were a late starter in the series. Level seventy six of the Bloody Palace, which is like the tower thing. Okay, I, I think it goes up oh, to a hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it was up to a hundred. So I, I got to level seventy six. God damn. Yeah. So so you oh, would consider man. yourself a fan? Were you out? What do you guys? What do you think about the changes like to Dante and all that stuff? I was. I didn't care about the changes because I was just shocked and so happy that they were making another Devil May Cry game. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were done after four. They said they were done. Like they, they, were, they were like, we are not making any more Devil May Cry games. Like, oh, we're and they didn't. The and they didn't. So they gave it to Ninja Theory. And in my opinion, that was like the best thing, and simultaneously the it's, worst the thing. Game is so good. Game. That could happen so to the series good. because Patrick came on on GiantBomb.com, a website about video games. Um, Patrick Klepik said something I think is very correct. Like, who are you going to please with this game? You have the people who've lost interest in Devil May Cry altogether. Like, during, I think you're in the minority of people who gave this one a chance. And then you have who, who wouldn't play it. And then you have the people who um, loved Devil May Cry religiously who wouldn't play it. So the only people you're really getting with this game are people who are open to Devil May Cry, like me and Revan. Or are just, like, willing to try any good game that comes along, like, like Durin. Um, so I, yeah. I, I'm really worried about this series and the fact they gave the Ninja Theory. But in fact, the actual game itself, I think, like Revan, it was awesome. So wait, so Durin, I guess you you have the shortest experience this game. How did you feel when you first played Level One? Um, because that's like the intro. Like it sets well, the scene for the whole game. Yeah. So uh, again, the most recent Devil May Cry game I played or I, I attempted to play was Bayonetta and didn't do so well. Um. So coming into this one, I was kind of expecting real similar things, but but in the meantime, I have played Darksiders and Darksiders Two, oh, yeah. so I've kind of gotten a little bit more familiar with the the dodge mechanic in in these action games that I was not familiar with at all back then. Right. Uh, so immediately, I felt a lot more comfortable playing this game than I had ever in a Devil May Cry. Um. So I actually like the more and more I played of it. Uh, which granted hasn't been very much. It's been maybe an hour or two hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think it's about an hour and a half I've clocked in so far. Um, it's it's a it's actually a pretty fucking awesome game, and it oh, does good. a really good job of of making you feel badass, even if you are not using all the combos available to you. Yeah, like um, so uh, did, should we go into the combat system? Because I we can totally go into the combat system right now. Because I I love it deeply. Um, but. Maybe not. But that that aside, we'll talk about that in a second with me and Revan waxing about the game. Um, what do you think about the introduction to the character? Because it, it's very... So one of the worries of going into Devil May Cry... Well, sorry, DMC Devil May Cry was that from the press release footage, the images of the character, people mistakenly labeled him as emo, where in fact he's punk. And I think as a punk character and one of the very few in video games, he is awesome. Like him getting the jacket from uh, his jacket from the what's the yeah. name? <laughs> from, from the out of control from the, the carousel, um, carousel. Or the uh, Ferris wheel, like the Ferris wheel, yeah. You know, if you oh look at watch his like, animation stuff, the entire thing, he does everything with, like a casual badassery. Because for that, not only that part, but for the entirety of the game, like. In most games, you have the the action hero, and there's a car explodes, and like a wheel comes off the car and comes at him, and he ducks out of the way, and yeah, and he's like, "Oh shit, I, that's close! I almost missed it," and stuff like that. For Dante in Do- DMC Devil May Cry, he like sees the thing coming at him and moves just slightly, so it just like slides past him like millimeters from his face, and it's all, and you can see on his face that's all intentional. He's just like full on, yeah, hundred percent. You see his face, like, yeah, I just did that. <laughs> he's got this fucking. 
asshole smirk across his face. <laughs> now, the one place I will say I feel like they they fucked up a little bit with the character right. is on, on, like specifically uh, in regards to his look. Mm-hmm. I feel like they, and this is going to sound really nitpicking, kind of weird. <laughs> um, I feel like they made his head a bit thick. Head a bit thick? Really? He, he kind of, like, the problem they, they had with him, the, the, or the problem I have with him um, is, and, and this is, I think, it's it's weird because like this is actually um, Ninja Theory that made this, but mm-hmm. like the the character model to me is very Capcom in in look. Really, um, and his 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 head proportion doesn't fit the body very well. He's very he's very slender, very like, you know, kind of tall and thin. Maybe not as much as the original Dante, but still to some extent. Right. Um, but he kind of has a meathead look to him. He has he has a very rectangular head. No, I'll give you that. Yeah. And and, and, I, and and that doesn't fit with the personality, the punk, and the the rest of his look. Really, I, I, his, his his face is very reminiscent of um uh Frank from Frank uh from, from Dead Rising. Oh, I was going to say for Punisher. Dead Rising. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't it's, know. It, it's it's a very it's a very meathead look to his face, and I feel like that that is not that character at all. It's just, it looks weird to me every time I see it. Really? For me, I don't have that problem. Like, I don't see that disconnect at all. Like, I, I, for me, well, I don't know, because maybe it's because the, the character emotes so well. So when I'm looking at his face, I didn't even he notice. He does, definitely. I did not even notice its shape until like much later. I, it was more like the smirk on his on his mouth, the, the look on his eyes, and his his floppy hairdo. Like, that's essentially who I, what I get from that character. Because, yeah, again, um, throughout the entire start of the game it's like he's gets out he's naked in his he's just had a, a wild night out with some hookers dressed as angels i assume either that or they're actual angels but i doubt it um wait how do you guys think of so so when the game boots up i'm not sure if you guys remember this or not but the first thing you have is like this straight up stripper on screen i, I believe i yeah. remember that yeah i, I felt really uncomfortable <laughs> for that entire sequence because it's like a polygonal stripper on stream and, and then the, it, it flashes through the director and stuff and then dmc devil may cry and the entire time you're just watching this woman strip in like on in like disco lighting and stuff i thought that was really See, i don't know I, I played mass effect so i'm used to to strippers in, in my game i guess I <laughs> see i saw that and went oh this game is gonna well, be good because they're <laughs> playing to the dumbness of the fucking devil may cry franchise more specifically like they, if you played... still got the strippers in this <laughs> More specifically, if you played uh, Saints Row Two, after the introduction of escaping from the, uh, the the police, the first place you go to is a strip club. Right. So again, I'm very familiar. But having played that, having played you know, Saints Row Three, having played GTA Four, and then Mass Effect, I, I'm very comfortable with strippers in my games. <laughs> that's I, what I'm saying. I, I felt really weird because it, it's 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 a very um... and I'm the American here. That's the weird part. <laughs> Wait, are you calling Revan not American? Um, well, no, I mean between you and me, like like you feel uncomfortable about yeah. it. I don't, and I'm the American. It, it felt it felt really like I I usually don't harp on about objectification in games, but that it, and it doesn't continue that way. Like the game definitely has um, a lot of respect for its female lead um, in 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 ways that I was I, I actually was fully pumped by. Though neither of you have finished the game, so you don't really know what I'm talking about. But um, the yeah, so when it opened, I felt really weird, and I was like, "This is how you're setting the scene." But then it immediately cuts to him in the trailer naked, trailer exploding, him putting on his clothes in midair while being blocked out. Pizza in the, <laughs> in the crotch. Spot. Okay, so in the crotch I area. About the, the, I had a question about the pizza slice. <laughs> so maybe this is just me remembering wrong, or this trailer has been around a lot longer than I remembered, or something. Uh huh. I swear, the pizza slice covering up his private parts that was in a previous Devil May Cry, right? I I don't think so. I, I, I think it, I want to say it's three or four. Three. Had I that think it was, oh, okay. it was. It wouldn't have been four. It wouldn't have been four because he didn't. Okay. They didn't show up until. So was it the intro to three then? Because I swear I saw that the before. There, of, there the was a scene where he gets dressed. Is, yeah, is, the beginning of this game is very similar to the beginning of three, okay, where yeah. it involves pizza. That's, yeah, okay. I remember that the demons were attacking him in that room with the pool. Yeah, there was there was the pool table and shit, and the demons attacked. Yeah, okay, good. All right. And he hits the jukebox to start the music. Yep. Oh, man. All right, cool. Intro, that's the so intro three was the one I played before then. <laughs> Wait, how'd you guys feel? I, I love the music in this game, even though I'm not particularly... Oh, the music is great, even though I'm... Yeah, I'm not I'm into not that, into kind, that of kind of music, but yeah. it, it fucking fits everything. Perfectly. Like a, oh, this game, I, this game just this fucking is, It's the music style. I... 
this is the music I identify the Devil May Cry franchise with. Just dumb rock metal. <laughs> <laughs> so so the game opens he you, you get introduced to this like fucking seminal badass of this new dante which i was totally happy with i i i, I love the, the new dante um and then you get the scene with him in the mirror and the mop on his head do you remember that oh that's yeah, yeah that was great that was Never great in a million years <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic so like i, I, I kind of saw that as almost a uh, a slight oh. hint, maybe a middle finger to all of those, those <laughs> old fans. Almost a slight, almost a slight. <laughs> almost, you're either, I mean, you're either going to stop playing about now. About as subtle as Devil May Cry gets. Oh man! Oh, I, I don't want to ruin the ending of the game for you guys, but it does come back. It does come back at the end. Um, but yeah, so you get that, and the first fight, you get introduced to the guns. Um, the guns are just as useful slash useless in this as they were in previous games, like. Uh, like, well, at least the game the game does point out like pretty much what their one use is, which is interrupting. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good at that, and um, the, well, I think I'd, I'm not sure about well, whatever you haven't played it. So in Devil May Cry One, if you go to Devil Trigger mode and use the guns, the guns are actually really powerful, um, and that was pretty cool because I actually finished the last boss with like just the guns essentially, and just switching between Devil Trigger and then ranged attacks with whatever. But um, so in this. Uh, I felt that I guess we could transition to the combat system. I never used the guns after like the first sequence, really, like because you just never need them. Like Reverend, have you gotten to the point where you've gotten like angel powers and um, devil powers yet? The yeah, I'm. Uh, I just got the shotgun. Oh the shit! Yeah, yeah, the end of the game. I, I, I have angel and demon powers yeah. already, and I'm only an hour and a half in. Man, I want to talk about that scene because the scene with the girl after the shotgun sequence. Oh man. That tore I'm me just, up inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out on a limb right in, right now. They treat her a lot better than they've treated any other female in the Devil May Cry franchise. Yeah, like she, she is. All, she's a hero. She's like one of the what? Well, not the hero of the series, but she's close to as heroic as Dante in this. Because Dante goes to the whole game. Are we, are we talking about Cat? Yeah, we're talking yes. about Cat. Okay. Um, but specifically, okay. like she she grows throughout the game. Like she starts as like this like um, relatively attractive question mark female who helps you out, and she's a wicker. And that's weird and hilarious. Wait, why is there a question like, mark on that? Um, I don't, I don't know. If she's I don't think he on. likes the tattoos. I don't no, I like the tattoos. Oh, okay. I like the tattoos. It's just the weird one in the center of the forehead. I don't like the shape of it. I don't. <laughs> it's, that's 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 a bit off. But the rest is pretty hot. Um, anyway, so you saw she's, with... she's still better than the other two female <laughs> characters. From well, the she's Devil more Cry realistic. Franchise. Um, you know Trish, who looked like his mother oh, and was a god and was a clone <laughs> of his mother, and Lady so who weird. had. Those cool looking, like cool looking uh, heterochromia eyes, but also had that scar across her nose and crazy daddy issues. Well, this chick has parental issues as well. But you, you, well, she, yeah, yeah. We should yeah. we shouldn't spoil it. But um, and it's not what you think. In most cases, it, it's you wouldn't. This character's actually got some serious like stuff to her. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, when 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 the thing happens later in the game. Um, with just after you get the shotgun, I was, I I felt it, man. That, that was I was like I was not expecting this game to hit any form of emotional beat for the entirety of its of its duration. Like, I did not expect emotionalness from this game at all. But that that scene hit me. I I I, I loved that scene. I was like, holy shit. That scene kind of hit me, awesome. but I also I also saw that coming. I well I I. I had doubts as to um, her ongoing health after that, but yeah, it, it was yeah yeah. Um, and the brother is anyway. So, so do have you met Virgil yet? Yeah. Okay. So and he's already did reveal that he's Dante's brother. Yeah. I, I basically I think the last the last part that I played was the level where Dante finds out about his past and like. You know, then he truly is his brother and finds out about his mom and dad. Oh, and, you see, and all that. you have the angel demon powers as well now. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah. the crazy thing is, and I'm not sure if you've started experimenting with it yet. Um, so yes. my favorite and least favorite part about, uh, no, not even least, it's just my favorite, absolute favorite part of this game is switching between stances. Because um, how essentially this works for the people uninitiated to DMC, to Ninja Theory, it's not even D DMC thing. Because Revan, they haven't done this in DMC before, have they? They haven't done stance changing in DMC. There was stance, you could stance change in DMC 3. Okay, so you full on had like 
like instant you right had, to left trigger stuff or I th- I don't remember if it was like that, but there were different stances. You had like trickster stance, knight stance. Okay. There were, oh, of, yeah, yeah, there yeah. were four stances yeah, I in. Oh, cool. I think it was on the D pad. Yeah. All like right, that. sure. Because in DMC one, they didn't, they it was just your weapon. I don't think they had it in four. Right. Interesting. Cause, cause Guys, yeah, Dante looks different, it. and that makes me angry. <laughs> Shut up. Shut, go sign the petition. <laughs> no, that got taken down. That got taken down. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> because you know, this, com- this comes up very much from um, what I know of the press coverage of um, for um, Heavenly Sword in that the while you're holding down a trigger, you're in a different stance. Holding down known trigger makes you use Rebellion, which is your normal sword. Um, and the two triggers are actually pretty much heavy and light. Like, I, you... They're not quite, and you you learn. Well, no, it's more like it's, it's more like Angel is is AOE, and um and uh, uh, De- 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 Devil is is, is he- like heavy, heavy basically. and single target. Angel it, like, is all it's, about it's speed and finesse, and heavy uh, demons are all about just breaking everything in two hits. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the beauty of it is um, when you hold down each trigger and you hit circle, it's your grapple. And for um, and you use that for platforming, obviously. Like, like you pull things towards you to platform, or you jump to things, or you grapple to things to platform. That's your angel and demon powers there. But you can use them in combat and what as well to the point where if you All right, um, so sick. It, it, is your favorite thing to do the same, the thing I think it is. Uh, w- well, we'll see. Um, if you angel power and you hit circle, then you fly towards them. But then mm-hmm. if you point in another direction and you press demon power in circle, you pull any enemies you're not near anymore back towards you. So you can pretty much surround yourself with enemies or go to the heated, the hottest part of the battle and then just start fucking unloading with everything you've got. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. It's, what, what, how do you like using it? Uh, well, I, I, hadn't, I hadn't tried that. It was more so like the, the, the flying guys that have the shields. Yeah. I have so much fun just breaking the shield and then pulling myself to them. Yeah, that, that, that's also awesome. Like using, using Devil Circle and then, and then um, Angel Circle. Later, and, you'll oh. find that um, hitting Devil Circle twice um, breaks the shield and pulls them towards you in one hit. And so, essentially, in okay. two quick moves. So, if you do that, you can combo him along with everyone around you. Because oh, if, you, if you, if you, um, because I initially did what you did, which is break their shield and then fly up towards them with angel power, then hit them in the air. But the thing is, you're only comboing that one dude, so you're not getting your combo meter. Well, to off. some extent, yes. But what you could do is you could actually break their shield, pull yourself up towards them, yep. and then use your um, uh, angel your, sweep, your devil to... hard hit. Oh, right. To, to knock put... yourself back down to the ground. Oh, again. so so another option is if you um, pull yourself towards him and he's above enemies, the angel um, triangle in the air pulls the enemies below you up into the air, which is awesome because then they're useless and they're defenseless, and you could just fucking wail on them up there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but what we're, essentially what we're saying is the combat system in this game is fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, it just it, it lets you do so many different things. So many and, different things, and, and and there's no one answer to how to handle any enemy um, that I've run into at least so question. far. Maybe later on. Mm-hmm. Um. I've heard people complaining about, like, the red enemies and the blue enemies. Is that, like, a big deal with the only being it's, able to use one type um, of weapons? It's a big deal, but it's used... Like, it's, some people complain about it because it's very binary, but if you consider the situations you actually end up in with those when you're posed with that problem, in, in my experience, it actually ended up being a really interesting combat problem because there's some enemies... A combat puzzle, if you will? Yeah, exactly. An absolute... Patrick <laughs> <laughs> an actual combat puzzle because in some situations um there's essentially two types of enemies in this game which do that uh one of them if you're in one if you're in one and you hit them with the opposite so if they're in blue and you're in red and you hit them with it you get stunned for a short period of time um and those enemies come in twos so like the night looking things so you have one blue one red guy so you have to make sure you're not using too much effective aoe because you hit the other one with the first one, whatever. You, you, you get stunned and all that crap. So you, you learn how to deal with that. Um, but for the other, which is perhaps the more interesting of the two, there's two like dog-looking things that run up to you. Um, if you're in the opposite, so if you're in blue and they're in red, you can't actually hit them at all. So you can actually do anything you want freely within the combat space, um, and, but just knowing that you can't affect them. 
So that's actually a really cool puzzle because in some situations you are surrounded by enemies, but there's also those two dudes. So you're fine with AOEing the enemies with any, any method possible, but you have to know that the red guy will have your ass because you're in blue and stuff like that. It's actually really cool. Um, they actually do a really good job in this game of continuously introducing you to not only new enemies, but new weapons as well. So like um, shotgun, I think is the last one you get. Like, have you got a, no the second last one you get? Uh, uh- I haven't gotten the Kablooey yet. You haven't got the Kablooey, exactly. Um, which I don't, Great name, by the way. I don't like it. Name. Is it seriously called the Kablooey? Yeah, it's called Something the Something like that, yeah. I, I think so. Oh, that's great. But I don't like it. It's. But we'll talk. I, I guess we'll talk about it maybe in the future. But um, yeah, it, it's just really slow. But like, they gave you new weapons. Like, I, I was surprised because they give you um, Rebellion at the start, the guns. Then they give you the devil weapon, which is, I forgot, I forgot what his name is, like, Absolutely. Oh, uh, anyway, I don't remember. You get, you, get, you get the axe, and then you get the scythe, and then you get the um, fists. Then you get the aquila, which is like its own thing. Not really like anything else in any other game. And then you get the shotgun, and then you get the kablooey. Like either continuing new weapons, continuing new enemy situations where you need those new weapons in. Um, I just loved it. Like the, the, throughout the entire does, it, does it does it ever feel like it's too much? Uh, not yet, because well, I'm only missing one weapon, but so far it's, it seems fine. Yeah, I, I can't. I think I've only had. I was only getting my ass kicked in one sequence. Uh, you've done it already, Revan. It's the one where you just gotten um, your angel glide, I think it was, and um, you're locked in. This, like, so you've talked to the guy with half a head, and. Oh, that dude. Yeah. What? Um, <laughs> that dude. That guy is pretty cool. <laughs> so you talk to the guy with half head. You've gotten, that dude's awesome. You've gone to the huge statue there. You've gotten the power from that statue. And then after that, you get locked in this room, which is like what, like two dashes in each direction and filled with enemies that that come back in every now and then and has holes in the floor. So there's only like... I had absolutely no clue where to go in that room. It's... Well, I, that, Oh man, it's so hard. That that fight is so difficult. That that fight was easy. I I, I found I, it hard. I only messed up because I kept falling I into the jumped to an enemy and yeah, I kept falling, killed them, and then just fell yeah through the hole <laughs> exactly. in the middle of the room. Yeah, it's so annoying because like you because you, there's harpies and you, you want so bad to aerial combo them because that's how you kill harpies in video games and so <laughs> and if you forget to like double dash after you've killed them in midair and then you fall into the fight and that's why I found it hard but aside from that I've never felt overwhelmed it's been really really well balanced okay. for the entire thing um, the f- fight sequence right before you get the shotgun I was struggling with that a bit really? just cut I don't lo- like that big enemy with the Head in his chest. I don't like him. Oh man, he's and especially so I feel if like... I'm fighting enemy other enemies so this, around him. This is one thing I felt like when I fought kind of the the um the one kind of big enemy I fought in this game. That I think so far right. is I feel like it, the Devil May Cry combat doesn't lend itself well to one big enemy to fight. Like, um, that's that's been the least fun so far for me. It's that enemy itself is really really annoying and shitty until you figure out that if you get behind him, you can um, grapple. And if you circle grapple, you pull him to the ground and you can just essentially get half his health off there. So you only have to do that twice. If you angel grapple, mm. then um, you're you forced into an aerial combo on his back. And you can do quite a bit of damage, but it's really dangerous. Um, once you get that down, him being surrounded by other enemies actually becomes pretty fun. Like, because you're fighting them, then you, ain't, then, you see, then you see that he's vulnerable. So you circle grapple his back down. Then you, then you dash over to him. And you then you combo him on the ground, but the other enemies are catching up, and it actually can get pretty cool. There's only that fight shortly after there where you have to fight three of the big guys at the same time. That 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 one I hate. Mm, yeah, I hated that fight because <laughs> um, at that time I didn't know that you could circle grapple him down and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I, okay. I kind of agree with you, but then like the second guy is actually a bit more fun than him. Like he's pretty like he's just the standard rushes at you and like like shoulder charges you. Which the only thing cool about that was. Um, he turns more than most shoulder charges in video games. So if you're just like running obliquely to him, he'll totally turn and shoulder charge you anyway. And it fucking hurts. It takes you like a third of your health off. But <laughs> So you have to do the thing which you have to do against hunters in Halo, which is stand there and just play chicken. And when they're almost at you, you dodge like obliquely to them, just like yeah. directly past them. And then you can, yeah. So it's not chicken. Yeah. You're, you're fighting a bull. Yeah, essentially. Um, Play El Toro or whatever. Yeah, but the second big enemy is cool because he has projectiles and stuff. It's pretty fun. Um, but in general, yeah, 
I love the combat in DMC. It sounds like we all love the combat in DMC. And that's kind of what the game yeah, is. I, I don't love the combat in DMC because new Dante looks different. <laughs> God damn it, Jimboy. <laughs> all right, fun. So fun. I'm, I'm playing the DMC, role of the internet. Otherwise, it's going to be a six-hour podcast. Fun. I'm playing we the role of the internet. We do have other games we have played. So I, in general, we're happy, DMC. DMC play it. Play it. Would you recommend it? I'd recommend it wholeheartedly. Yeah, I, the only re- I, I have to say the only reason I even picked it up was because I, I there was one of those fucking shady-ass-looking um, Steam oh, yeah. reseller sites. I was sites. advising you through this whole process. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I'm asking Shin Boy through Steam. I'm like, should I should I take the chance on it? I mean, it's only 20 bucks, <laughs> but it's also... Shady as fuck. You know, I may not even get my game. <laughs> yep. So I went ahead and took my chances on it only because they... they uh, um, Allowed PayPal purchase because, like hell, was I putting my credit card information on that website? Yep. The best games are the ones that you buy from websites that, when you go onto that site, you get a Google Translate pop up saying, "This site is in another <laughs> language. Do you want to translate?" <laughs> Those are the best. So this sites. wasn't that bad, but there was a lot of broken English on there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I would absolutely recommend this game. I, I would even recommend this game to people who, you know, kind of like me, who, who right had off. kind of written off yeah. Devil May Cry because it was too difficult in the past. I think the, a lot of people that have complained that this game, you you get your S's and triple S's too easily. I could see where they're coming from because mm-hmm. on one of the levels I did get a triple S for style. And yeah. this is coming from somebody who couldn't even play a, a Devil May Cry <laughs> game in the past. But that's not a bad thing because yeah. that means more people can enjoy this game. And guess what? There are some pretty crazy difficulties for people like those people. Yeah. Like Dante like, there's must still die. Difficulty for Dante must die. <laughs> Where you get touched, yeah. game over. Yeah. Do you t- yeah there, there's no still saving. You die them. instantly. They just made this. Fuck that game. They, they did a good job of making this available for a wider audience mm-hmm. while still having the difficulty there for the audience that it was intended. And the game looks beautiful. In my opinion. Oh man, yeah. Oh, that's the other thing I should say. When I say that, I could, I, I could recommend this to anybody. I could recommend the PC version of this to anybody. <laughs> it looks. so I could not good. recommend a 30 FPS Devil May Cry game to anybody. It looks so good. Speaking of 30 FPS, until the Bombcast recently, I didn't realize that Double Fine's games were capped at 30. I didn't know that either. But then I haven't really played. Many I had, yeah, I games. hadn't really. I hadn't really paid attention. I was to the like, fact that it was. I was gonna play Iron Brigade, but now I don't know. <laughs> well, you do, were. Do you have the PC version? Honest. Yeah, I do. Okay. Okay. We can we can both play. I haven't actually played it yet. I have it. A, a friend of mine has it. it on 360, but didn't really have any other friends that had it. But now that he has a new gaming PC, and so do I, um, we're looking to play. So I'll let you know. All right. Yeah. Let, yeah. Hit me up for that for sure. Welcome. So, right. Riven, what else have you been playing? <laughs> what have you been playing? He's had his turn. It's still your turn. You, you said one game so far. Yeah. What else have uh, you been playing? NBA 2K13, <laughs> but none of you care about nope. that. Uh, nope. You've also mentioned that before. Yeah, and that's – well, I play that because it's basketball season. Mm-hmm. But isn't the basketball. Super Bowl, like, tomorrow at the time of this yeah. recording? Oh, yeah. That's right, it is. Man. But oh, my team's not in the Super Bowl. Fuck. From so the really future, care. I'm going to let you guys know what happened in the Super Bowl. Ray Lewis kills Callum Kaepernick. No, 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 no. What happens in the Super Bowl is the Ravens win 28-24 on Ray Lewis pick six in the quarter, and then he kills Colin Kaepernick after – Shinboy, I think your downloading is starting to happen yeah, again it's, because it's, you're oh, cutting no. it like crazy. He's gone out. No, it's – you know what it was? The future tried to stop him from <laughs> saying what yeah, happened. Was... <laughs> Here's my prediction. Colin Kaepernick gets hurt in the first quarter and Alex Smith has to lead them to a game-winning drive at the end of That'd the game. That would be amazing. See, here's, that, here's my prediction. So here's my, yeah. just, it's a real quick one. Um, I won't watch it. Why not? I like. I like a good you. prediction. I like you, Duran. No, Be- because it's it's football. Thank and you. Who, I, I don't. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's not just football. I don't watch the Super Bowl for the football. I don't care who wins this game. Uh, you watch it for the ads. For everything. I used for this, to. They've been bad the last. For the years fact ago. that Las Vegas has bets up for an over under on how long the head coaches hug. There's an over under <laughs> on what? There is there is a proposition bet. Oh, Vegas. On what Beyonce's hair will be. That's pretty cool. So, Cynic, what have you been playing? Um, should we do? Yeah, should we should be. Uh, should we do Durin? Me lost, I think, or Durin? No, uh, no, 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 no. no go, you go ahead. Okay. Well, I, I've been playing DMC Devil May Cry. That was awesome, and I recommend. Oh, man, you guys haven't talked about that game. Um, but then what I've really been playing this week because I played it for what three days in a row and then beat it was Final Fantasy Thirteen Two. Holy shit, I did not expect myself right, to like that moving game. moving on. I did not expect myself to like that game at all. I loved, well, I didn't love, but I liked 13 quite a bit. I like 13 as well. And so um, they just no, announced, like last month they announced um, Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13. Yeah, so 
So, okay, having played the other oh, Final Fantasy XIII games, game. how do you feel about that combat system with one person? It's not. They've, they've changed it up quite a bit. Um, from the yeah, it paradigm looks like shifts the same with one person. Thing. From the, well, it's, it's still paradigm shifts. It's still one. Uh, yeah, that combat is still. No, what they've done much the is um, with with Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII, it's paradigm shifts, but the each of the four, you actually get only four things to cast, and they're mapped to your buttons. So it looks like. You, it's it's more like an action game. It's more like stance changing. You hit the four so this buttons. them trying to do this? an action game without being able to actually do an action game. So they're well, still I, doing I, a turn based. Give them a chance. I'll this, give them a chance. This sounds like the Kingdom Hearts fighting system. Yes, I think it is actually the Kingdom Hearts. Except that one sounds okay. Character ever. I, yeah, I don't, don't know. get my hopes up, Cynic. I th- I'm almost certain. Don't actually, get my hopes up. Well, people in the YouTube comments, for what they can be trusted. Um, oh no! Believe that is the Kingdom Hearts. Um, fighting system in Final Fantasy 13 with lightning. Um, oh, man, so the, I'm going to have to buy this game. So God th- fucking damn it. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. I promise so, you well, don't. I need my Kingdom Hearts fighting system. I'm going to say... I you just wait, wait for Versus 13 because that's coming out soon. I'm, I'm going to say Fuck that <laughs> when I played Final Fantasy 13 2, because that was announced, I was, I was expecting to hate it. I hated 60 to 70% of that game because the Pokemon esque thing they added to it instead of a third character sucks and i'd vastly prefer having three characters in my paradigm shift system but that ending wait man, hold on this is a jrpg with a not three person party yeah it's two people and a monster what is this world coming well, to it's two people and a monster so it's well it's, kind of it's a three person party because it's two people and then creatures that you yeah, collect to fill i hated slot. it okay. i hated it it's i so I usually take like 60 to 80 hours to beat the FF game because I usually at least get one final weapon and I usually um, get everyone to do close to max level, if not max level, and I do all that stuff. In this game, I was so – I loved the plot, but I hated everything else about the game that I just – I did it in 23 hours. I was like, I'm done with this game. Um, I just want to finish see the end now. And I don't think I could fathom someone beating a Final Fantasy game in 23 hours. Yeah, and I did. <laughs> but I paid for it because yesterday um, is when I finally beat it. And I went into the final boss fight ridiculously underleveled. It took me four hours to beat the final boss. Three, sorry, two and a half of which was me failing to beat the final boss. The last one and a half hour was me actually taking in there. You have to, I had to be like ultra conservative, continually have sentinels up, continually heal, like double, triple medics, double medics, sentinel, um, then go into straight up like all out attack mode, like the very small brief opportunities I had for that. It, it was. They still have like the, the like overload system, or whatever it is. Uh, yeah. Where like certain yeah. enemies. Okay. Stagger, that system was stagger, fun. Staggering. The stagger system. Stagger? There we go. Totally cool. Okay. Um, that the one where you fill up totally the bar awesome. and then you unload. Yeah, if that wasn't like a deeply tiring experience of me sitting here in front of my TV for four hours trying to beat the one boss, I would have had heaps of fun because it was actually pretty. It was like a, an extended duration of testing me and my ability to play Paradigm Shifting. Anyway, that aside, that ending, holy shit! If you are interested in Final Fantasy Thirteen, you need to see the ending for Final Fantasy Thirteen too. It is insane what they all did. three of does you. it does it make you actually want to play shit yeah lightning returns shit oh my god i was not expecting it at all i like everything up to the ending was like oh my god it's so obvious what's going to happen you do not know what's going to happen it's good it goes crazy in the best possible way oh my god yeah so i so i forget does 13 scale as you play through it or uh, can you actually like out level uh, the content no you can out level you can probably out level that content definitely Hold on, does, okay. it, does it go crazy I might have to go back and actually play that and just basically out level everything because the combat is irritating I love the combat in 13 I love the combat no, no, no the combat is irritating because it's so close to awesome but <laughs> it, it, it's but it's so close to awesome taking because too like it, it, it takes well no it, it takes um, some of the control away from you that is a, a bit tiresome mm-hmm. And and let you kind of macro manage everything yeah. rather than micro manage it. So good. I like um, it. Where where it falls apart for me and why I would rather just out level everything is when you get to the point when you get to the realization that there is really only one way to do every fight and it, it it's very black that. and white. It is. I don't know about it that. is there is this enemy. This is exactly how I need to hit it if I want to finish it in two hits. Oh right. Otherwise, it's yeah. going to take twenty hits. There's like an optimal way, yeah. To, f- to finish a lot of and those that's the fights. way you want to do it because you get the most experience for doing it that way mm-hmm. um and you get most importantly you get through the fight the fastest yeah but well i didn't have that too much of a problem with final fantasy 13 because by the end of the game when i got i literally i got three final weapons so one for, all for my main party um then i essentially just like breezed through the rest of that game um 
the good thing about Final Fantasy XIII is that you could run past all the enemies, right? In Final Fantasy XIII 2, they put random battles back in, essentially. They don't call them that, and you do have a chance of avoiding them before they start, but they are essentially random battles. And I could not stand it in some of the instances. Some of the instances in, in that game, you're literally having your battle every 15 seconds on your way to somewhere. It is so. It's a Final Fantasy game. Well, that's why you put the repel on wasn't... before you go into the tall grass. And this doesn't have I don't, that, that, that I Obviously. know of. It doesn't have repel. It has chocobos, but you, you only get the chocobo when you finish an area. So it was like it was grueling. I hated a lot, like sixty percent of that game. Well, not hated, but I didn't like it as much as I could have. Um, but yeah, it's it to- totally worth it for like the last hours of that game was fucking awesome it took me to a place where I never expected to be for a final fantasy game in that i want to play 13 right sorry lightning returns final fantasy 13 so bad right now and i read up on the backstory it was so good i read up on the extended fiction for final fantasy sorry fabula nova cristalis nova cristalis yeah. the dumbest name in the history of video <laughs> games God. and there's a reason it's called that and the fiction is actually not too bad it's it's brief which is useful and it's not bad. It Fabio Nola Cristalis, also also known as the the downfall of Final Fantasy. <laughs> no, that was Final Fantasy no. Eleven. Well, eleven like doesn't count because it was an MMO. Was good. I would argue twelve. No, twelve sucked. Twelve was twelve good. Was a heaping pile I like of twelve garbage. a lot. Thank thank you, Simboy. We finally agree on a game. I like twelve <laughs> a lot. It was a good game. No, see the thing the thing cynic for me with twelve is I was playing Final Fantasy Eleven shortly before that game. Oh, okay, I never played eleven. And twelve felt like. They didn't have a good idea for a combat system, so let's just put MMO combat into a single player right. game because that's fun. I'd, I'd love being able to program my shit. I, I got so down that my my party was just a wrecking crew, walk up out, up to anything, kill it in like two seconds, and walk on. It was it was, it was pretty cool. Anyway, uh, it was that game was. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, I wish I wish All this right. had a couple of things elements like a, a couple more elements of programming because there's definitely instances in the paradigm system. Well, system this is basically the streamlined of that. Like that's that's really yeah. But there's the, like because what they do in this is I'm not sure if you could do this in 13, but I think you couldn't. Um, you set your paradigms. I believe there's less paradigms offered to you before, or either I felt more constricted because there's the actual combat. They made it harder in a lot of ways, and you kind of more because now there's a wounding system. Which is like in like extended boss fights, the bosses do things to you that decrease your maximum HP. So it doesn't only do damage; it does damage as well, but also decreases your maximum. So as you heal, you can only heal up to a certain point. There's potions you can use to restore that wounded HP, but it, it really does get pretty intense in some boss fights. Oh, so it's not like regular thirteen, where it's like after every fight, everyone just goes back up to full health. Oh uh, no! Like between fights, you still go back to full health. But I spent. Like in some boss fights, I spent and I was under leveled. I spent a large majority of a boss fight in like critical health, and in, in one boss fight, oh, I couldn't even heal someone past like a little bit halfway beyond their health limit. So she'd just die in like two hits. So it was it was pretty intense, like for a lot of it. Um, but because of that, there's like there's so much more demanded of you of the combat system. I wanted more paradigms to choose from, but they do, I think they only give you the same amount, or if not less. But aside from that, you can also program your paradigms to say for this paradigm, I want everyone to target, target a single person, or for this paradigm, I want everyone to only use wide targeting spells, or or you can make them use it normally. So with that, it does give you a little bit more. Um, control over it, but I still want even more. I want it to go like you cannot use this shitty spell in my paradigm stuff. See, where, where, <laughs> where I feel like one of my biggest problems with that combat system and with the paradigm shifting and all that is what I actually want is I just want fucking control again. I, I want to be able to choose my spells and everything. I don't want I don't want the the well I, the viable I do that to be for to auto my, do all attacks. I do that for my main in some fights. Like in some fights, I I know if I remember I correctly, you it. could do that with with thirteen you could, to but an you extent. Would fail. Yeah. Well, he- no, because like I had it set like so. The first thing that anyone would cast would go into a certain paradigm was like mm-hmm. just instantly cast haste on everyone. Yeah, like, that would be the first thing, no oh, matter that, what. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah haste. But I, just, I, I mean, more so. Like, I guess the problem I have with that combat system is I, I want to actually control right. what goes on in a fight, not just not yeah, just what spells. It, are I, I was totally like, happy. That's with a really managing. that's a really hard thing to do in real time. So you just have to go back to the traditional turn based at that yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I guess that's what that's what it, where it comes down to for me is yeah. go back to turn to the turn base because that's that's more fun. And for me, Final I would Fantasy never go back. is a fantastic game. I love Final Fantasy Ten, <laughs> but I, I I would never go back from. I love even though they will change it. Like 
they've said before, like they're they're not going to use the same battle system or leveling up system in any Final. Any Final oh, Fantasy. thank Christ! Like they're always going to change it between Final Fantasies. That's that's part of their aim. I, I like um, I like Ten's battle system. Ten was such a good game. I I I, I, I love Ten. I, I I also like the stupid was it the sphere grid? Yeah, I love the sphere grid. Yeah. Oh jeez, yeah, so yeah. much better than because the crystallarium or whatever the fuck they called it in this actually is like derivative of that. that. I actually. But, I like the dress sphere stuff in ten two. I heard that. I, I heard that's really that good. That's going to be in yeah. thirteen three. Or sorry, sorry. Lightning yeah. returns. Lightning returns thirteen. Like, oh, well, the the idea of like class changing, like proper class changing, like that was actually really cool for them to bring that back to Final Fantasy. I like. Class I also changing. read it's going to be like fucking Majora's Mask, where there's going to be a fucking time limit. Yep, on the thirteen game. days. Yeah. Only thirteen only days. Only if they only can do that if they get the license from Nintendo to include the Majora's Mask moon. <laughs> I hate PC that. version, first mod you see. I hate that. PC moon. version. Not not up It has to be exactly like it is. Exactly. Fuck, I love that. Anyway, so yeah. Oh, 32, God, that'd be frightening. Good for the ending. Otherwise, I don't know. If, 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 if you want more paradigm shifting shit, it's, it, it gives you that. Um, it's more difficult, and the ending is all the way fucking awesome. So that, that was what I played this week. I don't think I did anything else. Cool. No movies? I don't think I've been watching any movies either. No. no yeah, that's pretty good. Very I saw Zero cool. Dark Thirty recently. How was that? I watched Groundhog's Day. Because it's on... <laughs> it's on loop. Of course, on of course AMC. it's on today. It's oh, on man. loop on AMC. <laughs> of course it is. It is Groundhog Day. <laughs> oh, man. Go see Zero Dark Thirty. That movie's fantastic. Oh, man. I want to watch that so bad. I don't think it's out here. What is Zero Dark Thirty? I swear I've heard of that before. Zero Dark Thirty is like the hunt for Bin Laden, basically. Yeah. It's from the, yeah. the perspective of a oh, reporter, gotcha. I think? Um, no, a no. CIA intelligence officer? Intelligence from officer. an intelligence officer, yeah. Right. Yeah. It's, it's not like it's um, not like rah-rah, fight and fight until the end. It's Homeland, the until movie. The end, right? It's directed by the... Um, Chick who did... Um, by um, the Locker, Catherine Bigelow. Probably... probably mm. oh, that's pretty cool. Probably, I'd say, the best modern um, war movie director. I'd, I'd, yes, I'd put her. Above it, it's Spielberg funny the if if you go back to um, the Herlocker, she is James Cameron's ex-wife, and they were yeah. both up for Best Picture, and she won. Yeah, she, and she deserved oh, wow. it. She deserved it. <laughs> totally she deserved beat it. Avatar because <laughs> Avatar is uh, is a tech demo. I, I like that movie. It's not good. It's it's so like decently it. entertaining. As I long as you pass the fact that the story it. is is overused, like, is Pocahontas. Yeah. yeah. Um, Oh, but the thing is, they're talking about the, this in the bombcast. Do you guys like Constantine? The, uh, I like that movie. I've never seen it. That's yes, such a it. dumb movie. I liked it I a lot. It. Yeah, it is. It is dumb, but I like okay, it. Okay, before we move on, can I just get one last word in on Avatar? <laughs> Go ahead. I have like the Blu-ray box set thing. Uh-huh. The extended opening is worth watching. I've got the box set. I've got that here. I should. All right, sure. I'll, I'll put. The, I'll pop that in at some point. Um, even if you don't watch the whole movie, just watch like the first twenty minutes because they added a whole bunch at the beginning, and it's actually pretty neat. I, I use that movie to tune TVs. Like I, I <laughs> nice. I, I use a tuning disc, and then I then after I, I I've completed tuning it, I, I watch. It's basically it. Unigen Heaven for your TV. Man, so many colors. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. anything, who's, who's, anything other than who we Zero Dark Thirty, shit boy? Okay. Well, um, yeah, I, I, I so Homeland. Just, uh, Homeland. <laughs> Oh I had that confused with Strike, Strike Suit Zero, which is like, wait, oh. that's, I thought that was a game. No. <laughs> well, we're talking about movies that I've seen since I was last on. I saw Max. The Hobbit. Oh, how'd you like The Hobbit? You saw The Hobbit? Okay. I enjoyed The Hobbit. I saw it IMAX high frame rate 3D, which in my opinion was the way to see that yeah, movie. Yeah, thank you. Um, high frame that rate seems to be the consensus so well. now, like coming out of it. High frame rate was awesome. I don't know if I need it for every film, no. but for, for movies 3D? like that. Absolutely. For 3D and specifically 3D with a whole lot of... Moving camera and yeah. CGI. Yeah, so good. So um, one thing I was thinking about too, you know, when you mentioned the moving camera thing, do you think high frame rate could fix like motion sickness in uh, that some people uh, will, will will have in movies where like a lot of the beginning of the movie, uh, it felt like everything was moving really quickly, which I don't know if it was it actually was or if it was the high frame rate. Mm. But when you get to the action scenes in the latter part of the film, the high frame rate made them seem more natural. Yeah, that's like, what I mean. There wasn't, yeah. there wasn't motion. Because like, I think a lot of that motion sickness that people get is because of the frame stutter. But really, because, yeah, I, and then they add motion blur. I, I don't, I don't yeah, know yeah, because yeah, the, I think blur. I think I've heard reports of it being worse for some people. The high frame rate stuff. Ah. Uh, oh, let's put it this uh, way: my dad gets motion sickness really easily, and he went with me to see it in IMAX 3D no high frame rate, and he said that's the way I want to see movies. Yeah, now. so good. I, I, yeah, that's I think good it's be, I think it's because people who see it in the high frame rate and like 
keep remembering that high frame rate get the motion sickness. Whereas people who oh, just yeah. Maybe. They get the initial sickness, but right then they away. just accept it. This is the movie I'm focusing on the movie. Right. Uh, tend to enjoy the experience. Like, I noticed it right away. Yeah. As soon as the MGM, like, lion started roaring, like, that was even at 48 frames. Oh, the like, this, Oh, man. I'm like, this <laughs> looks way different. Yeah, I, I liked it. I, I immediately was like, oh, they fixed that frame rate problem. That's how, that's what I, yep. that's what my reaction to the entire <laughs> yep. movie. They fixed all movies. Yeah, they fixed the frame rate thing. Um, yep. Anything else? I also saw Les Miserables. I still haven't seen that movie. My friends, oh man! But we, we, we went on holidays. Um, my, it's... my friends got the uh, soundtrack to the stage play, and they sang along mm-hmm. to it. That was one of the most hilarious experiences of my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so it, obviously this is based off of the play, right? Yeah. The Broadway plays have an intermission. This movie could have used an intermission. Man, I, yeah, I've heard it <laughs> not not to say not to say I didn't enjoy. How many it. movies have you seen that have had it in an intermission? Monty the Python two. and the Holy Monty Grail. Monty Python. Yep. <laughs> the, ten, the Ten Commandments. Uh, the ten Commandments. Yes, I've seen that too. The fuck? What was it? Uh, I Gone with the, the Wind. A bunch of Indian movies. Ben Hur. So Gone with the Wind had intermission in theaters. A, a lot of older yes, movies yes, did. Yes, it did. It fucking Very has cool. intermission on the DVD. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, but it, not that not to say that I didn't enjoy it. Um, because I did. It's just that it ne- it's that's a film because of the story that's being told and because of all the music that's in there. It needs to be lengthy. Right. Um, it's just that they should have put a break in there because I actually ended up going, you know, to the bathroom into the movie, which I don't like to do. <laughs> yeah. Um, Man. But from a music perspective, it's worth seeing, if only for Anne Hathaway's performance. I I, I was gonna say <laughs> this is entirely aside. I like short hair chicks. Anne Hathaway with short hair is like now my number one chick. Yes, um, I agree. High five. I agree. <laughs> it's fucking beautiful. <laughs> Internet woman. high five. Beautiful woman. <laughs> Um, except, I, and she's got some pipes. Really, that's that's impressive. Yeah, well, I've I've known that she she sang on the Oscars a couple of years ago. Oh, cool. Um, but she can really sing. Hugh Jackman can also really sing. Oh yeah, but he he does stage by yeah. I've heard um, him sing before. Yeah. Russell, Russell Crowe. Crow, Russell good? Crow was okay. okay. Yeah, I've heard he's okay. <laughs> his his performance overall was decent. Like he just because he's Russell Crowe is very commanding. Yeah. Um, but his singing was okay. Right. I'm worried about Go the see future it. because. We haven't had, like, aside from like Chris Pine and, um, fuck, I'm forgetting his name, Thor. Um, we haven't had too many. Chris Hemsworth? Chris Hemsworth. Ian Hemsworth. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth. Oh, Hemsworth. Ian Hemsworth was the one in The Expendables, too. <laughs> Ian Hemsworth is the one that is m- engaged to Miley Cyrus? Oh, God. Yeah, like that. You. Yeah, one of them is in, one of them's engaged to Miley Cyrus. Oh, no, this is heading towards celeb this gossip. Really, this is yeah, going no, really No, aside from. Um, Let's pull this back again. No, no, I just want to say I'm worried about the continued existence of, like, good actors. Because we haven't had too much new blood, aside from like those two, um, in quite a while. Because we're, we're talking about freaking Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe. Both are in like their 40s. Um, what's his face? Sylvester well, Stallone like, and the... fucking Arnold are doing movies now. And they're like in their nah. 60s. It's, it's <laughs> so See, I don't think, I don't think straight that's straight up action. Actors. I mean, so, what about like Joseph Gordon-Levitt or something? Just, yeah, Joseph oh, yeah, Gordon-Levitt he's, is he's a, fantastic. A, a brilliant like, yeah. start. Like he's... That guy is going to be the big name in Hollywood. And then, like, there's, like, like Jennifer forward. Lawrence. She's Who? starting to appear yeah. in more films now. Who? Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. Who's that? The girl yeah. from um, The Hunger Games. Yeah. The Hunger yeah. Games. Or, or, you see, or, or, uh, I don't think she's uh, a good X-Men actress. First class? Yeah, I didn't think, I hated her in X-Men first, first Class. She was, like, my least favorite character in that movie. Even though that movie's great. That movie's pretty good. I love that okay, movie. Okay, then, speaking of that movie, um, <laughs> oh, what the hell is... Michael Fassbender. There I love go. Michael Fassbender. He's oh what's uh, okay for, yeah that dude was he plays for us Rex I can't remember his name right now last is, last name is McAvoy oh Fuck. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that guy but yeah there, there, are definitely, there are definitely some some big names but none of them are the, like the fault is not of the actors the fault is There's not of the actors it is of Hollywood maybe they just yeah, want to make that's the true. same movies yeah I want I want yeah. an eighty style Bay. action movie that's good with new people new blood in it that's what I want I don't right. know, The Expendables uh, 2 any was... Game that, that's, that is not um, new blood at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> but that was a good movie. Was that a was a movie. fantastic movie. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? I know, I know one game there. Ian Hensworth was in there. That's I know one game you've been playing, <laughs> Shin. Shin, I know mm-hmm. one game you've been playing, but I want to save that for last because uh, the last three of us that haven't haven't uh, sounded off yet have all been playing it, so we'll get into oh, that one. Oh, okay. But, yeah, well, that one. Okay. I decided that. that 2013 was the year of the backlog. Oh, cool. So I've been going through that. So... I finished Darksiders 2. How'd you like it? Um, I thought the game overall was fantastic. I don't I wouldn't say the ending felt rushed. Um 
just after the last boss, I felt like there could have been one more boss after that. Know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Um, from a tour, from a story perspective, I didn't have a problem with the ending. But from a gameplay perspective, I felt like there could have been one more boss mm. afterwards. Even though that boss fight visually looks really awesome. How do you feel? So, so like maybe that boss fight was just a little too easy. Like there should have been like that should have been an actual on, boss fight. It wasn't on the scale that one would expect a final boss fight to be. Right. Oh, okay. But so my problem here now is I still have Dark Souls Two on my desktop, um, but there's probably not going to be a Dark Souls Three anytime soon. I I don't know if I'm going to play. No, it. sadly, there won't be Dark Souls that, Three. Probably most yeah. likely there won't be one ever. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm going to play. Which really bums it. me out. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's that sucks. I would I, because I, know, I would the, still say I would still say to go ahead and play it because it's still like on its own, regardless of the franchise. It's actually mm, a pretty solid. Because what I really like, want the, is a continuation to the ending of one, and I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Um, I could tell you how two ends, and then you can go from there. I, I'm still playing it, so yeah, I don't okay. think okay. we can. I mean, podcast one, if you want to. One ended on a okay. solid note. That's true. I think it did. It was a book I think and ended there. I'd be pretty happy. So. I think. I, mean, like, be, I, I think Dark Siders Two ends on not quite the same level, but on a similar note. Okay. See, the problem I have with it, and why, why, like, I'm so upset that we'll never see another Dark Siders, or we'll never see another another continuation of that story is like, yeah, one ended on a solid note, but one ended on a like, cliffhanger, you know, cliffhanger. war is, yeah. Like war is, is sitting here, you know, it, it's up to his brothers to, to free his name or whatever. Mm. And, and that's like, it literally, it is, it, it, it literally sets up for the next game. Yeah. Or, or so you thought uh-huh. at the time, mm. like I, I didn't think that dark siders two actually helped with that setup, but after the ending, I totally think it does. Oh, cool. That's good to hear. But again, if, if until it they announce the three, <laughs> until they announce the three, I don't think I'm touching it. Same with Final Fantasy yeah, thirteen. Like, like, I'm, I'm, I'm very closely following if you're, the, if you're the news just, right now. Yeah. If you're itching just for like more Dark Siders, I picked up um, the season pass for like four bucks, and most of the DLC is really short, but it's decent. Right. Yeah, but like I'm, I'm very closely watching the news right now just to find out when that sale goes on and and guys, what the guys have an idea feature Dark Siders is. How much money do each of you have? <laughs> <laughs> not enough. I've, I've probably got not two, enough for Dark Siders. I've probably got two grand somewhere. I've got like ten that's bucks. Probably enough. Wallet. Ten bucks. My wallet is okay. <laughs> that's, that should be enough. Yeah. Um, oh, the ten bucks or the two grand? Both. Yeah. yeah ten two, bucks. Ten, two thousand and ten dollars. That's our bid for Dark Siders. I think <laughs> I have a hundred in my. I think I have a hundred dollars in my wallet. Two thousand one hundred and ten dollars. So um, no. I, uh, <laughs> Hold on. I see a fiver over on the other desk. <laughs> <laughs> um. What was it? I, I speaking of which I've I kind of want to pick up the DLC to um, Castlevania Lords of Shadow because it explains how he becomes Dracul because I want to play the next Castlevania game it looks cool that reminds me did, I, did I unprofessional Fridays turn night. you over to it or something no I, I finished I, I actually really like um, Lords of Shadow I played it before and so but Hold on. I hated the fact that oh, they were man. they were they were bagging on that game because that game's actually pretty cool it's like a four star not five star but four star game. so okay so aside from Dark Siders that's Symphony of the Night is another game I need to play Symphony of the Night speaking man. of Castlevania wow, that's that's a back I have it on my PS3 I, um, I, I haven't played that either but I don't plan to well because like I am playing currently um, Bioshock. That's the one I'm in currently. Okay. Because I, I just, I've decided I'm in good, bad, or indifferent on Bioshock Infinite. <sighs> I'm buying that game regardless of how terrible it may or may not be. Uh, I, and how mediocre it's going to be. <laughs> what do you God, think? I, I just hope. Why is there a huge like negative backlash against Infinite? How, because it keeps getting delayed. And people uh, uh, like dropped out, and whole yeah, studios I don't think got shoved off delayed. the project. It's, they keep getting like as they release more and more information about it. All these just like the vocal minorities start griping about how like oh it's got religious overtones or oh it's anti-religious overtones or oh it it's feminist like it's it's feminist and it's all these you know I don't think it's that I think it's the fact that like throughout its development history people have been coming and going on the project. Yeah, like that's that's for me. That's where my uncertainty lies is in the actual. The development hell that game has gone through mm-hmm. over the course of its its production, I just I don't, I don't know where that game is anymore. I would love to point to Sleeping Dogs. dogs. Yeah, yes, the, exactly. You know, so, Sleeping Dogs. I wanted to point yeah, to it, but that's but why like, I say like, there, I'm, there I'm are cautiously optimistic yeah, about it. But that's a fairy tale. There are good, good outcomes. Yeah, but there are all the stuff you're talking about with the religious overtones and the anti-religious overtones and all that. That makes me this really is the first interested. I've heard of that. Well, yeah. Well, the main dude in Columbia is like is like a prophet. 
he's like a prophet and he built he treats the founding fathers of america as if they were religious figures and all of that but like i've mentioned on this podcast before i absolutely love dystopian fiction and this is like right up my alley with all of that kinds of Mm, stuff so i am in either way it, it's not as much that they like change it; it's that they changed it relatively like close to them releasing it, and it just seems weird to me that they are like oh like changing outfits, the like the look of uh, Comstock and whatnot right before like basically his whole basis of instead of like this young blood, he's now this old uh, prophet looking guy. Hmm. I think that fits better. I, mean, like, I, I think it fits better. It's just weird that they're like making all these changes at the last minute still. Right. Yeah, uh, which falls in line with Duran's like fear of they're constantly changing stuff because they keep yeah, changing people. Yeah, I mean, people. it scares me too. But like I said, I'm just so damn curious that I just have to know. I'm betting it's going to be good. I bet it's going to be good. Uh, that's, that's, that's where my mind. Is. Even though I don't like Bioshock games because it's got shooting in it, and I hate the art style. Um, I yeah, no, it's, I bet it's going to be good. I'm, I, I, that's that's where I stand on that. Speaking of the um, future of video games, can we get to it yet? Because there's the big fucking hold on, hold on, hold on. No, not yet. Yeah, we got, not yet. Oh, no, we got another um, game. We'll get, we'll get we got the fancy game to talk about as well, don't we, huh? Yeah. Wait, hold on. What's the fancy game? Is it the fancy game the that Durin and playing, I yeah. and Thurb? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, because can we talk about SimCity? Oh, that's a good I don't question. know. Like, like they did in the podcast. Talking about yeah. it on their show. Ryan was talking about it. PC Gamer talked a lot about it. I mean, But their press. But, they, mm-hmm. but like, that's the thing. Like, they talked about like stuff. I don't know. Like, there's not going to be another one. So, like, what are we going to do? We're going to get kicked out of the beta, the beta um, that we're not in anymore? <laughs> well, he, here's a question. My person who listens to this podcast? It, what? <laughs> Is your is your origin account that traceable to your the name that we refer to you as? Probably. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, I have no other games on my well, origin account. Roll, it, roll the dice, then. Yeah. I do have other games. Mass Effect Three mine, is on but there. It, I use a different name. Mm. I don't have Mass Effect Three. I haven't bought the game PC's yet. This so is the I can only way to buy it. If you game. want. <laughs> I bought I bought it, but I bought a physical copy on Amazon, so I got into the beta and got twenty dollars Amazon credit. And you always make I do like so. how I can recommend the game to friends who are colorblind, and then say, "Don't worry, they actually have colorblind mode." Oh, cool! That's like nice. le- legit colorblind. Yeah, I, I saw mode. A PC Gamer had something on that today. Well, That's I mean, nice. like we could we could talk about it, but it, it, it's it's so close that I feel like we might as well just hold off and actually talk about the final game when it comes out. Cause All I'm gonna say is that game's gonna be dope. <laughs> yeah, that game. Any worries that I might have had that it, you know they might have changed too much or or whatever? No, that game that game is going to be a fucking SimCity ass SimCity game, and Yo, I cannot fucking wait. I am going to send all of my criminals to Duran City, and it's going to be awesome. Also, yeah, the I only thing Duran should worry about, I hate you guys, <laughs> is his friends who decide to live next to him in his like area and wreck his place. Yeah, yeah, so that's, just, that's all it works. They the all have EA plans this game. to destroy my city, <laughs> and we'll see we'll see what EA lets them do. I looked up the NDA for this game. All we're allowed to say is that there is a beta and that we are participating in it. Oh. Or well, participated yeah, in it. Had uh, uh, at the time, yeah. Well, me saying the game is going to be dope is not based off of me being in the beta. It is based off on the stuff that EA has shown us. Uh-huh, sure. Yeah, it's based, based on, on that, that video videos I've seen. That dude's I'm not worried about that game. Beard yeah, combo. okay. Yeah, so the, one of the SimCity developer things, I can tell the game is going to be awesome because the dude who was talking had one of the best beard-mustache combos <laughs> I have seen Shit. on a developer in a long time. Yeah. But yeah, I, w- I would say, like, any anybody who really, like, genuinely is kind of, like, unsure about the game, like, who was a fan of SimCity in the past, the only reason I could see um, that uncertainty being somewhat valid is because it does require an always on connection does require you to connect to origin. Man. And there are people that take issue with that. And I can, I can Who, okay. understand though, not respect it. I bet. So um, there is going to be connection issues in the first couple of days. Like they, they can't, I hope not. Yeah, there were connections. There were connection issues in the beta. Yeah. I mean, the, the, I, they can't. So there, we there, were, there were reports and pictures. So that we heard, I can so say. We heard. There were, there were, there were no, I can, there were pictures on Imgur. There was, there was people streaming. I can say, there were connection issues. There were people sitting in queue for a single player yeah, game. That's gonna for happen. Twenty minutes. It's gonna happen, but I don't think that yeah. should mar this game. Like, no, it's like Diablo three it, was a good it's game. It's gonna happen. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it's it's unfortunate that it's gonna happen. But the one thing, the one argument I would put forth uh, for for why the always on connection is tolerable is because they are doing things with this game. They're putting mechanics into this game that would require that to be the case. Uh, they have the the global economy mm-hmm. where you can actually like sell your resources to the global economy and buy resources that your city needs from the global economy. And that global economy is is as it says, like it is 
is an economy created by the players of the game um, with their excess resources. Um, also, any any um, players or f- friends that are in your region that you're playing with, uh, if you guys are actually playing live together at the same time, you don't actually see literal like one-to-one when they're doing stuff. You, you can see it. But every three minutes, your um, saves are synced up to the cloud, and it will update your friend's cities. Yeah, so every show three minutes, doing. we can check on how much smog we have sent to Durin City. It'd be cool yeah. if, like, Durin logs off for a while, then logs off like two day, logs on two days later, and his city's just covered in smog. It's just in ruins. <laughs> that would be cool. And so that's that, that, that's where I'm most curious is like what like what this means for asymmetrical gameplay. Possible, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like possible interactions with your city when you're not playing the game. Yeah. SimCity play by email. No, not, sorry, not asymmetrical. <laughs> Something that I'm really curious about that I want your guys' opinion is I mean, this is the same company that may, is like is releasing Dead Space Three with the like freaking cash shop in game to get weapons and whatnot. Do you guys suspect an, they're going uh, to have a cash shop? See, people shop are making such Sim a big City? fucking deal about the Dead Space Three microtransaction thing, and it's fucking retarded because that was in Dead Space Two, was it? Okay, the point I'm, still stands. I'm not talking about Dead Space 3. I'm just referring to this is the same company that would do stuff like that. Do we expect a cash shop in SimCity? I, like, I don't, oh, I don't do see how this Ferris wheel is going to cost autonomy. you five bucks. I think, I think it's past the time where they could have announced it. Yeah, like I, like I said, it, if they were going to do that, they would have implemented it in a way to work with the global economy. But the global economy is already there. And there's not a way for them to monetize it. So I don't think that's going to exist. What they could do is, hey, these plots of land are pretty small. You want to buy more land for your city? Give us five bucks. Uh, uh, I said, hey, hey, you want to stop I like the their... French criminals from coming into your city? Just slip us five dollars. We'll make them go back. We'll make them go back across the state You, you get to hire the XCOM unit to help defend your city from man th- ruffian thugs from outside of town and then no, a fucking, um, fucking disc comes in and destroys your city because you ca- bought the XCOM unit they couldn't spring that awesome. on release they couldn't just go hey we have a cash shop on the day it comes out you'd so. think that Wait, did anyone else do that this is a this is EA we're it is talking EA. about it is EA but I don't think so but like you guys don't think they're going to do something like that no or you don't you think Max is putting up there uh, putting up a fight not to do that I don't think Probably. Max is, is really has a say. Honestly, I think they'll make enough money because what will happen is they will most likely do expansions similar to what we saw with The Sims. Yeah. Hmm. I will Very buy nice. all of them because I'm a terrible person. Well, I mean, That's like, the it's... thing. I've always made fun of my friends who play The Sims and buy every expansion. But if they did the same with SimCity, I most likely would be one of those or people. Is, is anybody here getting the expansions right off the bat? Like with the uh, Big Ben and... No, like you, you unless, the, unless the edition that I bought comes with it, I don't think so. Uh, it's just individual the, items, If though. you buy it off Amazon, you get the limited edition automatically through your pre-order. Um, what you don't get is the digital deluxe, which basically has okay. the um, the European tile set stuff. Uh, okay. yeah, like you can get, you can get like a whole section of your town be like <sighs> Big Ben, Tower of London, yeah, and all yeah, that, yeah. that, that stuff. That's all digital deluxe only right now. Um, and no, I'm not getting that because I would have to purchase that directly through EA. Okay. Yep. Um, and I'd rather purchase it through Amazon. Yeah, I guess the one thing I really like about it is their rationale for like, yeah, it's going to be a small map, but this is the first time it's going to be an actual simulator of a city. In that, uh, depending on the like, the size of your city is shown by the exact number of Sims that are living in that city. Well, and, and I, so that, I don't think I don't think that the size of the map that we saw in in the um, I think the it beta is. stuff. I don't for think sure that's actually the size of your city. I think it is. I, I'm fairly certain it's not. I'm, in fact, I'm, I would go so far as to say I'm like 90% certain that is not See, the size like of your City. See, I'm like 90% certain it is. Well, because like uh, they rendered that entire block, but then like you're only able to use a quarter of it? That makes no sense. Well, because no, how, of the region how it works stuff. Is... No, no, no. You, you don't, that's the thing. The region map is completely separate. You go to that, and then you can go look at your friend's cities. But within your actual like city map, you're, like that dotted line that is is border is basically creating this artificial border for your city. I think that was only put in place for the beta because it's only an hour long and you can only make so much in that hour. I don't know. Like that's an artificial barrier that's if you, the if beta. You look I don't where think the it's barrier be goes, the barrier goes up to the water and then on the far side it went up to the train tracks. Right. I, I don't I don't think that's gonna be the case. I think that in the final game you're gonna have that otherwise why would they bother rendering that entire square? So I think what you're saying is it was a custom made map that was already like they already scaled the, the down to like okay we know for this uh, demo they're only going to be in this front area so we'll put the coast here and the tracks here but in reality the engine can handle much more so when they generate maps with a full version it will be of a larger size 
Yeah, I mean, they've said the maps are definitely smaller than they were in previous games. Like that's that's they have confirmed that, but I don't think that the size, the play size in the beta is um, indicative of the actual final play if size. If it was limited to that square, would you still like? Would is that fine? I'd yeah. be fine. I'd personally I, be fine. I, with I, it. I, I would still play it and I would still enjoy it. But honestly, like I filled up three quarters of that within an hour without any problems. And that that I mean, bothers I me think, a bit. I think it adds to uh, like a, a difference between like a micro game and a, a meta game because you micro each like town as like a suburb of some bigger city, and so at least from a single player perspective, you're constantly like, okay, this is the uh, main industrial side of town. This is the main tourist side of town. This is like. This is the big commercial section for like the main downtown area, like most cities are. Like for when I used to live in in uh, Indianapolis, there was the main downtown, but then there was, uh, I guess, another Simville up north in the next county. Yeah. Okay. That was in direct symbi- symbiosis with it. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It, it's also I'm not, part of the reason why I'm not sure of that either is like you know we have. Um, a, b- a bunch of us who plan on buying the game at launch and playing together in the same region and everything. But if you can only build a city that small and the intention is to have multiple cities of your own kind of all in- interconnected to make this larger, larger city, that's going to be harder to manage when you can only have, and it sounds like a lot, but you can only have 16 cities in a region. If we've got four or five of us all playing in a region, that's going to, that's, uh, that sounds, that sounds likely I, actually. That sounds that sounds okay for the four or five of us, but what if you got a, a group of like ten people who all want to play together? Like that I mean, dramatically like, I reduces think, the amount of play space per player. I, I think managing two with a group of like eight friends is enough that I'd be able to handle. I don't know if I can handle four, mm. um, just because you'd be constantly having to. From from what I can tell, the, the basis of this game is with the the other games as well, um, is that it's you're you're having to constantly keep up upgrading everything to. Beat, like to compete with this new level of, of I don't want to say esca- uh, escalation almost. Right. Not what do you but, mean? Uh, how like it's uh, okay. You want to? It's everyone's asking for new schools now, so you have to upgrade all the schools, and then you have to upgrade all the um, like. Yeah, you have to you have to deal with like it being higher density, I guess. Yeah. It's hard to play. It's hard to describe having not played the beta. I had text to speech on. That was funny. Yeah, that was funny too. And I'm Sorry, like, I, I was just kept talking, hoping that uh, it didn't get re- recorded. It totally got recorded, but hey, whatever. That's um, awesome. Either either way, so you guys like SimCity? <laughs> yeah. As a person um, who yeah. doesn't like SimCity, that's good to hear. I don't know. I love those like all types of management games. Like Roller Coaster Tycoon back in the day was my jam. Yeah, I, I I always feel like I'm wasting time. I think I've said this before, but for oh, you totally are. But that's the fun of it. Yeah, it's it's. I, I can see myself liking they, the game a lot, but I, as a person who has limited time in the grand scheme of things, I, I don't think I should. Yo, you just you just drop like ten hours to beat Final Fantasy Thirteen. D- yeah, twenty three hours. Of Final Fantasy Thirteen. What, what, what real life application did that provide you? Oh, but I, it was a story. I'm fine with stories. Like I, I read books all well, the time. I mean, you could have read the stories could have been up on YouTube. You could have been sending meteors to crush Durin City. <laughs> Yeah, you can make stories. Making your own like, stories. You could have been sending super criminals to Durin City. I mean, for me, I, the I, stories I, I, that I heard I from just... the PC gaming podcast of like what they called Hoboville that just turned to complete crap. That's pretty cool. Was yeah, you can make your city a good. garbage empire. Yeah, I just, by so just New building Jersey? giant landfills. Yes, and this is. Just, it, I'm not saying this is a normal opinion. I'm just saying for my personal. No, Staten Island, Revan. Personal craziness. I'd prefer like story based. I meant what I said. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go to what I've been playing. Yeah, since, since Dur- uh, Durin's AFK for a bit. And I just, I don't want to talk about the fancy game yet. Um, There's a fancy game that came out Thursday that is, it's, it's pretty well, good. I say we wait till Durin gets yeah, back. Yeah, okay. I don't well, want to no, talk about that I, yet. So... I'll talk about the other stuff I've been playing. Yeah. Okay. I've been playing a game called Primal Carnage. Oh, game's awesome, even though I haven't played it. Which one is, is that awesome. again? Is that the one with the dinosaurs, or is that the one with the... That, um, that as I games. jokingly call it, is the premiere... Humans versus dinosaurs, ah, yes. team-based simulator. Yay, that's pretty cool. How do you like it? Another it's, fine simulation game. <laughs> it's crazy awesome. I mean, it's just like it's. I get into a map. Maps are like every game I've gotten into with a quick match at least has always been at least like eight v eight. I think the max is like sixteen on sixteen, mm-hmm. and they're not the biggest maps. I mean, like they're they're medium size, I would say. Um, but it's just it's complete chaos if you get in a full server 
in the best way possible because either you play as a T-Rex and eat people and step on them, which is a win in my book, <laughs> or you play as a human and you die getting eaten by a T-Rex while shooting at them, <laughs> which is a win in my book. <laughs> Wait, so it, this how's the balance? Did, did, is it good? Um, I mean, it's really it's the, 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 when I, when I watched the quick look like months ago on Giant Bomb, it was they they said it the best way. It's more balanced by the maps than by the the uh, like units. Okay. The, the fights are all, every match I've been in, the fights have always been close in a in a ranking system. Like I look at it, it's like oh, it's forty six hundred to forty nine hundred. This is kind of a close match, um, but it, I'm not really doing it to compete. I'm doing it for the fun of it because like. There will be people playing as the flying dinosaurs, whose names always elude me, and they will just pick you up. Pterodactyl. It's not, um, it's not the pterodactyl. That's a, that's not the name of yeah, the dinosaur. Yeah, that's not that's not the official term. That's a, <laughs> that's why I didn't want to say that. Pterodactyls don't exist apparently. Yeah. Uh, well, but it's they they will what, whatever fine, flying dinosaur it is. Land before time. Will lift. Will grab onto you. <laughs> lift you up. Nice pull. That did not just happen. That was good. That was good. Oh, and you said just, no wrestling references, so I went Land Before Time. Holy shit! It's been a long okay. time. So how many of the Land Before Times. Times have you seen? Three. There's like six of them. I think I watched there three. Are, I've seen seven of them. Jesus H Christ! <laughs> <laughs> you're 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 shocked. I, I, I told you I like bad shit. Not all those movies are let good. Up, let me pull up this Wikipedia page. How many of these movies are there? Dear Christ, there are thirteen. Oh my God! I thought there were thirteen. Spielberg only did like Land the first Before two. Time versus thirteen is never coming out. <laughs> but they're totally good. I like I like the three I watched. They were they were fine pieces of children's movies, fiction stuff. The first four. Uh, were I've fine. watched enough to know I've watched too much of those. I can't remember how many though. <laughs> They're totally cool. I love dinosaurs. It all went downhill after they added the little baby uh, T Rex into the mix. I like the little yep. baby T Rex for the only. I only watched him for one movie. I don't know if I watched him chronologically or anything, but I liked him. He was cute. I don't know. Well, the only chronological one is the last one where the comet hits. <gasps> what? <laughs> You're lying. That can't. No. I hate it's not you. a thing. I no, it's you. not a thing. I hate Hold you. Hold on, that's, I'm pulling that's up Land Before Time 14. <laughs> For the Land Before Time 13, The Wisdom of Friends. <laughs> yeah, I Release date, is November really 27th. Yes, it is. God damn it. I, actually, they, they could never get Let's there see. because they... Oh, both, man. The kids are still alive, right? So Land the Before Time revolves, 14, The Death of Friends. And it's like 40 the million years before around two new friends one. named Lufa, voiced by Academy Award winning Cuba Gooding Jr. Shit, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> see, oh, now man. I really want to play Primal Carnage, but with a bunch of people and we all get Land Before Time names. Oh, shit. Littlefoot, Sarah, <laughs> Petrie, Spike... Um, the best mod ever. Best the mod two, ever. The two friends in this movie are named Lufa and Dufa. I'm out. What's the wind out, condition? What's the wind condition in the Land Before Time Primal Court Carnage? Because they don't eat people. Yeah. They eat leaves. Is They're it, all herbivores except for a little T-Rex. How, how do you get friendship a in a shooter? Because the wind condition is friendship, right? And so... Oh, no. You I hug them to death. <laughs> I get friendship when the aforementioned not pterodactyls will lift me up and then just instead of dropping me to my death, will just drop me on top of some like tower and just leave me there. <laughs> and then sometimes they'll just land right next to me, and just stare at me squawking. That's and I'm like, cool. guys, I guys. can't do anything. You suck. That's oh, that game awesome. is so great. The series has spawned seven spin-off games: two for PC, one for Game Boy Color, <laughs> one for the Game Boy Advance, and three for the original PlayStation. <laughs> Why are they looking at these two PC games, Shin Boy? <laughs> Why are they yes. some of those were made by THQ? Oh shit! Probably shit. You need to, yeah. you need to find that. I know out. at least Hold one on. was. Hold on. Let me look for the. Let me head to Amazon see if I can find these Lamb Before Time Vig games. <laughs> so I guess moving on from that, that's just an awesome game. I've been streaming that. Um, it it's just fun. It costs money, but it's it's it's, it's worth it. It's not very um, much. It's like fifteen dollars, right? Yeah, it, it's fifteen or twenty. I think it's it's not that bad. It's and totally worth no, it. It's it's a great game. That means there's no cash shop, and you just go in and have fun. Yes, yeah. it's, it's it's pretty good. Guys, gorgeous. Amazon has the Land Before Time Kindergarten for the PC in stock for five dollars and sixty eight cents. Shit, uh, I want the Land Before well, Time kin- five dollars sixty eight cents. Uh, horror, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, really. Uh, anyway, the other game I've been playing that will probably get some flack from Cynic is yes. Source and Sorcery EP. Oh. That's un- I, I've always wanted to play that game. I don't know if I'll ever get around to it. Because 
I played like the first um because the game boots up and the first thing they they give you is that like that spinning record track and I just sat there mm-hmm. listening to the music to that game for like ten minutes because it is so good. Then I booted the game itself and it got to the part where you fight the dog and I was like I'm out. That that's I just didn't like the way the game played. So, I don't know. but it sounds cool. I don't know why I give you flack about it. It sounds full awesome. Well, it's when we when we talked about um. God, what was that other game that we've been playing? Oh, uh, Kentucky Route Zero. You oh, yeah. Said, like you were, you were wary when we uh, said it reminded us a lot, uh, or the art, the art was very similar to Swords and oh, Sorcery. No, I, I, I think it's, I was wary about it because I, a lot of people were praising Kentucky Route Zero for being unique, and I was like, no, because like, Swords and Sorcery totally has an awesome eight bit e. I, I can honestly say they are similar, but yeah. not the same. Yeah, not the same, not the same. But yeah, so how do, how do you um, like it? Because I. Because for me, that game's it's, about the music, so I don't really need to play it. I I just get the soundtrack, so... I mean, it is about the music, but there is also... It's it's kind of a nice story. I mean, it's nothing too in-depth like or too compelling. Ten minutes of it. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, it, it's it's pretty fun, and they actually... They you playing this on really iPhone? force you or PC, or... to not play it in one, one go-through. Is this on PC? Uh, it is on P- PC. I believe it's also available on iOS. Yeah, it, it was originally yeah, on I, iOS. I played it's it on also on Android as well. Oh, cool! Yeah. I know it was on Android. Yeah, I played it on my um, iPad. And, and cool. one of the features, like I'm, I'm actually in the middle of it in like session three because it's a it's a four sh- four session thing, right? Um, and session three, you have to do things in relation to the way the moon phases are, hmm. and it actually keeps time of like, okay, you can you can do this next thing in ten days. It's Majora's Mask. <laughs> I mean, it. Fuck you. Yes. <laughs> um, no, I mean it's it's like it's literally wait, ten, 10 real, real time days. Oh wow, okay. And there's two ways to cheese it, and like one way you can uh, go to this like moon room and actually just like you sit down and it changes. It makes a paradox where you change the uh, lunar phases if you want to get done right away. I like it. Or you can open up your. Uh, like iPhone or your computer and just and change, change the, the time, time of day, like change cool. the day. The awesome thing is though, it can tell when you've done that and will give you a 99% <laughs> completion. Oh, in the game. Man. Oh, oh man, great. that's fantastic. And so I'm just doing it the way they intended of just like wait 10 days that's pretty cool. and then wait, play so it again. How does it enforce? So that's one way it enforces playing it in chunks. Like what, what other ways is it? Do you like that? Like, do, um, do you think it, that's a good thing that they're enforcing to play in chunks. It was good in iOS, but I don't know how that translates. I mean, like, I don't want every game to do it, but it, it's it's nice. It's sort of like that, that thing uh, Patch was talking about with The Walking Dead, where it's like, ha- like it, it, it after a, a major fight, it will actually cut to the uh, like the main menu guy, like mm-hmm. the, with a cigarette, yep, and be like, "All right, now it's time you take a break and come back later." That's cool. Uh, like studies show, you do not want to play this game all the way through, and all that. <laughs> Man, that uh, and so it's like, okay, well, I put it down, and then the next night, I'm like, oh, I get to play this again. This is fun. I think Brad fought for that. No, he he mentioned it on their um, the game of the year music things for that year. Totally deserved to be there. That's cool. So yeah, it's. Cool. I know. I ha- I actually uh, I got it with the humble indie bundle, and I had the I had the soundtrack too. I just I'm holding off on it until I beat the yeah, game. Yeah, so you because... can experience it all in situ, and then. And then actually, yeah, I, I want I want the memory of the song to be from the game and not something yeah. else. That's a different Mass okay. Effect. Speaking speaking of soundtracks, soundtracks or tracks, whatever. Um, I want to get the Bastion soundtrack, right? Yes, because that soundtrack is fantastic. Yep, I have it. It's awesome. I was gonna get it last night. It's ten bucks on the Super Giant mm-hmm. Games site. Yeah, but it's two fifty on Steam. <laughs> but but no, because it's it's on sale. It's on sale today. Yeah, okay. and that's it. Oh, but, right, yeah, but. The Steam version is only 320 MP3, and I want it in lossless. Is that worth the extra seven dollars <laughs> and change? Uh, no. You I mean, won't be able to hear the difference. Care about lossless? I would say for you, it probably is. No, it's, you, you won't be able to hear the difference. 320, uh, 320 is say... mathematically near identical to lossless, and so with um, 256 AAC, both both are really close. You wouldn't. None of us would but be able I to want hear it in flack. But but nothing in plays flack. flack. Get it in AUG. <laughs> Everything plays flack. No, like freaking what? Um, what's his face? Something two thousand is what I use. Fubar. Fubar is what I use for flack. I use Winamp and it works fine with, yeah. with flack. You won't be able to do a difference between that and three twenty. Uh, that's that's like the basic. I, 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 I would say go ahead and get it in like from from their store, not not Steam, only because like 
you seem to really like this game. Oh, I do. And Bastion's fantastic. Yeah, Bastion's awesome. I mean, keep keep supporting them because they haven't released a game in a long time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's a good point too. Keep I think it was my... like a tip jar. Also, if you go there, you could get something like their cool poster or their bandana, which I have both of. Oh, really? Wait. No, oh, I see. Yeah, you I just wanted to plug your sweet poster. I see how this. Now, works. I was, was going <laughs> to say, I mean, you guys have seen it. What I stream? I was going to ask you. Of course, most people are probably checking out whether you wear a bandana. But then I remembered your hairdo, and I was like, yeah, you're totally a bandana guy. You totally rock a bandana. Wait, who are you yeah, talking about? There was my some, lack of hair. There was oh, some, okay. There wasn't hair. I'll say because I'm not a bandana guy. Oh man, I, 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 Shin, you don't <laughs> totally rock, you don't rock bandizies. <laughs> no, I do not rock bandizies. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the shit. The other thing I've been doing, I guess, uh, but, uh, apart from one other game I've been playing, which we'll, we'll get to it very quickly, is I watch Last Stand. Last Stand. What's that? What is that? Am I that's crazy? The, that's the a movie, movie refer- with the Governor. Oh, oh right! As, oh, that one! Fucking yeah, great. how was that one? How was it? Bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But, I mean, it's, okay. Was, was, was it bad, good, bad or is he bad? Oh no, because it it followed that thin line of like they thought they could make an actual movie and movies that like yeah we realized were intentionally bad. There, there's moments oh, in there okay, where it was like, right. okay, this is... So they made uh, an intentionally bad movie, but they were too aware that it was bad. No, 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 opposite, opposite. It's the... They are trying to make... It seems like they're trying oh, to make okay, a movie, okay, okay. and they didn't they're quite trying to make it. a legit movie, yeah. but it was just like, oh, God. Yeah. If if they'd went the other way and made it intentionally bad, it could have been better, is what I'm saying. Because, like... Okay. I keep, I keep bringing back, like, um, The Expendables 2, because that, by all accounts is made to be a bad movie it's a dumb action movie so good. but they were fully aware and yeah. played to that as a strength yeah. so good. they had chuck norris in that like there was movie. a chuck norris joke in that movie <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah like they went to the extreme of having chuck norris tell a chuck norris joke <laughs> oh man oh, man. oh man. don't ruin it don't ruin it <laughs> um but yeah so but it's i mean like how did arnie the, do how the, did the governor do he did a pretty good job, but they were, I mean... Did he? It's a good movie. Surprising. I'm, I'm, if you yeah, were I was, paying I was attention. Yeah, I return to Hollywood would be. Yeah. I mean, like, it, it was actually funny. The, the final fight was, just because he's so freaking old, it was just like... It was, in effect, a Greco-Roman wrestle match. That's cool. <laughs> that sounds cool. With the occasional <laughs> knife being pulled. Which has, and it was, this has me wondering about him being in the new Conan movie. I just oh, I God. really wanted... I really wanted yeah. that if I was happening to be this like big, uh, far away, like wide shot of just two of them because they're on this bridge and just two two of these guys freaking just wrestling. Fucking Metal Gear Solid around. Four, old school, old people fighting <laughs> old way. That, that was and, awesome, and, by the way. And no, Revan, no, 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 to, no, to no, your think... to your worry about the the new Conan movie, I think that it's because the the, the the direction they plan on going with the story, they're being incredibly smart with it because they're basically doing what, what um, Sloan did with Rocky and that they are acknowledging that he is old. He is out of his element now. I love that He's movie, not by the way. in his prime anymore. That movie's great. And that's what they're playing to with the story. I mean, and they're, they're doing the same fantastic. thing in Conan. All right. Wait, am I the only one who loved Rocky? I loved Rocky. Did oh, they... no, Rocky was Rocky Balboa was great. So Here, good. Here's my deep, dark secret. I haven't seen a Rocky movie. Shit. Man. I hadn't seen any one prior to that, but really? that was great. I haven't seen any either. It's okay. That, oh, man, you guys oh, are all heathens. Also, speaking of video games and what I've been attempting to play, deep, dark secret, I have not beaten a Zelda or a Mario game, uh, and this is the year I do both. I've beaten a deep Mario. Secret, I haven't beaten a Mario game. I don't like Zelda at all, and I don't like Mario anymore. So. <laughs> Apparently, we're I've not that kind a of console crowd. Zelda game. I guess we should move to the uh, the final topic. Well, this Man, is the second on, from on. final topic. I, 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 I have oh, games to talk oh, about. Oh, right. Duran hasn't even well. talked about it. Oh, okay. Shit, he hasn't even community to talk ah, about. Who Jesus cares what Duran's doing? Christ. No, All right. Let's, so, just, do anti- let's, let's just do Antichamber now and then move on to the rest of Duran's games as a transition. Okay. All right. By the way, uh, Cynic, you might have to cut this into two different things because this is going on forever. No, no. It's only like no, two, we'll and hours. two and a half hours yeah. right now. Nothing. All right. Nothing. All right. So Antichamber. <laughs> Tell me about Antichamber. Ten hours. Because everyone seems to be weirdly divided here about it, but everyone else seems to love it. So what the hell is happening with Antichamber? I don't know. I beat All it. Right. You so tell me because I'm not you sure. Beat it? Yep. God damn. Really? So we're, we're, we're that close to the end then? No. 
<laughs> no? Oh, you played it quite a bit more than that. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Wait, what's the I mean, wind like, condition? That's, that's just it. There is no well, set th- pathway. What's the wind well, condition? Well, yeah, that, that was the reason I asked is because, like, last, as of last night, Thurb and I were in the same spot. How do you beat um, that game? But we got there from different directions. That's the thing. We did. Yeah, I strong armed my way through there. You actually went the proper route. So we should uh, which means I'm this. probably five minutes away from the end. So Antichamber <laughs> is a video game so, where, Duran? It's a video game. It's 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 a puzzle, first person puzzle video game that utilizes non Euclidean geometry to mind fuck you while you try <laughs> to do portal like puzzles. And by non- mind fuck you means extremely geometry. frustrating. What's that? Non Euclidean geometry means <laughs> that essentially the, the real sci- show geometry um, is non consistent. <laughs> so. You might be running down a pathway and hit hit a dead end and turn around and now suddenly there's a hole behind you that wasn't there before. Yeah. Like or you might go else, or... you might you might make seven left turns and suddenly end up in a room where you you had been just running in a loop. Right. You, you, if you like um, run around in circles but end up somewhere else. And so. And the crazy part about it is there's a map <laughs> that is available to you at all times to warp to any room that you've been in previously. Man. Um, so the, the the really weird thing is, after having played for a few hours now, um, you actually start to get a sense for not only where those rooms are, but also like when you hit one of those those points, um, you know where you're you're seeing like repeated stuff or something. You know exactly how to get through it to get to the other room without a problem. It's so like the the kind of the weird inconsistent level geometry it's, it's is really cool for like the first maybe hour it's or so. It's kind of crazy because it, um, it comes down to like, well, I look at this game and I haven't played it, but I, I, I don't know if I ever will, but either way, when I look at this game, I always think, how did he make it? Question mark. Because like literally stuff like you walking on, down a flat surface and then suddenly being somewhere else sounds simple. Like you just use portals or whatever right, and link two different sides of the geometry. But there's things like mm-hmm. cra- but just just crazy stuff. I, some stuff I can't even describe. Like walking backwards through tunnels, looking at like a circle of light, but ending up somewhere weird. And or if you move like one direction versus another, you go to different places. It's it's, it's um the stuff like that. When I look at it, I was my main question is how do you make it? And so, well, and especially given the entire game is built in in Unreal. I mean, yeah. To the to the extent, like this is a fucking indie ass indie game. When you launch that game, you are actually launching the UDK. Oh, the, that's crazy. Uh, Unreal development. See, kit. I I have actually some problems with that because like, yeah, it's made by one dude, but you don't even support like higher res monitors. Like what? <laughs> and even even more simple than that, there's two volume options on and off. Like how yeah, hard is it to include really a volume me. slider? I had to, yeah, I had to actually alt tab out of the game and manually Windows. change the volume down. Windows yeah. Volume. But um so yeah. I, when I looked at the geometry of it, I was like, okay, so it's non Euclidean, which means you could do fucking anything. But if you did fucking if you actually just went crazy with it and did fucking anything, everyone would just be confused and frustrated, like Shinboy. Um mm. and things would just stop <laughs> making sense to them. <laughs> So he had to make it a definable path through the game, even though that path is weird. Like, he had to make it such that it actually forms a coherent map. And in some ways, that, to me, kind of detracts from some elements for it. Because in the end, it's as you say, Durin, because you, you will learn the inverted commas direction. And I love using that term. Yeah, you, you basically you, you to start places. to... <laughs> Screw that term. Yeah, it's, I, I think that the best way to describe it is that... It's a lot like a Zelda game in that uh, with with games like Ocarina of Time and whatnot, there's, there's certain things that you just have to go back a second time because you didn't have the tools necessary before. Uh, yeah. But the tools it's like, aren't oh, like you have to go through a widget. with the hookshot. Oh, wait. So, so do you mean like actual tools like the gun or do you mean no, like no, mental it, tools? It, it, it's, it's, it's specifically it's more... that gun. Okay. Yeah, like you don't have the proper gun for it. And, 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 and that, that starts – that's where it starts to come that's into – um, where Shinboy and I have a, a gripe with the game, and that is the game's ability to communicate to you that you don't have the proper tools yeah. for the given puzzle that yeah. you're standing in I front mean, of. I mean, like once Absolutely. once you realize what that means, it's like, oh, now this makes sense. Right. But there's no way, there's no thing that he yeah. says. By the way, this means this. Like the like, game the, thinks the, the it's being clever say, by hiding that, but it's really just being annoying. annoyingly vague. Right. Yeah, the best I can say without spoiling anything whatsoever is just simply to say. That color is incredibly important in this game. Right. 
And so it's, it's crazy because he does take a lot of opportunities to communicate with the player. He, he puts like there's paintings all around the world where like if you click on them, you can read what like a message written behind them, and usually that's well, something and, helpful. And on top of it, if he if he was truly trying to to convey game mechanics and rules to players through um, level design as opposed to just blatantly giving it to them, mm-hmm. um, then he, he even fails at that because once you get the new gun, he straight up writes on the wall what button you need to do or what you need to do with that button in terms of on your mouse um, in order to do any given thing with that new gun. I would have liked the game, well, just conceptually, because I haven't played it, um, way more if there was like literally no interaction other than looking at things and movement. Like I... Because I've done a quick look on giantbomb.com and it was a website about video games, about anti chamber. So I, I, for me, the, the groundbreaking moment in that quick look was the moon section where you are looking at a circle of light moving backwards, right? And that is the kind of puzzle game I want to play. But the moment they picked up the gun and started shooting shit onto steps and making steps for themselves and stuff, I, I, I was like, no, I'm out. That's, well, uh, and, and, and that looking uh, at the circle of light and movement thing, that's, that has nothing, like, the, the circle of light there is as a reference because it's so black there. that You're not yeah. actually having to look at that light to move through that that uh, hallway. Right. You can move through just fine without it. Right. But either way, like, that kind of method of problem, problem solving or puzzle solving or, like, the whole thing where, where it goes don't look down and that that kind of stuff. Or yeah. I, I love that. I love the movement puzzles. I love the... the perspective and looking at things like there was a, there was a puzzle before where you had to like push a block and use that to like speed something up and that was really cool it's not the puzzles that i have a problem with because a lot of them are really well done mm-hmm. it's everything surrounding the puzzles <laughs> <laughs> like all the traversal all the progression the way all that stuff's handled i think is as of where i'm at in the game right now a complete and utter trash so- well and, and Shinboy, and, and that's the thing is like i agreed with you all the way up until last night when thurbleton gave me that little kernel of the knowledge is, of the color like, you needed someone to tell you that that exactly. is terrible yeah. game design no, i agree with you like the, the like the, the guy fails at level design which is unfortunate because in terms of the actual creation of the levels he does a really good job right. but like we just we, we talked about prior to recording um one of the most important aspects of level level design is the ability to convey information to the player through the level design. And in that regard, he fails miserably. Hmm. Yep. I agree. But in some ways he didn't does really well. Like for example, like the walking around circles part and hearing that sound like get louder. Like that, that's pretty awesome level design right there. Like just, just yeah, there's some parts where it's great and there's some parts times. where it's really bad. Right. Maybe it's just and because it's the important parts that it's really bad. That's it. the that's the worst part. But like sound didn't really play a big issue. No, sound does not play a big role in this game so mm-hmm. far. Like w- when he was in the dark or when he was in the darkness, or no, the sound was when he was going through looking for green stuff, right? Uh, the sound was when um, I think he what Cynic was... might be talking about is the uh, the circular room that you're con- constantly walking. Yeah, and and oh, yeah. actually, Cynic, the sound isn't what gave me the key that I was supposed to keep going. It was the it was words the fact that the, the black and white rectangles. Oh no, it was the fact that the black and white rectangles continued to get more and more rectangular. Really, they got taller and taller. Yeah, they, and they that was thinner. what showed me something was changing. It wasn't oh, the sound. Yeah. Yep. I didn't notice. I, for that, for me, it was like there's a there's a thing on the wall before you get there, and he's like, sometimes if you just keep going, you get places. And I was like, well, obviously, yeah. you just keep, anyway, yeah. Well, and, and and again, like that that is another um, proof that through level design, he kind of fails at um, conveying information to a player. Mm-hmm. It's his reliance on those signs. Yeah, perhaps, but uh, you, to some extent. We're not used to thinking in non-Euclidean directions. Like, I, I, True, you do need some direction. You do. Definitely for you the do player. need something, and I. I don't know if he if he did it all visually, like with arrows and stuff. Would it necessarily be better? Because there, there, the, there are there arrows. There are arrows. arrows. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't help if you if you stare at no, a place long enough where they want you to go. They, they, they do definitely help. There are places where like there there was has been at least one instance where I saw an arrow on a wall. And I would not have known that that's the direction I needed to go had I not seen the arrow. Hmm. Um, and knowing that arrow was there gave me, you know, the direction of like, okay, now I just had to figure out how to get there. I know I need to go there. I just have to figure out how to do it now. And that arrow wasn't in that room prior. Oh, okay. But I didn't have the tools to get there. So, like, could yeah. could he have I fixed the, the things the, the by issue... like what, well, like implementing more sound design? Like this, for me, it um, seems like at this he's point, there's the nothing fixable in that game. Yeah. There's there's no way to fix that game as it sits right now. <laughs> um, where I feel like what what I think the problem with it is that he is he is inconsistent in in it feels like 
like like it, like you said, for a game that deals in non non Euclidean geometry, like direction to the player is necessary. Yes, because we're not used to, to our minds aren't used to dealing with yeah. that, and so direction is necessary to some extent. Mm-hmm. However, I feel like either he didn't go far enough with the direction he gave, with like the signs and the um, the writings on the wall and everything, right. or like he either should have should have gone all the way with that, or found a different way to do it. Because like, granted, with Portal. You're not dealing with non-Euclidean geometry, no. but you kind of are in, a, in we, some way. Like you're portals. dealing you with have to learn to think with portals. Yeah, you have to think in a different way, way than your mind is is capable of doing. Yep. However, they did they conveyed that to the player in a way that did not require blatantly giving you that information. But the portal had the luxury of having levels. You build upon previous knowledge. I, th- I think ever increasing portal had the luxury of having. A bunch of people working at Valve instead of this was one guy. <laughs> oh, that's true. And right. QA. And, and that's why, like, I still think problem, this is a, this is a, a solid game. Mm-hmm. I just feel like it's not quite the my point amazing is, piece of work that a lot of people are yeah, giving my, credit my for. My pr- point is with the non-Euclidean stuff is that, like, yeah, Valve had all these people working on it. But this the guy who made Antichamber, he knew how, you know, like, his world worked, obviously, because he made the game. Mm-hmm. But no one else does. Yeah. Like he should have had someone play test it a bit. He did. Yeah, he did. But he just never, it sure he feels did, like he didn't but, have enough people yeah. play test it. Well, at some point, you just don't have time to implement fixes to things. Like if he if he designed a bunch of that game and had people play test it and had people saying no, this part is fucked. No, this part is fucked. No, this part is fucked. At some point, he just won't be able to even fix all of that stuff. Like I, I think that your you got your your criticisms are really valid and are. Definitely things to think about if there's ever another game like this. But aside from that, did you guys have fun? Like, did you guys, did you guys like the game? Yeah, I haven't yeah, had I, fun I, I'm, so far. <laughs> I'm still I'm still playing it. Um, I Thurb had to convince me to go to bed last night because I wanted to keep playing. So I, I'm definitely <laughs> having fun with it. I I uh, I understand Shin Boy's frustration with it. I feel like once he gets past the point that he's at right now, like the the little bit of information I gave him um, earlier today. I think will be enough to push yeah, him I haven't, I haven't to continue playing. Mm. I'm going to, um, <laughs> and, that, and and I think after that he will he will start having fun with it again. It's that first hurdle. Basically, what it comes down to is the first hurdle until you get the second gun. Okay. Yeah, because like the way the way I described it before on Mumble was like, in my opinion, a good game makes hours feel like minutes. Mm-hmm. And with Antichamber, I thought I played for a few hours. I closed the game and I had played for like fifty minutes, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> that's that's interesting. You know, Thurble, uh, yep. as a person who finished it, like, what, what's your, what's your stance on this? Did you did you enjoy your experience with it, or? Um, I did enjoy it. Uh, it was it's, it was actually kind of somber because, as one of the signs say, it's like getting to the end is not the point right. of like. Yeah, life is not but, about but the basically end. Basically, making the journey. To life, not every like it's it's not important to rush to the end mm-hmm. because. You die at the end of your life. Right. Uh, spoilers for anybody who's playing this whoa, game as well. Whoa. Is that, that's a lot of spoilers. Watch that's a, Easy that's Wear a, with no, that's a spoilers. big spoiler, actually. Not, not in the game. I'm okay. spoiling real life. Oh, oh good. Oh, okay. You die at the end. I was going to say, if you <laughs> just say spoil Easy that. with the life spoilers. <laughs> I was going to say, God damn. Sorry, Shin. Are you trying to get a patch it, it's, I mean, it's, it, it's, we were talking about it because I was streaming the, the tail end of it with people who didn't plan on buying the game and all that. Yeah. And they were like... Wow, I wonder if he's gonna make a DLC. And it's like I don't think he's gonna make it, like, or, or like a, a an Andy Chamber two. And I'm like, I don't think so. Is there um, one ending, or is it just completing the map? Like, I what's the think so. Now? It seemed like it was pretty much one ending. Um, like there's and... one last room, or like like how does it? Oh yeah. Okay. There, there's definitely a build up where you have to like it's this me- mega finish. Oh, cool. It, the ending is definitely cool. Oh, awesome. The ending is definitely cool. I was worried because um, I thought, like, the wind condition was just completing the map, and I was like, ugh. No, and, and really, it's... I, I that's haven't completed the map yet, thought so I, to it. I, I can't go that. back to that. Mm-hmm. The best way to tell your, um, like, how far you are in the game is just what guns you're on. Okay. Because uh, nearly can tell there... Well, I mean, do you want me to say how many guns there are? Uh, No. Because okay, but there's more than one. No, <laughs> there's more there's than one. More than it's one. like yeah. it's like the portal gun in that you get the one, but then as soon as you get another one, it just adds on to what you can do. Have you aren't right. rotating between guns? It's just it adds this it new just feature. Adds more tools to your to your gun. Mm. And what you're saying about having to build walls and all that—that that is the minority of times in which you use that gun. Hmm. Granted, there's one other time in which you have to you do something like that to make stairs, 
That is very annoying. Yeah. That oh, that's the part I'm on right now. I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah, it's... They'll probably look at in the quick look, where there's like this diminishing... Uh, no. No, no. They did not get anywhere close to this far in no, the quick look. No, not... I mean, I'm not really spoiling anything in that you have to use the, the thing to dig yourself out of a hole. And it's very repetitive and stupid. Right. And spoilers, you do it twice. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. And I was nope, just like, are you serious? <laughs> I'll still play this game. But... Any other time than that, like there is this really awesome mini game aspect where you're having to unlock these doors with the the gun, and it's like, how do I access this panel that is blocked in this fashion? Right. To, like, to do this, and um, that that's that's also why it's like it's it's sort of gated that way in the Zelda sense of yeah. Okay, if these are green blocks, I know I can do this with the initial gun. The or wait, blue. Or blue. The, oh, I'm sorry. The initial gun's blue. Sorry that I spoiled. There's another gun that's green. And so you know, it's like okay, well, actually, I, I'm pretty I sure have... I've seen most of the colors because there's a bunch of bunch of like press stills that no one realized that they were revealing stuff. But I saw like yeah. the red, oh, okay. and blue, and yeah, yeah. And, and and so like the red one sort of means like okay, you need to solve this with the red gun. Mm-hmm. So if you have if you don't have the red gun yet, don't bother doing it. Yeah. Granted, Duran has found his way to cheese through some of that stuff, and I was like, how the hell did you? Yeah, do I that? have. <laughs> um, and then also that that he's added a few like there, there's one or two. Um, just like Easter egg things that I still like. It, it, this might help answer you, but there's one that looks like a flow chart of. Oh, that one's nuts. Yeah, that is nuts, but I think that explains how he's able to get the non Euclidean, the, the I, geometry I, 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 to work. I okay. assume, like, if it's, it's a. Um... Like a three dimensional space with with many rooms, but they're not connected to one another, and he uses portals between them to actually make. That's it. what I probably. Imagine, yeah. I mean, it's it's basically like you look at the ceiling I've and it's the it blackboard of, of a and It seems like yes, that is the case. So he's thinking with portals, basically. Yeah, that's, probably. That's probably the yeah. easiest way to do it. That's like I, I, would do it. I specifically tried to like. I, so when I play games, I tend to, to not necessarily try to break them, but I try, tend to try to figure out how they work. Mm-hmm. Um, so I have done some things with the camera while I'm moving that you would not do while playing just to see if that's how it works. Right. And and it seems like, yeah, once you move through certain thresholds, suddenly the area around you will change. Right. But normally you're not looking at unless you're facing in this very specific direction. Okay. So like suddenly this wall goes from having the wall there to like, boom, now there's this, this you know, um, sign on the wall. Right. And it's clearly like I moved past that threshold and that's what caused it to happen. Oh, cool. Now, I will say, and this was in that quick look, there was that room that had like the – the square in the middle of it, and like when you look through it, it's like blue, and then when you go around the other side, it's oh, green. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when you walk up to it, it changes the room around you. Yeah. I still don't know how the fuck he did that. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty intense. That's, that's, that's so the one part I've not figured out how he did yet. Especially when there's um, two right I'm, across from each other. Mm. And you're yeah, just like, what? Well, and one thing I will point out too, is, and Thurb saw this because I was streaming a bit of it last night, um, trying to figure out how to get past the part I was stuck on. Um, and there were a couple of rooms that I got into that it seems like Thurb didn't. He was he was off doing the game the way you're supposed to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, no, um, I mean, it's... So the guy knows when you're fucking trying to break his game. Yeah. You're trying to strong arm your way through it. And when you try to strong arm your way through it, he is the biggest fucking asshole. <laughs> because I'll go through this room, and, and there was one in particular. I, I strong armed my way in, and basically didn't mean really anything. There was another room where I was like, I strong armed my way through, got to this room, and... The, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it so that somebody else gets there as well, um, because it's it's actually kind of hilarious how you get through it. It's it it's very intricate in, in in getting through the room requires very precise timing of something. Oh, is that the one where you did all that math? Yes, that, it requires. Yeah, math. that was good. Math and timing to get through this room. I figure it all out, draw the whole thing up, get it all ready to go, implement it, get through the door, and fucking so pleased with myself for getting through this and solving it correctly the first time. Well, and explain, and he drops, like, he explain the a hole into a room I'd already been to. <laughs> yeah, that was good too. <laughs> but no, like the, the awesome thing is, is like after every puzzle, he rewards you with a sign that has a picture and then a little, a little saying. And when Duran went through it, after doing all this math and like uh, whatnot, he got to the he got through it, and it was a um, what was that thing like the Greeks use and the Romans to, to count? To count? Oh, an abacus. <laughs> yeah, an, 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 an abacus and an abacus. dominoes. Yeah. <laughs> and so I saw that I was like, no, clearly that was the way I was supposed to do that, and I felt so fucking awesome for doing it that way and figuring that out. And then, and like then I said, I moved a little bit further forward. He fucking yeah, he he drops the floor on me and trolls me and drops me back into basically one of the early rooms That's of awesome. the game. That's awesome. Um, I, and I'm just like will... fucking. I'm literally like yelling. I'm like that fucking asshole. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> 
It was so good. I, I will say, like, I really enjoyed the game. Um, it, it was worth it for me. It's just you have to. Uh, if, so if you ever get stuck, if you ever get stuck in a rut, yeah. all I can suggest is just going back to the map room. And because first off, he offers like the names of the locations are a hint, hint also. I knew it. I knew there'd be hints. And, and you can only see that in the map room. So, like, if you're stuck, you have to go back to the map room and look at the different names of the rooms to kind of get your, give yourself an idea of what you're supposed to do there. And so what I would do in, like, the, the early to middle game is when I was lost, I would just go back to the map room and hop to room to room and, like, all right, what has changed here just try with and what open I have? Up more and more rooms. And that's yeah. that's how I actually found the second gun is I, I had to go back to, like, oh, yeah, a revisit I've this place. I've seen it. And I was like, I've seen it, but I don't know second. how to get to it. Oh, and Shin, it's fucking... Dumb. It is <laughs> dumb. And what I mean by that is you are going to feel fucking retarded when you find out how you, you have to get in there to do it. <laughs> nice. Anyway, so it's a uh, in general recommend from you guys? I, well, okay. So here's my thing with it. As of now, for me, no, but I've only played like an hour or so of it because, yeah, because of reasons rec- previously stated. I can recommend this game except that I still – in. I feel more comfortable saying this now that I've actually played it. I I feel like twenty dollars is is asking too much for this game. Hmm. I think fifteen is a good price point, and that's where it's at right now as of launch. But that is a sale price. It's gonna drop or it's gonna go back up to twenty after the sale's over, right. which I believe is coming up pretty soon. Hmm. Um, and at twenty dollars, I feel like that's that's a bit much for the game. Also, can I just say as a little add on, I think we are past the point now. Or at least we should be past the point where this game was made by one guy is an excuse for things. That shouldn't be the case. Like, volume slider. Come on. Mm, yeah. The settings and stuff. There, yeah, there are yeah. certain things that that, that that can't really be excused by. Like, if you want to excuse some of the um, the the level design issues where he doesn't yeah. communicate well, like, that stuff I can understand to some extent. I agree. He didn't have somebody else while he was making that to be like, hey, this is kind of fucked. Maybe we should do this a different way or something. I can understand that. But, yeah. Basic things like putting a volume slider in there, supporting you know modern resolutions. Um, what, what does it it does at? support up to 1080p. It does support 1080p. Okay. Um, do you like, guys think that he'll do like either an update or, like, uh, or a patch that offers more levels, even a DLC? I don't, I don't really think. So. Like, do you think he's done? With I think it? as long as this game took him to make as it is, I, I don't think he is capable of putting out that kind of content. Mm. I just wonder where well, I mean, the game was more or less done like months ago. He would just kept polishing it, right? But he's also been producing this game for fucking years. Hmm. I mean, as I'm saying, and he spent all that time polishing it, and it doesn't have a volume slider. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, little technical things you'd say we shouldn't excuse anymore, which I somewhat agree. I somewhat agree. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but yeah, like I would say, on a Steam sale, I could 100 percent recommend this game. But at the the current Total asking price of twenty dollars. I feel like it's a, it's a bit much given the games it's kind of going up against in that price bracket. I think. Do you think we'll see this as like a humble indie bundle months or years down the line? Yes, absolutely. I could easily see this on on um, a later humble bundle. I agree. And it's and actually, if you see it on question, bundle, I think definitely pick it up because it's worth it. I think this is something that, like you'd be the best one to answer, uh, Duran. Is like, do you think this is something that would be fun for you and the, like the misses to sit down and play? Yeah. I think this is a great game for two people to try to to, because I mean that that was actually one thing I was having a lot of fun with last night when when you and I were kind of playing it together and you were watching my stream and stuff is being able to bounce ideas back and forth. Right. Yeah. Um, especially once I had caught up to where you were, like being able to just kind of bounce ideas like that, that's this is actually a great couples game. I think. Yeah. Just... You mean the the room the room that and I'm not hinting this at all because like uh, it was the map the, the the room was named lighting the fuse. Yeah. That, and that I one... still couldn't get that. Oh, you still have. Oh, oh man, that's well, no, great. I, I finally got it. Yeah, you eventually it's like, did. You at the to. time, yeah. I didn't get what that meant, and you did, and it, and it just immediately clicked with me. That's cool. And so, like, yeah, that that kind of stuff is, yeah, this is definitely a great game for like couples to play together. That's pretty awesome. You should try that, by the way, with your with your lady friend slash wife. I'm, I'm already most of the, or a good way of the way through it though. So <laughs> I mean, I don't know how well are, it would work. You're, at this you're point. still on the. Are, are you on the green gun or are you on the uh, yellow? I'm on the yellow. Okay, I mean, you still got a ways to go. We, we've we've now yeah. essentially covered four guns. Like we've we've ruined everything. <laughs> well, no, because we've only said the colors. We don't say what they do. Okay, well, that's true. That's very. Yeah, true. We don't say what they do. I mean, it's it, and and getting all four guns doesn't necessarily mean you are about to face the the, the last room. Right. You have to find the last room still. Right. 
And I, that you say and there's is a, a ton of there's a ton of rooms that are linked with that gun. Interesting. Only one of them leads to the final room. Are there any rooms, Thurb, that you experience that served no purpose, as in they didn't help you at all advance to the final room? They were just sort of there for you to solve. Yeah, but I mean, like, yeah, there's a lot of rooms like that. It's they do that, but at the same time, I feel like they offer lessons that you need later. Yeah, would, that help like, me like Shin, along when the I was way. saying earlier um, about how I like I strong armed my way through and then found that room and did all the math and got my way through it. Like that taught me a lesson of don't fucking strong arm this game because when you do, <laughs> he knows it. Right. Like we like, saw it in the quick do look things with the way the, they're uh, intended with the giant fall, which is still so much fun to do. The, like the don't look down room. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. That takes you right back to where you were before. And you see that a lot. It's just like, um, you have to go back to those crossroad rooms and like, okay, what changed here with like my journey that is different. Right. And so he does, he does go back and change previous rooms. This is a hint for other people. Um, as you progress through the game, as you get more guns, things actually change in the past? Um, uh, no. Not necessarily okay. as much as good. you go to a room that you thought was identical to what you were before, and it's a different room with oh. just like... Yeah, there's things where like I, I, I unlocked a door and like, wait a second, this isn't the room I thought I was in. This is a different room with the same lock combination. Oh, okay. Cool. Interesting. Anyway, so yeah, that's antechamber. Interesting. I, I, I think... How do you, how do you guys think of the the I, I, I want to say publicity, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Like, how many people know about this game? Do you think this game will sell? Like, it, you mean a guy in a pink suit at PAX? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a pretty good publicity. Like, I, I don't know um, if anyone it's knows about it. Number one on Steam. It. Okay, that's good. It's number one on Steam. That's good. Yeah, to it's hear. it's selling pretty well. Good to hear. I mean, to be fair, if it launched on any other platform other than PC, I doubt it would sell well at all. No. Yeah, I think it's pretty much yeah. designed for PC. Um, maybe on an Xbox you could pull it off, but I don't know. There's some pretty I mean, quick control, you control do wise. Times. I don't know. Yeah, mouse and keyboard. He'd have yeah. to map controls for for a controller then first. Yeah, he's gonna. He, but he's gonna which try. I, to which I guess we're in at some point. Yeah. PS3 supports mouse and keyboard. It's true. It does. <laughs> Haven't seen anything. Unreal tournament. Move. Oh yeah. Unreal tournament. Did huh? Interesting. <laughs> I, is that, yeah, right. is so that, that what everyone's been playing? Video game. I think, yeah, Duran, what else have you been playing? Because you said there's one other thing. Oh, yeah, sure, thing. yeah. yeah. Um, well, there's a couple other things. Are you talking about the, the greatest one, MMO of all time? Well, hang on. Let's the one choose your own adventure. Wanted, wanted talk Say about a couple, is... and we'll pick the one we want to talk about. <laughs> okay, well, the, the only two I can think of um, that I've really been playing otherwise um, are Nino Kuni and Wizardry Online. You will talk about Wizardry. Yeah, I want to talk about Wizardry. I, I will tell you right now, I do not want to hear about Nino Kuni again this week. <laughs> well, okay, Nino Kuni is actually pretty short, because I haven't, I haven't played a lot since last time. I have gotten a second party member, but I haven't even, like, gotten in combat okay, with her yet. so we'll, so. we'll so touch on that again later. Yeah, we'll touch on that next time. Yeah. Um. So Wizardry Online, it is... That is a free-to-play MMO being put out by SOE. That's Sony Online Entertainment. Yep. Um, known for their terrible online video game. Known for their great MMO <laughs> I mean, library. <laughs> That's pretty good. DCUO. Um, Pirates of the Burning Sea. Yeah. Okay. Those games. Yeah, those that games. game that I've totally heard of. Um, <laughs> I actually played Pirates of the Burning Sea at one point. It's, I really um, enjoyed the ship combat, uh, but I can't stand the foot combat. Hmm. But yeah, so this is a, a free-to-play game put out by them. Um, I don't remember who the developer is, but it doesn't fucking matter. Uh, it is, so it's a free-to-play MMO in, set in, I, I guess set in the Wizardry universe? Fuck it's, the it's Wizardry based universe. in some way on the old PC Wizardry games. Oh, okay. That's, that's, that's the thing? Um, I'm gonna look this up now. Yeah. W- Wizardry, there were like eight of them. Um. You know, to the go with one, the 13 Land Before Time movies. Yeah, yeah. The eighth one, I watched a, a video of it, and it's, it's, it's a... It seems kind of like a Legend of Grimrock, except you have full uh, control of your character. But anyway, this is not that. This is some way loosely based on that. Uh, there are four classes. Uh, I believe they are Fighter, Thief, Priest, and... I don't remember if they call it Mage or Wizard, I but I want to say Mage. I not like the graphics of this game at all. Wizardry Online? Yeah. Uh, the, it actually doesn't look terrible when you're in-game. Fighter, mage, priest, um, and thief. Yeah. Thief, okay. Um, so yeah, mage, not wizard in Wizardry Online. Um, Already a the, disappointment. <laughs> yeah, I guess the, the, the standout features of the game, the things that, like to me, could potentially make it kind of interesting, or could have, 
um, is first off, there is permadeath. That sounds like, like you the can, worst thing ever. Your character can die, and your character, when it dies, will go away forever. Yeah, However, I don't like that at all. there is a revive mechanic okay. um, in that when you die, you go to like a soul world. With You're, one of um, the best revive animations I've seen in yeah. any video game. <laughs> Great revive You mean animation. one of the but, best animations you've ever seen in any video game. <laughs> but, uh, so when you're in that soul world, like, you basically, you can, you can still be attacked by creatures, and if you're killed in the soul world, your, your character's dead forever. However, if you can make your way to one of these different statues around the, or I guess same statues around the world, um, you can attempt to revive your character. There's a chance, however, at revival, um, and the way to increase your chance is to go into the cash shop and buy these revive token things. To increase that chance, hopefully up to 100, so you don't lose your character. I think you can also like sacrifice like gear or something. Okay, I think I think I read that somewhere. So there's, so there's possibly that too. Um, but if that chance fails, your character is deleted. I, so I, I, that's kind of interesting. This sounds like a more like a tougher uh, game than Darkfall, and I thought that was pretty bad. Well, yeah, and, and so like there's also traps in dungeons that you have to deal with. Um, the combat is very actiony. There are in in the very first dungeon, which is all I was able to actually play because they took the servers down um, for maintenance that didn't fix the problem. Um, in the very first dungeon, there were like pedestals that I could walk up to that gave me like hints on where I could go. Like they're you know telling me that you know basically follow follow your gut with this path or something along those lines. Um, basically, the game feels very Dark Soulsy. Yeah. Which is kind of the one interesting part about well, it. Well, the color palette is very Dark Souls-y. The lighting looks very Dark Souls-y. And, but Permadeath yeah. and like that kind of stuff sounds pretty Dark Souls-y. I, I can see where you're coming from with that statement. Yeah, it's... it's it's That that comparison alone is what is going to make me at least go back and check it out again. Okay. Because otherwise, it is a fucking generic-ass free-to-play MMO. <laughs> Um, the very first quest you get has you going around to all the different people in town who are of note to let you know how to buy items, how to equip weapons, how to fix your gear, um, all, all those sorts of things. Is, is, Do you just press so, X a bunch or something? Uh, <laughs> no, you just pay them money. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's... Or, or you mean like, 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 like you mean that quest? That quest? No, it's, it's literally just walk over to this person, click, 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 walk over to this person, click, 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 like it's, it's, that's... That was my first like twenty minutes. Is with there that game. voice acting? Like, what's the production quality like? No. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. No. No. There's no voice. There's the. No. I like your. No, it's not. Really that was a good really, really. 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 <laughs> there's a really fun jumping animation when you go to jump. Oh man! It is your character glorious. actually stops for a half a second so it can load the jump animation. Oh god! So why are you? Why are we talking about this game? Why is this? Why did you so, play this? I played it because, if you recall, at the very end of the last uh, um, Scotchcast we did, mm-hmm. at the very, very end, I noted that there yeah, was, was a, a wizardry. game, an MMO in the wizardry. <laughs> yeah. So it came out on Steam. Okay. And I decided, well, since it's free to play, and I mentioned it last time, <laughs> I should go in here and check, what, check out what this game actually is. Uh. And uh, it's not on Steam anymore because they had some <laughs> pro- problems with it. They at least had the decency to pull their downloader while they fixed their connection problems. <sighs> um, I haven't heard if it's actually fixed or not. The last tweet they sent out was uh, 23 hours ago saying that they were publishing an update that might be throwing out bad error messages, and there would be about three hours left until it was done. Um, that was 23 hours ago, so <laughs> presumably 20 hours ago the game was fixed. <laughs> but I haven't gone in and and and, and checked up on it yet, so well, you know, we why might not? check back in next year, next week. You almost said next year. <laughs> I did almost say next year. I you won't be able you. to check in next year because the game won't be around next year. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so is that a uh, recommend to do it? <laughs> uh, no, that is not. That is a tentative. <laughs> we'll, we will see. I will. I will continue to play this game. Um, I will stream myself playing this game so others can be. Aware of what this is and not so, waste their time Wizardry playing. Wizardry Online, Guild Wars 2 Killer confirmed by Durin. Yeah, yeah. something like that. <laughs> yeah, I asked him why he even had Guild Wars 2 installed when he had Wizardry. I'm like, what are you doing? There's <laughs> only one He's game. Taking up hard drive space. I saw. I saw on Steam he launched Guild Wars 2, and I'm like, what the hell are you playing that shitty game for? <laughs> Wizardry's out. Oh man, 
I, I'm just sad that it took time out of your DMC time. Because it was like, he played DMC for an hour, and I was like, yes, he's playing DMC. Then I messaged him about it. Then like later that night, he was playing Wizardry Online, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm just going to say no. DMC is a game I might I might get to over the summer. <laughs> well, see, the thing about DMC, Cynic, is I'm actually enjoying playing it in the way that I have been, which Second is chunks. one level at a time. It is. Yeah, you can play that game. Because anyway, each of the levels are kind of like a TV show. Not that um, – Yeah. It, it, it They're kind of transitions like between them. episodes. It's, it's you got to go into the TV. It like, literally doesn't transition. Like, it, it is one thing, and you see what happens, and then it moves. Like Time skips forward to a little – like whether it be half an hour or a couple of days. Yeah, they, they, all, they all have very good stopping points. Yeah, they all have very good stopping points and very good starting points. It sets up where you are. Wait, hold sort on. Of like so, hold on. Sorcery. So, so at the beginning of DMC, you go down to the Juness and enter the TV. Is that how this works? <laughs> yep. Fuck, that would be the best okay. game. That would be the best game ever. <laughs> um, Teddy Teddy takes off that costume and reveals Cat inside. <laughs> no, it's, that would be no, so weird. No. He takes off the costume and no, it's Teddy's old Dante. No, oh, Teddy God. takes off the costume and it's old Dante inside. Oh man, the ending of that game. The ending of that game is so good. Anyway, so uh, anyway, I, I want to talk right, about the, the PS4. The last thing here, now that we're three hours in, I want to talk about PS4 at some point. So, all right, I think that's 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 all we have to talk about at this point. Okay. We're three hours in. All right, so a couple of days ago now, um, two things happened. One. Edge Online um, released an article, which was picked up by a bunch of places, saying that they have confirmed the, um, the various things could be regarding the PS4, which I... It's Edge. It's, confirmed. It's Edge. I, I'm not sure how good they are. Wait, confirmed it. Wait. Edge the wrestler confirmed the PS4? Yes. He's no longer a wrestler. He's no longer a wrestler. He's retired. Oh, oh I apologize. <laughs> he had to retire. Former wrestler. Um, he had to retire due to spinal cord injuries. And if he took one more bad hit to the back. The second gone. half of the info is Sony has released a 40-second teaser stinger thing. Guys, I have hot news. Rey Mysterio has just confirmed the next Xbox. For an announcement. <laughs> Xbox 619? Yes! <laughs> Xbox 619. Announcement on February 20th for... The future of PlayStation. What they call it? Let's have a look. Some some BS like that. It's, it's like, yeah, something. It's like the. Let me have a look. See, there's a Ridge anyway. Racer. Oh, I can't find. I can't find. The, I can't find the YouTube of this because I'm just looking at the channel. Yeah, you don't need it. it they, yeah. didn't, they didn't say anything. Oh, it was pretty much just the PlayStation logo on a date. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. just like storylines. So what, what you're seeing that the the future thing or whatever that was actually something. I don't know where that came from. It had to have been like an attachment in the email that was sent to all the publications. Yep. Because it was nowhere in the video. Let me have a look. Because it's in my history. I'm pretty sure the video is named The Future of Edition. I don't think so. See the future. Anyway, that's not important. Yeah, See the Future is the name of the video. But that's nowhere Sony in the video. Edition. Yeah, it's nowhere in the video. The video is just sort of lines and then a the circle triangle X square at the end. Um, but the main thing is the date. 20th of February. So three weeks from now or so. Yeah. Less than three weeks from now. is It's like two weeks from, yeah, two and a half. Probably the PlayStation 4 announcement. What do you guys think? PS Vita it's the go. PlayStation 4 announcement. PS Vita Go. PS Vita Plus. <laughs> PS Vita Slim. That's what I'm really no, it's hoping for. Is PS a new, Vita a new XL. model of the Vita, not the Vita Go, just a new version of the Vita. <laughs> and not even redesign. a price cut. It's actually it's a new model that is fifty dollars more expensive. PS Vita the XL. Vita, the Vita, yeah, the Vita XL. The Vita Troll. Three <laughs> D no, Vita. It, it's a PS4. What the fuck else can it be? Like, if it is anything else, Sony stocks are going to fucking plummet. Oh, fuck. I, I okay. love it. Since since we all wanted Nintendo to name the Wii U the Nintendo, mm-hmm. do you think Sony will just name the next, like, the PS4 just the PlayStation? No, it's called no, no, the PlayStation, PlayStation 4. 4. Because ah, there's because yes, the thing is, no, no, here's X, the reasoning, Shen. Here's the reasoning. <laughs> they have... They have the upper hand when it comes to numbering on anybody. Like, they're the only ones that have continued numbering their consoles, and yep. so they always have the higher number. That's why Microsoft <laughs> had named the, con- the Xbox 360 the 360, because if they named it the Xbox 2 against the PlayStation 3, the PS3 would always sound superior. Yeah. Therefore, by naming the PlayStation 4 as such, like, Microsoft is forced to name their, their console something dumb again <laughs> in order to seem relevant next you to the console. You mean, in like, Fuck. the X and then just the square for box? However, I thought that this, was is where Microsoft, awesome. this is where Microsoft uh, gets the upper hand on, on Sony, because Sony does a PlayStation 4, Microsoft names theirs the Xbox Infinity. Boom! Bigger numbers, <laughs> and man. And they're just done. <laughs> Bigger numbers. Man, it's like kindergarten. 
man. <laughs> so when no, you the think only of the time no, is if Sony crazy. releases the fucking PlayStation Infinity Plus One, and no, then no, no, we've no. gone to kindergarten. No. This is where we go to kindergarten because see, you, you say like Sony comes out now saying PlayStation Four, Microsoft comes out saying uh, the Xbox Infinity, and then PlayStation at the last minute of E three does a name change and name changes it to the the PlayStation Infinity to the Infinity Power, <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is actually just still Infinity. Infinity. It's actually it's actually still Infinity. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring that. let's bring some real math into this. <laughs> Fuck your real math. Infinity is not a number. Infinity is a concept. <laughs> Graham's number. You need to really surprised yeah. me about this. So okay, was that February twenty? The PlayStation. I did not expect I. it to be this early at all. PlayStation I, I, E. I actually expected it to be before Microsoft. Fuck E. Like, so the thing is, like Sony had said in the past that they they want Microsoft to make the first move. Like yeah. they want Microsoft to release yeah. their console first. Yeah. Or no, I'm sorry. Um, they want Microsoft to make, make the first move. However, they said they don't want to be last in terms of release. Mm-hmm. So they did neither. They wanted Microsoft to make the first move, but I don't think Sony is in a position to wait much longer. They need to get the information out there. Mm-hmm. And so, like, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna release the, this information now. They're gonna get it out before Microsoft. They're gonna get the hype out there. But I think that, like. I think their their original intention of Microsoft needs to make the first move. They were expecting Microsoft to have already made their move by now. Like that was that was well over a year ago. Yeah, I think they really anticipated Microsoft to have made an announcement in 2012. I I'm surprised Microsoft hasn't because well, I mean think about it. When in the past have we had console launches that happened the same year that they were announced? I don't think that's ever happened. Sega Sega Saturn. And how well did that go for him? <laughs> Pretty well. <laughs> in in the UK. Um, I'm saying, like, usually we have an announcement and then, like, a release the following year. year. Like, yeah. both of them have been kind of waiting for each other to make a move. Mm-hmm. And it, it seems like, they're you know, so, Sony's realizing they're running out of time. They need to get information out there. They, they, they have to get... They have to get some information out there early. They can't do like Nintendo did and wait until the E3 prior to release yeah, to get yeah. everything out. They couldn't. I'm, I'm they, just surprised they really, went really hurt Nintendo a lot. I, I was honestly, legitimately surprised they went first because what they did was they they announced it at the end of February, I think it was. So end of January for something in nearly the end of February, so February 20th, two thirds through February. So they've kind of like cordoned off this whole month to say that this is PlayStation time. Um, I, and then Microsoft releases something on the nineteenth. Yeah, if, if they I do, mean, like, do, do we think <laughs> if it is the PS uh, PlayStation Four that they'll uh, Xbox will announce it at GDC or something in March? They have like um, that's the, the bigger thing here because yeah, no, I, I see both. I see both Sony. Well, obviously, Sony. We have this event. Yeah. I see Microsoft, I Microsoft as well hosting their own thing. Yeah, yeah. Microsoft is definitely good. They're not going to wait for GDC. They'll probably get they it do, in a hangar somewhere GDC. in the desert, like they always do. Yeah, do you think yeah. they'll wait a bunch uh, of time? Or do you, because kind of. The crazy thing about Sony going first here is how does Microsoft respond? And if they come out on the 19th, then they've been forced there by Sony, which they don't want to do. No, no one wants your enemy to be. No, they're not going to do that. So their their options are like if if they do it like the week after, that could legitimately like overshadow everything Sony's done. If it's that much better, like if if they what they have to show is actually legitimately impressive. But if they I, don't have anything to show, then it could be like a couple months before you hear about the next Xbox. Like, do, do guys I, think, no, I don't think it's a couple. Months. I don't think it's, it's gonna be. Months. I think it's gonna be somewhere around GDC, either either shortly before or shortly after. Um, given when Sony's announcement is that when is GDC? Is that mid uh, March? Is that, it's, is the isn't it the March? week after PAX East? I uh, think so. E- either week after the week before. I, so a week around. When, I, I don't. I don't Google says when that Game is. Developers Conference GDC 2013 begins on Monday, March 25th, ends on Friday, okay. March 29th. Yeah, that is right so after that, PAX. That, that still gives Microsoft a month, a month to get their information in before GDC. I'm telling you, and they're I, announcing and it at PAX, and it's and important you're not that they get this. that. It's important that they get that information <laughs> in pre GDC because GDC is a good point to to actually like. They get the console announcement out of the way before GDC, mm-hmm. and then at GDC is a good time to actually have discussions with the developers or for the developers themselves to have discussions about next gen. Like we already oh, yeah. know, e- um, EA is going to be talking about next gen at GDC. Mm-hmm. Like they've come out and said as much. Um, so we have to have console announcements before that, right? Like for them yeah, to openly talk about pa- next gen. Pax East, when I get to play them, you don't. Th- that's the thing. They're not going to have anything playable. <laughs> They're going to have. <laughs> Sony's going to show a controller. Oh, I hope it's a DualShock still. Microsoft probably won't show it's a console. They'll probably show a dashboard. God damn it. 
So the but we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna get very little information, but yeah. we will get some information. No, Microsoft's gonna from. show you the next generation of Connect. How many leaking costs? No, I really think I really think we're gonna see we're gonna see a dashboard out of Microsoft. Do you think, think we're, gonna we're gonna see? Okay, do you think um. And the next games. Xbox is going to launch with this Illuma Room nonsense that Microsoft no. keeps no. talking up. Zero chance. That's a, that's a 2014 Zero feature. Zero chance. Zero. That, that's a late 2014, early 2015 If feature. they even come to the, the system. If they even come to the system. So no, I don't it, think it'll come out at all. Me neither. It is planned to be a late 2014, early 2015 based on the uh, 2010 document that was leaked. And this was totally in that. It just wasn't called as such. Hmm. Um. So, I think if that is to be believed, story. that is that is a part of their 2014 to 2015. I don't think the uh, thing ever comes frame. out. I mean, either. Well, th- he's not. I think, goes, I think it goes the way of the Vitality Sensor. <laughs> I can't wait till I play Final Fantasy Versus 13. I don't know the Illumin Room. I like the Vitality <laughs> Sensor. It looks pretty fucking awesome. No, I think the Illumin Room looks dumb. Really? I think. Yeah, it I think it looks cool. like a like big waste of time. Out of your television? I, I think that looks really dumb. I think it looks pretty cool, but I don't think there's uh, anyone and, has. If it doesn't setup. require glasses, I think it looks awesome. I don't even have the setup for Connect, let alone the setup you need for that thing. So, f- fuck off. I I don't see that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the yep, setup is, with is that's required for that though. <laughs> so I, I. But should we have what one, two, the third linking cast from now is going to be after the event. So there's not. Like, are we going to talk about this again in the future, or do you just want to get all the talking in now and just not talk about this again? I said we talk about it. Wait till just letting people know. Yeah, so th- that like it's going on because, as if they didn't know already. Like Edge has come out and said some stuff about what they have in Vertical has confirmed about the next PlayStation, including the fact that it's eight gigs of RAM and both the the 360 and PS4 have eight gigs. Sorry, 720 and PS4 have eight no. gigs of RAM. Both are based on AMD. No, 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 no. Supposedly, or based no, on the, the 720 does not have eight gigs. It has four gigs. No, it was it was seven twenty. Obviously, Sony wins. This it generation. was seven twenty at eight. Sony had four, and then Sony updated developers. Recently no, no, no. To have eight as well. I thought it was it. No, it was the other way around. The, the seven twenty had the least amount. Yeah. Interesting. Either way, developers said the, the Orbis is a little bit more powerful than seven. So now they both have eight. I believe they both have eight mm. now. I, supposedly, the the seven twenty is a little bit sorry, a little bit weaker than the PS four. Like like this generation. Well, well, that's the thing though is we'll see how, how much that matters because yeah. that was the case with this current generation exactly. and and the 360 still was the better console to develop everything for. Oh yes, but but and the, but the, the, the biggest time, news was the architecture. So, but the thing is, um, also with all the AMD stuff, mm-hmm. AMD's not doing so hot. <laughs> no, they're not. if you haven't noticed, they're in they're big not. trouble. <laughs> Man, but they have such. And good these cards. contracts will not save them. Such I think these cards. contracts are what have to save them. Such good cards. No, they, they don't make that much money off these contracts. Mm. How, how do you figure? They're making the components for every console. Both consoles. I just, I don't know. I just feel like they're not making company saving money off these contracts. I, I, I think this is, I think this is their company saving money that they're making. <laughs> yeah, this this might have. I feel like if, if, I don't know. I, that, we'll see. Them being in trouble might well. be why. It both seems like you guys are arguing though. over the same point. That them being in trouble might be why both systems have AMD components because I bet they lobbied pretty hard to be the guys to make these. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, also, I think the console manufacturers went out to them because they are well, AMD they components. Uh, those processors are are cheaper they shop than Intel, at least. And so, um, I'm surprised like Nvidia didn't try to. Like get the bigger news this. was that the PS4 is apparently Nvidia is just working on their dumb shield thing. Supposedly incredibly yeah. easy <laughs> to develop for, like apparently supposedly easier than the 720 to develop for somehow. Um, like it's essentially, weird. Just, it's essentially just a PC is what Ed, Edge um, is. Well, that's not surprising at all. Yep. And so, and then they get to the crazy stuff. So the crazy stuff is that the PS4 has a inbuilt mechanism to constantly and always be recording without a hit to processing power the last 15 minutes of game. Yeah. Play, which is, I, saw I don't understand how that works. 15 minutes of game. It's, it's like a DVR like parallel yeah, I think it's a, like, to the a separate device inside yeah. the it's parallel the so it's like, there's like a capture card inside yeah. the yeah. base yeah. system yeah. yeah and so it always catches the last 15 minutes so you can at any time post or edit your stif- stuff to online services now that's really cool as long as twitch integration is built into the console from the console level uh, yeah maybe I, I, it's gonna be a youtube like it, it has to be if they're it's gonna put, gonna a, they're a, gonna put a fucking thing. capture card in there it has to go no it can't be go to youtube it has to go twitch but youtube has a live service yeah, that fucking nobody uses. <laughs> but they could start using it. If 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 this system uses it, no one is. But No, there's a reason nobody uses it. It's not because Twitch is, it is better. It's fucking terrible. It's bad. Oh, okay. it's yeah, I watch concerts it's... on that every so often. Hmm. 
Oh, it's it's they had that puppy video. It's not good for gameplay, which is like two a I've week long of puppy video. That was awesome. Yeah, I, I mainly see it for just like YouTubers will do like live chats or something and Q and A. Yeah, right. It's it's not really something people would want to use for for gameplay though. But but yeah, I don't so think I, I, I don't really think like they're gonna aim. Go. I don't think they're aiming for well, live streaming though. I think they're aiming for archiving. Because I, I guess we'll get to this as well. Yeah, plugs. But also, anybody doesn't know, own 3 D is gone. What really? <laughs> oh yeah! By Seriously? the way, O3D is gone. Just disappeared. In gaming news, they, did you it's get, gone. Yeah, did you get they, they went under as of the end of the, of January. That is funny as fuck. Because <laughs> like this is a better service that has better speeds and all that stuff. Gone. A month later, gone. Uh, did they get? They subsumed? just couldn't. Yeah, they could. They could. They couldn't compete with Twitch. They got subsumed, or did they just um die? I, I bet they if got. If you go to 3D, it just says thanks for watching. Yeah, I bet they got. Absorbed. I think they just got. I think they just died. Because both yeah. are the same parent company, so they probably just got absorbed. Yeah, I know. By Twitch, I bet. I bet their tech. I, th- I think be. so too, because I, uh, yeah. when I, I went back to the Twitch channel mm-hmm. and I now can actually upload a decent amount. Yeah, I bet their tech went to Twitch, which kind of makes sense. Because why would you? Why would CNET whatever oh, CB, so CBS? Yeah, I, I thought it was both. really weird that CBS I owned both of them, <clears throat> so they just slapped them together by the sounds of it. Anyway, so yeah, so. Yeah, it looks like archiving more than um, uploading. Yeah, I forgot about I forgot that it was archiving. So yeah, yeah. I guess YouTube, you, okay, YouTube integration. But either way, like it has to be on the console level. It cannot be on a per game basis. Is that a thing though? Do people really care about putting up clips? Oh, Black Ops Two is getting that. Yeah, Black Ops Two. It's built into the game. Okay, so, they're actually so, doing Twitch you don't understand. There Black are a 2. lot of bros out there that think they are awesome at right. Call of Duty and want to show yo, the world how awesome yo, at Call of Duty they are. You need to see my no scope video. Three sixty no scope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are these surfers or bros? Because you sound <laughs> like those surf, two. Those two surf groups have a pretty large overlap. Surf <laughs> During the day, we surf. We get <laughs> some gnarly waves. Does not play the video game. We get fucking wasted and high and play Black Ops all day. <laughs> some surf taco <laughs> oh man so the other crazy here? stuff Better is hurt my throat. like apparently their new controller has a touchpad in the center as opposed to the surf- on the back excuse me while i go throw up everywhere um and that sounds like the as somebody who owns a vita that does not sound good that sounds like the all. dumbest thing ever I've, oh fuck but they have no. confirmed that they will be having a new des- a redesigned controller. so i'm just hoping for triggers well, that's the only real like yeah, I, I love I, my they have 360 triggers. I'm on board. Yeah, well, I didn't even want give me a dual shock with 360 so, okay. triggers, and I'm happy. Yeah, that's all I need, man. That's so, need. so here's here's no, here's... they're gonna hand you an N64 controller and say, <laughs> like, <laughs> suck it up. <laughs> so, so moving away from Nintendo controllers, controller. I, where I'm most interested in, and I know we're not gonna get this information at this this announcement, but I, I really hope, I, I'm really hopeful for what they're gonna do with it. I'm I'm genuinely really interested in seeing what. This next generation uh, PlayStation Network and specifically PlayStation Plus yeah. is going to offer yeah. uh, players mm-hmm. because I feel like that's actually like for me personally that's going to be the big selling point uh, between which consoles which console I get at launch is going to be like which one offers the best pay for service because like I paid for Xbox Live for like eight years and this is the first year that I haven't owned it and it's because to me PlayStation Plus just makes a lot more sense. Man, yeah, it, it, and so it I'm, is, I'm interested to see like, it, does Microsoft cool. charge again? Does Sony start charging for online? Well, it's, um, it's or not the Microsoft other stuff that's really important of, though. Like, how does Sony continue? Like, how do they improve upon their friends system? Because the friends system currently sucks. Um, how do you improve upon messaging? How do you improve upon voice chat? Like, they haven't. They have that in PS3. To some that stuff's extent, important to some extent, shit. but I feel like I feel like. I feel like where where my subscription money goes to is more important to me. Yeah, like. Like on the PS3, for example, like you can watch Netflix without needing to pay an extra yearly fee. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can watch Netflix without needing to pay. You can play online games without needing to pay. Yeah. their pay service is is strictly awesome. a supplementary thing, and awesome. that, that gives you like even even like added added bonuses, mm-hmm. free games, like that kind of stuff. Like, I'm curious to see like are they going to continue that? Are they going to expand on that? Or are they going to go the Microsoft so route and decide think- no, we're we're, we're going to start charging for online play now? So what do you guys or think we're gonna is going to be in this event? Cross platform. It's February twentieth, New York City. What's actually going to be in this? Do, do you think they're going to show the console? Do you think they're going to show PS the PS Vita Plus? No, slim version. They're going to no, show the I, controller. They're going to show the controller. I see a logo and a controller. Maybe, they're, yeah, they're going to show the controller. They're going to show a few, like names of a few games or a few developers that are working on games such as Sly Cooper. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see stats? Like, no, 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 not even. No. 
Like no, no, they're gonna go. They're gonna show the controller. They're gonna show a name, and they're gonna show a montage. Because what? Because DTC, the entire point of being before DTC is because they'll have a locked in system by then, wouldn't they? So they, they could disclose yeah. system specs. I, I, well, uh, to some extent. Yeah. Like, they, uh, they usually they, they they tend to wait to the last minute to lock in. But it, this is the last. It's coming out this year, man. This year. No. Yeah, I, I don't think you're gonna, gonna, I mean I think they're going to announce it, but they're not I gonna mean, talk like, about it until. Do you yeah, think they'll announce it today? I know. No, no, no. That no. Or is that E3? E3. No. That's E3. That's E3. See, my bet E3 is, is when they announce the date and price. My bet is, and am I something crazy to you guys? Five hundred ninety-nine US dollars. I'm, I'm almost <laughs> certain they're going to show the box. Hell no. I bet they're going to show the box, and I bet they're going to show the no. controller, and I think they'll show at least one game on it. One game. They have to save the box reveal for E3. I, I think E3 is going to be the date because it has to be. Well, right? that too, but that they have to. The the box reveal is the big wow first. Right. How about like an it's, E3? It's they big, walk it's, out it's with the, the big, box with the date engraved in it. The box <laughs> is the big like picture taking reveal no, for E3. Okay. Has the bo- has so the so tech, you're saying the date release. that is your headline? So maybe controller in this one. I at least they're gonna do system because I think they're, they they've hammered that all in by now. I think they're gonna do system specs. Um, and again, that, I'll be really surprised if it's if it's if it's that um, detailed. I I don't care about anything as long as I see something running on that system. I want to see visuals. I want to see something. That's if, if they don't give me that. Yeah, like I said, I think we'll. I think, I think we'll see, see the last guard. We'll see a montage, and like oh, Revan God, said, no. we'll see like we'll see a montage followed by like a big screen of all of the developers supporting the system at launch. If I see a montage, you know, I'll be happy. Kingdom Hearts three announcement. I'm not sure about you guys, but it'd be s- nice if, like, if we saw like Watch Dogs on there. With me. Watch Dogs would be awesome on there. Like something already announced. I don't care as long as something. Watch Dogs on that. is going to be awesome on PC. I, I just want to see something running <laughs> because I don't know about you guys, but the fucking sizzle reels for the Xbox 360 and PS3 launches were some of the best moments in E3 because it's like holy shit. But games, how games, many games. of those games? Who cares? Actually came I, out. I just want to be excited again. <laughs> I've been dead inside for about seven years. Um, <laughs> I know. I, I think sizzle reels are going to wait till E3. I bet it's just going to be like one or two games. What was that? What was that spy game that um, Rockstar was doing for Sony? That never came out. Agent. The agency. Agent. The no, agency. No, 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 the, the agency, the agency is, still, agent. is still up and uh, nobody knows what's going on with that game. It's not been canceled. <laughs> but It's going to get announced at E3, obviously. As an well, next-gen title. A lot, a lot of those games time, actually someone asks Sony about it, they say go ask Rockstar. Yeah. But a lot of those games yeah. that happen that way actually do end up transitioning between generations. Like A lot of games that do go black for a long time do end up. Like, not, how well none of them are good. Work? None of them are good, but because the last one I can think of is Too Human. Too Human. I think Shadowrun was that way. Really should. Shadowrun was a fine game, and you will shut your mouth. <laughs> Too Human was an okay game. Um, yeah, but like none they of them were like, really good for. Um, and well, so did so did Shadowrun. None of them were really good. Like none of them were like blockbuster, awesome ass games. Um, but yeah, so I, that, that's where I stand. Do you, do you guys think they're going to show anything? What do you guys think they're going to show, Duran? That's just just a controller. Um, and- like I said, I think it's going to be controller, the name, and then like a montage video with like developer names, and that's it. And then like you know, check us out at E3. We're going to you know this is where we're, our big reveal is going to be, and that's gonna, and that's where all the big stuff is so going to happen. Think- I think this is this is just to get the name out there and to for the for the first time confirm. Um, it exists. It's a thing. To, to confirm that, they, that it exists, but more so to allow the developers to talk about it come GDC. Do you think they say holiday this year at any point? Maybe. Uh, that'd be about the closest to a date we would get, but I'd even be surprised they acknowledge that. Mm. Okay, I'm going to get oddly specific point, here. Yeah, I think it's. I think at this point it's it's so such common knowledge that obviously these are coming out holiday this year that Sony and Microsoft just kind of skip that for this anyway because that's not a, that's not a reveal. Okay, so I'm gonna get oddly specific. They're gonna announce the show the controller and the name, and then behind whoever's talking, <laughs> yep. there's gonna be a checkerboard of dark blue and light blue squares. The light, the dark blue is going to have the PS4 logo on each one, and each light blue square is going to be a different developer logo. Oh, that's kind of cute. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, that's going to happen. And you guys mark th- my word. So, uh, with from that, the future, with that I know. Taking as um, what Sony's going to do, what do you think the Microsoft one's going to be like? It depends Same on thing. what Sony okay. does. Okay, they're going to announce the controller and the name, and then behind whoever's <laughs> talking, there's going to be green a and white squares of green and white. Because <laughs> because Microsoft's not doing a fancy control unless they go connecting every I, box I, I think again. That, 
which I hope they don't. Yeah, they I, have, I think, they I think it's, hard, it's hard to predict what Microsoft is going to do because they, I think, because they're going to become after Sony, get the easy they're going to make some last minute changes to tailor theirs to what Sony announced. Man. It'd be hilarious if they it's went exciting. back to the Duke. This, this is hopefully, this, this yeah. year is going to be full exciting. I can't wait. And that's pretty much it. It's going to be exciting in one way or another. Yep. Man. Anyway. Checkerboard. <laughs> So, Darren, Checkers what else have you been playing? Anything else? Is that, is that it? We're done? <laughs> uh, no, I think... I, I don't think I've been playing anything That's else. the episode? Um, what, yeah. What what as a final yeah, note, I played a little bit of the Crisis 3 beta. It was extremely mediocre. Oh, yeah, I played that too. It's Aww. it's okay. It's 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 a first-person shooter. It looks decent. Aww. It runs okay. Is that engine... I will probably like, look for you to be everyone... playing Natural Selection 2 in the weeks to come. Does the crisis... I want to ask everyone what they think. I might play that as well. I don't know. Like, we'll what see. they... If this, if the uh, February twentieth event is not the PlayStation, is not PlayStation Four, yeah. what could it possibly be? If it's the not end of Sony. <laughs> because Besides, if this is not PlayStation Four, we are going to go. see a we are see, going to see a dramatic drop in Sony uh, stocks. <laughs> if this is not a PlayStation Four I, announcement, I, I, I'm calling that right now. I think it could be um, a huge change to the PlayStation Network if it's not. Uh, that's the only thing else. That's yeah. Like, the what if they announce they're they're becoming. Feature, they're getting feature parity with like, Microsoft well, before or like coming out with start, the new console. Announce their Gaikai stuff or whatever. That could be interesting. Or it's like, hey, guess what, guys? We're not making a console anymore. We're going to become a software developer. <laughs> <laughs> that works so well for Sega. We've partnered they, it with has. Sega. Well, it, it has actually worked so well for Sega. Yeah, it's, it's, it was, they, it's uh, better than their, their own relic. It's, it's better than their um, console making days in terms of profits. So we'll see. Creative Assembly makes good games still. But yeah, I, I guess if it's, yeah, not, so, if it's not PS4, it's PlayStation. See, I, I, I don't, I don't think, I don't think there's even a question of like, if it's not PlayStation because I feel like even Sony knows that it can't not be. Yeah, they they couldn't like, have done. This, do they? As soon as Do this they? Thing hit, <laughs> as soon as this thing hit um, news outlets, every news outlet like, was PlayStation, PlayStation 4, 4 announcement coming, coming February 20th. Yeah, like the, the expectation is already there. Yep. Like there's okay. no way it can't be. What if yep. Sony just pulls like an Apple and is like pre-order start tomorrow? This thing's out next week. <laughs> And that would be insane. No, no. <laughs> but no, there's no way that would happen because there's no games that have been announced to come out. The, the they all they announced everything <laughs> on the 20th. If I can console no. launch in March, that'd be nuts. <laughs> that'd be, that'd the be best crazy. Thing ever. Best thing. I'd be ever. running to a GameStop <laughs> to find this thing. Man. I'd be it, quickly it filing up. my taxes. What do you guys think is <laughs> on a fucking train on the way back? What do you guys think of the chances of them uh, launching like September, somewhere crazy early? Uh, I think one of them is going to launch September. Yeah. <sighs> Well, I, I don't know which one, but I think one of them is going to launch. Like, the, yeah, I think it's going to happen. Does two launches first actually matter? Does who launches first? Like, if it's only yeah, a month totally. apart, yeah, if it's only like matters. months apart, does it matter? Yep, really? it matters because the thing is that anybody who like me who is not like a console fanboy, mm-hmm. I don't have like you know allegiance to just Sony or, or just Microsoft. Yeah, like who 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 launches first? Very well could make a difference on which one I get. Really? Because I'm just going to get both. Like it's, it's not even a question to me. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm going to get both at some point, but I'm talking about at launch. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting both at launch. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> it's true. I don't either. Especially I don't have a fucking a thousand dollars to drop on consoles all at one time. Yeah. I mean, I, so, I think that if they if PS3 does come out first, they're definitely going to pull a lot of the uh, they, uh, of the bro sidens that are like just playing Call of Duty. Yeah. Well, they, they'll want yeah, it on the newest. Big, do you guys think there's going to be Call of Duty on the next gen this year? I think there will be. I, yeah, I, I really. Oh, I think the next Call of Duty yeah. is going to be oh, yeah. both platforms. Sorry. I think that the the I think the next this next gen one is going to be both platforms, but I think that the the next gen pla- um, version of it is next year is not going. It's not going to be fully featured. No, right. it'll be the same time. Oh right, but it's not going to be fully featured. So, so you mean like they it will Call of Duty will release on all co- consoles currently available at the time. But the yeah. latest gen versions might not have as many features. As it, the it'll basically what the, what they're going to do is they're going to take the, the Madden format, okay, where it's it's still going to release on every single console, yep. but because of the the reduced development time, a lot of the bells and whistles are going to be cut from the next gen one to get it out at the same time. If these these two are as close to PC in development as they're supposedly rumored to be, I wouldn't be surprised if they're just feature parity with the PC versions that you've, you've been seeing. Well, it all it all depends because the thing is that they they might be you know close to PC and everything, mm-hmm. but. Um, in in terms of the development kits, they're constantly putting out new versions of, yeah. versions of those things. Yeah. I heard I heard that uh, Nintendo's got up to like double digits by the time that thing released, which, which is why I um, think so it makes that, it really hard. Like hardware to do development. should be locked in by now because they're going to be going to production around at least at latest July. 
So, but that's the thing though is the way the way that this works is that if they go into production in July, they're not locked in until June. Because the thing is, you don't want to lock in with the, with the way that, that um, hardware tech or hardware prices mm-hmm. fluctuate and drop so quickly. Right. You don't want to lock in too early mm. because you may be stuck with something that's more expensive and there was a cheaper alternative. The, the, so they, they tend because the we locked in uh, early so they, and then they had huge yeah. production shortages for the first couple of years. So they they, they tend to wait until the very last fucking minute that they can in order in order to get just the kind of the, the cheapest best things they can get to put in there. I can't wait. Anyway, I'm with that. Double done. Can't wait. I, I can't wait for the done. next thing. Bart Scott destroys... can't wait. <laughs> Great. I'm gonna rest control I can't wait for the us. next error on a Microsoft oh, right. console that costs them three billion dollars. <laughs> and this. Show... Well, I think that's enough time around the fire here. We're gonna stoke this out and all go to bed here on the. Are we doing fort. plugs? Do we have any plugs here going around the table? <laughs> um, uh, no. I don't know why we're let's, at a table with, uh... and a campfire at the same time, but we're just going to go with it. <laughs> we'll start with the table Revan. is the kindling. Durham, what you plugs. got? Okay, me. All right. Oh, yeah. all right. Um, I'll 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 go ahead and plug my my stream just because wizardry, man. We're gonna we're gonna check that shit out. <laughs> uh, so so I, I'm gonna be streaming some things, not just That's wizardry. A game. Don't worry. Yeah. Um, so it's twitch.tv slash Durin, D-O-U-R-I-N. Apparently some people have, have forgotten that there or, or aren't aware that there is an O in my name. Um, so that could lead to some confusion on trying to find my Twitch channel. Doer so is, in Yeah, so O-U. it is D-O-U-R-I-N. O-U-R-I-N. Um, I'll, I'll, aside from Wizardry, um, I do tend to try to stream uh, dungeon runs that we do as well. Yay. So like... Uh, we've recently started doing a raw runs, mm-hmm. so I've, I've want, wanted to start streaming those. Um, karaoke nights will be streamed as well when those happen, uh, when I'm available available for them, um, as well as other games. Like I have other stuff I definitely uh, plan on playing. Um, I downloaded Cart Life. I, I want to check that out. Right. Um, stuff like that. But yeah, so go check that out. Cool. Follow the stream so you can see when I go live. Nice. Who's next? Uh, very cool. Riven, you got anything to? Uh... Plug, nope. share. <laughs> Zero. Okay. Go, uh, was, Riven's plug is Guild Wars 2 looking for group. Yay. GW2, wouldn't be, LFG. Wouldn't even plug that anymore, so you can just do those with your friends. That's Aww. true. Riven's plug is tryout guesting. All right. Um, <laughs> self-confessed cynic, you got uh, something? I want to plug the uh, Giant Bomb PC Gaming Hub, if you want to play PC games oh, with your God. friends. That is God. a bad <laughs> I tried. Um, so, it's it's actually you could it, he sounds like he, I'm it's channeling like, the spirit of noob I'm just trying the spirit of noob uh, I can't channel the voice um, so we never have to take a shower the yeah, totally not here there week. are laws <laughs> against channel, channeling the spirit of noob <laughs> noob channel, channel, spirit channel the spirit of an, of a minor <laughs> <laughs> international law prevents um, I'll, I'll put it on the plugs um for a noob, just 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 as I can. Also, play DMC that game rocks. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. It's a really good game. That's my right point. on, Shin boy. You got something? I'd like to plug old Dante because new Dante is dumb. No, um, <laughs> God damn, <Shin> boy. <laughs> he's so cool. He's, um, I would say better. I, I'd say I better like than the old new Dante. Dante. I'd say he's better. I've not played Dante. any any DMC game, and I like new Dante. Wait, um, Revan anyway, better. I'd say he's better. I think he's got more character to him. You guys discussed DMC, DMC enough. <laughs> I, I, think, I, think <laughs> I think he's better. better. Yeah, damn straight. Anyway, I'm gonna plug my site, pluginplaygaming.com, nice. which you now I gave during authorship or whenever he gets around to writing something. I think he mentioned he wanted to review Nino Kuni if and when he ever uh, did so. Yeah, yeah so you're, just you're breaking game. up bad there, sir, yeah, at least for me. Up. Okay, I'll repeat that. Um, Plugging play laying out gum. Durin now has authorship on my site, yeah. Um, so, Nino Kuni if and he finishes it. Also, like, I did something the other day about I want to get a 3DS and why that means Nintendo is okay if they can convince someone like me who doesn't care about handhelds Wait, why you, to want why a 3DS. Why are you a 3DS? For the Pokemon X, 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 X. That's why. Also, why, why, why? Also, there's just like a whole bunch of games. Also, um, a few of us are going up to PAX East, and I want it for street passing. Okay. Also, be on so the lookout quickly, for I, the okay, Lincoln I Cast just, Live. I can't just let this go. You guys have no fucking idea how long Revan and Shimboy have been waiting to, to get that reference in here. <laughs> the Pokemon X, 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 and the Pokemon no, why, y, why, 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 why. I, I don't, I don't get it. It's another time. I don't get it. Sorry. It's a Takfuji reference. Yeah, I thought so. Nubarama, if you're listening to this, 
Yeah. He'll appreciate it. <laughs> You'll laugh. <laughs> Which he won't be. Well, he might. I think he actually does listen to his own show, which is weird. But, um... <laughs> it's, you know, it'd be weird if it wasn't Noob. Yeah. But come on, really? It's, it is yeah, I, of course think, he listens to his own show. I think show. the other guy who writes on the site is going to review The Cave and maybe Antichamber, so... Oh, God. I'd be on the so lookout just, for all that stuff. I don't, I don't think I have the mental capacity to the review to Antichamber. Is, I expected The Cave to be bad. I, I knew it would be bad as soon as I saw anything about that game. So I'm, I wasn't surprised at all. Yeah, and um, I have this new PC, fancy PC that I built, so Ooh. I can do video stuff now. Yay! I can't, I, I mean, I can stream, but I, I have a hard time streaming online games because the way my network prioritizes bandwidth right. at home here, I can stream fine, but I lag in game while streaming. So I can stream like single player stuff. I just haven't found anything that I felt like streaming. DMC. Uh, if, if you're willing to spend the money, Shinboy, uh, you could actually buy like uh, routers that will. Um, properly prioritize gameplay like over other stuff on your network. Well, I mean, the thing is, how much do those routers cost? Mm. Oh, that's like like eighty bucks or something. No, bucks. that's not terrible. That's, it's too, yeah, that's not bad. It is a hundred percent worth it to get a good router. A hundred percent. Always. I'll look into it. Um, especially yeah, one also, that you can um, get the, your custom firmware on too. Like you can get one of those customs on there. It's awesome. One last, one last small plug for. Lincoln Force Karaoke Nights. Yeah. Fridays and Saturdays, every so often. There's a post we don't really have a strict schedule. Yeah, I just made a thread on the uh the giant bomb. Yeah, I mean like if, if, you, if you check the forums, I mean like it, you'll start updating it more than one hour ahead of time, right? Yeah, like that thread, just check back to that thread every so often. I'll be editing the OP and also adding a post like, Hey, new night scheduled for whenever. Also You know, if you, you have any songs that you'd like to be Steam community stuff and putting alerts on that um and i would if i could set it to do it automatically each week i know but doesn't you know what I mean? it's like, so annoying what the fuck it'd otherwise be nicer if I, I would just totally release a Why can't you schedule? yeah improvement thing or like a calendar that you can set events on and so for, annoying for yeah. events fucking which was great they actually said they were they were updating like the things guilds can do together but they didn't talk crap about updating like last online tool or anything like that uh yeah. Anyway, it's, yeah. Uh, go yeah. check out the karaoke night thread. If you have songs you want to be sung karaoke, doesn't matter what genre it is. Just throw it <laughs> in there, and if enough people know the words, I'll play it. Yay! <laughs> yep. Uh, I guess I will. Did, did we get any emails this week? Oh, we got that email from. Nice there was that one We got an email from the nice guy. He sent us. An yeah. So yeah. so we got an email from a guy. Uh, it goes by the the, the handle of Mercy. Um, who totally was a big fan of really the show. Funky way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's spelled uh, M-U-R-S-I-E. Um, big Don't fan of the show. speak too loud. He's in the channel above us. And, <laughs> and uh, wanted to get a hold of us and, and you know, play with us, play with our community and everything, um, but had a hard time doing so because apparently, I guess the, the, when he went searching for us, he found the link to our old mumble and not our current one. Right. Um, so he had to do a bit of digging to finally get a hold of our, our current mumble. So... Mm-hmm. Um, if anybody else out there is trying to get into, um, you know, into Lincoln Forest or into the community to play with everybody, uh, definitely check the Giant Bomb forums and just find the Guild Wars 2 forums specifically um, and try to get a hold of us there. Uh, and if, if need be, you know, PM one of us or something, um, because it sounds like I'm not sure exactly what method he used, but it sounds like whatever it was is pulling in the, the wrong information. Hmm. I'll um, probably just uh, I'll probably try and just redo the uh, Guild page for like hey ask for an invite here as well as yeah, see if we can get some like short link to just link to that yeah, yeah. it's really hard now, for people who we don't know about now, giant bomb not, how to navigate any, that <laughs> yeah we're, and we're not in any danger of being full anymore no. like we were in the past mm-hmm. so like definitely if you are a listener and and would like to join uh lincoln force um we, we obviously we would be glad to have you here um Man, just, that, that you purge know, was let, crazy that the, we did a purge yeah a couple that was ago. And to remove all the people who are inactive after the holidays, that was, that was yeah. It was crazy. We have an actual guild yep. now, which is good. Yeah, yeah if, 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 if you want to hang out with us. have a, a proper guild yeah. and, you know, a lot of active dudes. Yeah. Yeah. You can guest on the server now. You can hang out with us that way if you want a PvE. Um, I, I guess it's it, if we cap again, we'll, we'll look to boot the people who aren't yeah. as active in the guild, I guess. Mm-hmm. But I don't think we're anywhere close to that problem right no, now. No, so we're like 150 so. away. But yeah, that's that's still that's that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, so for, for anybody for who's not week. sure and doesn't want to do the digging, the the server is Yaxbend. So go to Yaxbend. If you see anybody with the bomb all capital letters uh, tag, that's that's people in Lincoln Force. Which um, you, will. you can pretty much whisper pretty any. Much everywhere. <laughs> yeah, 
yeah. Uh, so, and you can you can whisper them. You know, get in contact with uh, any of the leaders, and and mm-hmm. um, we may ask you to you know to verify you on the site to make sure that you are not just some random. Just because we like to keep the community together, not just random people that see a big guild and want to be a part of it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, definitely. We, we sometimes we, we absolutely uh, we be glad. sometimes make a, uh, a gate by having you answer either giant bomb or podcast theme trivia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what, guys? So be, give me an example. Don't be guys, alarmed if we. Ha- the first Fast and Furious Six poster is out. I don't mean to stop oh, you. Oh shit! Link, link, what? Link, link. what? <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> uh, Mr. Uh, Diesel. An example would be something like you know from from the podcast would be like. Um, where is Cynic from? Uh, that's 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 hard. That's a hard question. Australia, like what? How? I don't have an Australian accent. I, I feel like anybody who's anybody who's listened to more than maybe one episode would probably know you're from Australia by this point. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Or or or, or maybe even like you know which of, which of the the ca- the cast members of the show is not an American. I was I was hoping for that for the Rock to be like, on this just show, simple stuff to be on this um, poster, but he's not. It's just Diesel. And a car. <laughs> uh, I, I guess uh, this has been enough time to uh, whoever has ability to look up the emails probably could do that, but what? I don't think they have. The so we'll just move on com? to the linky cast at gmail. Yeah, the linky cast at gmail. That's the only email we had. Yep. That's the only right. email we had was was from that guy. I'm gonna start sending you guys so, emails from like so a shout Smurf out address because I know shout awesome. out to Mercy because I know I know he's listening because he listens to like every episode. Crazy guy. So yeah, that, that'll be our shout out for the day for the week. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I guess I have started streaming. I never stopped streaming, but I don't really feel like uploading all the stuff I did on Own 3D. So I'll be streaming <laughs> all new forever. stuff at twitch.tv slash Thurbleton. Thurbleton. Yep. And I, I guess that'll do it for Man, this back to Twitch. episode it's all of crazy. It's all crazy Link, the Lincoln Scotch Cast. Next will be fucking streaming yeah, on Lincoln like, Scotchcast. Uh, what's the other flight? The Ustream or whatever it was? You stream, live stream. Yeah. I'm just gonna stream over Facebook. Yeah, we we, we might we're we're playing with the idea of streaming this, but um, don't be too sure about that. Yeah, Daphne isn't especially, Mary Sue. Especially that doesn't make sense. I I I clicked through to from the Fast and Furious poster to um, J.K. Rowling's announcement or some shit, and it took me to this other website called themarysuit.com. And it has a picture of Daphne from Scooby Doo. Daphne's not Mary Sue, is she? Well, I think so. I don't remember sense. what a Mary Sue is, and I'm gonna say no. Yeah, that doesn't make sense at all. I'm I'm with Revan on this one. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with it's over. <laughs> uh, what was news one? Thank you for was that was that a um, was that a Teen Girl Squad <laughs> reference at the end there? Maybe. <laughs> Wait, as long as um. Revan is the ugly one and Cynic is what's a face. Fuck yourself. <laughs> also, what are you talking about? <laughs>